Yo, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Lovely Thursday. Lovely Thursday. Everyone's doing well. Hold on. Dress like normal on Friday. All right. Give me a second. Um, what's up, chat? How we doing, everybody? Oh, my God. I'm missing a little bit. There we go. What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, I didn't know really what to stream today, but I actually just realized looking at the cards that most of them are out. I guess this is going to be the final little bit of cards. There doesn't seem to be that many left out at the moment. Um, basing it on how many cards were released for March of the Lich King. So I figured why not do a card reveal? So I'm pretty excited about that uh hey guys what's up how's everyone doing everyone excited for this expansion it's already evening in moscow good evening what's up dude moscow how's life there jesus Lebrian, are you excited for the new expansion overall yeah i think i'm pretty excited for it i i'm gonna be honest i wasn't i was a little on the fence for some of it but then i saw the the warlock cards were released yesterday and for people who've been here for a while they know i like warlock a lot and i think the warlock cards are one of the best design sets i've ever seen as a warlock player so I am really excited to see how, or I'm really excited to play with the Warlock cards. So I'm, pre I'm, I'm, I'm biased this set. I think they look fantastic. So uh, it's pretty great. So I'll go through those real fast. And then I think what we'll end up doing today is I'll just kind of go through every single class and just give my thoughts on them. Uh, most of the classes are pretty much done. Like there's like, I think it based on like, we can kind of see, right? So and right now festival of legends has 123 cards revealed in march of the lich king there was 183 minus 35 due to the mini set so i'm gonna do quick math for me was it like 148 so we're pretty close to all the cards there's probably gonna be um there's probably gonna be some more like there's there's one card missing for druid one card missing from i think death knight so I feel like we'll I could just kind of go through it all and uh just chill talk about it. Hey, I only got back into Hearthstone and found the channel a bit binging on the videos. What's up, Chris? What's up, man? It's the real rare and streaming. Your lips look more red than him. What the hell? Are you paying attention to my lips that much? What the hell? I feel uncomfortable in this chat. What the hell did I just read? Chat, I also need your help. Um, I want to do a video of making what, is, what the hell is it questionnaire i want to do a video of getting a bunch of people to like fill in a questionnaire and then with that questionnaire i'm going to try to guess if you're a legend or not so if you guys have uh, we'll do this at the end potentially but uh just to show you guys what i mean like what rank are you and i want to try to guess well let me hide the uh, the text we don't need that um, I want to, I want to try to guess what rank you guys are based on questions. So I'm filling that in. If you guys have any good questions that might help determine what rank someone is, let me know. Like I have examples, like what is your favorite class? What is your least favorite class? Uh, what class do you have the most wins with? What archetype do you prefer? Who or what it was slash is your favorite Hearthstone deck? Same for a card. What device do you play on the most? So if you have any questions like that, let me know um i'm not gonna ask what rank are you that's gonna be the final question so that's uh that's basically it. i think i have when did you start playing yeah when did i start playing is one of them um so we'll, we'll get to that at the end we'll get to the at the end i like that question what frustrates you about hearthstone i like that question i really like that question i'm gonna write that down actually right now good question good good, good, good question good 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 frustrates you about hearthstone good question i like that one <sighs> what decks do you go up against the most the problem with that question is it's meta dependent right i kind of want it to be in the middle here but anyways we'll get back to this later i want to go through the cards first but i, I figured i would i would mention that because that is something i want to do and i'll probably give it like blizzard literally gave me some bundles for the uh festival of legends so i want to that's what i'm going to do like i'll give an incentive and i'll just give like people who answer the uh, the survey um i'll just send it to four random people or something we'll do that We'll do that we'll do that 
Is there a question about favorite expansion? There might be. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that at the end. We'll get to that at the end. I'll talk about it. But uh, it's something that I had in mind. I was like, re like really interested to see if people would want to do that. Why is it green? We'll get to that at the end. Uh, let me talk about first my my the warlock cards because it's the only uh, the only class i haven't really spoken about and it's the class that i am most excited for i want to say this right now i think this card right here the symphony of sins is one of the coolest cards ever released into hearthstone and i am extremely excited to actually play with this card this will be an in in like instant golden craft for me instant hey zach what's up dude yeah, but like you said, Mercs, we had a few hundred subs covering the Mercs. I had a decent amount of subs with Mercs. I think I had like 20,000. I was excited for it, and you were the only critics excited to me. Your channel growth is well deserved. Thank you, Zach. I appreciate it, man. I don't think I only had 100. I think I was in like 20,000 when Mercs came out, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe a bit overrated. It's a mini Zev. It's not the benefit of this card is how flexible it is and how how much it changes the game every single time it's like it's one of the most interesting design cards ever one of the most interesting design cards and i really like it zach i appreciate the 10 man thank you for watching uh let me get some music by the way get some music um i'm really excited some of these look really fun and i think this is the type of card that makes you want to play warlock give me a second there <clears throat> to me valley gives so much strength the game like this card fits into like a control warlock package which i'm a huge fan of that and i think this card right here is going to be one of the most popular cards of the set and you should feel very happy if you open it because it looks really really fun It's really, really fun. The most famous deadly sin desire. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they could have done lost stream. Cool. Really, really cool. Kind of feel like playing Warlock in the last few expansions, but I was getting tired of import lock. Yeah, like I think that's what probably one of the reasons why I'm so excited for it is just it's not like imps, it's not big demons. It feels very warlocky. And I'm really excited. Like this, this whole I was telling I was talking to Leo about it yesterday that uh this whole warlock set. The, what they did for each of these cards feels extremely in flavor for warlock and it's nice that um they designed it like this i really think the fatigue package is honestly really well done it's so incredibly cool how they did this uh because you can manipulate fatigue before you even hit fatigue and that's so warlock like that's so cool this card looks really interesting i i just think the warlock set looks really well done and i'm very excited to play with it very excited I think it just looks really good. Uh, but we'll go through every single class and then uh, we'll do, or I'm gonna do a tier list of the legendaries because I think we're only missing one and I believe it's neutral. So unless the neutral one's absolutely ridiculous, we'll talk about this. All right, anyways, let's go through this. So let me, uh, let's music. it's probably super loud. I'm super sorry, hold on. Wait, why am I not signed in? Oh my goodness. Druid spells missing? Oh shit, you're right. That's the last thing that's missing, right? Fuck. Oh, okay, I guess we'll do it when it's out. I guess we'll do it when it's out. That's the last legendary I need to do a tier list of it. Okay, we'll do that. Can you read the card text? I'm driving and listening, but can't read them. Daniel, I'll start doing it for now. Uh, and when I talk about very specific cards, just for you, dude. Give me a second. Warrior weapon missing. Oh, I, I don't care about that. I was talking more about legendaries because if you look at the legendaries, I'm only doing a tier list for legendaries. We're only missing, I guess, the only druid card, right? Because I think all the neutral legendaries are revealed. And then every other class has all of them except for the druid one, which is so dumb. Why don't they just... <laughs> Why do they do this? Why do I have to wait the last day to get that? What the hell? All right. Um, are you wearing a dark colored shirt because you're reviewing Warlock Death Knight cards? No, I just, I'm moving. Chat, listen here, guys. Listen, I am moving in two days and I'm moving into a townhouse. I've never lived in a house before. Uh, I'm very scared. 
and there's so much responsibility i don't like it i'm not excited like i'm excited to move but my god it, there's i i feel like an adult this past week and i'm not sure how i actually feel about that it's very very interesting it's very very interesting i'm very um god there's just so much to do i had to i had to call home reliance which is a place where they talk about your water heater the fuck what the hell what's that oh probably like this My memory sucks, sorry. Either way, thank you for being you and making amazing content from your stream yesterday. The raffle under the desk thing is weird. Yeah, the, the raffle jokes are... But I appreciate you watching, dude. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What's the expansion release? The expansion release is... I don't know if they've confirmed it. They'll probably confirm it today on the live stream, but April 11th is what I'm going to go for. It just makes sense because um, we know theory crafting is here, uh, which means it should be here. I'm going to go with this right here. The 11th is when the expansion should be released. I'd be very surprised if it's not the 11th is what I'll say. Very surprised. I don't know if they've announced that though, but I, I think it would be the case. Uh, I lived in a house before. Yeah, I lived in your house. What time is that your place? It's 1030. I have been chat. All I've done this week is I have been packing and I have been working behind the scenes on videos, um, trying to get things organized for stuff. And it's just, it's exhausting, bro. Shit's exhausting. Shit's exhausting. I hate moving. I want to. I don't want it on it. Like I don't want it for anybody. They might push it back because the overall season starts that day, dude. They there's no way they care. No shot. I would be so surprised if they're like we're delaying it by a day because of Overwatch. No way. No way. No no way. I moved to my own place a couple weeks ago. It's so nice. Yeah, I, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to have my own room. But like, God, I am moving sucks. I hate it so much. It's it's ridiculous. It's it's so, so hard. I miss Warrior first class that got me past Golden. I, I mean, Warrior will come back eventually, right? It's not like Warrior's dead. You're allowed to watch the card reveal stream in your stream. I probably won't even if I was allowed. Um, I think I would like to give the, the Hearthstone stream as much as they possibly want. I don't want to personally watch it. You know what I mean? I feel like it's um, it's really mean. Pay for a movie company to move your stuff. Cody, I did, bro. But I still got to pack everything, man. I'm, I don't have too... We don't have too much stuff. It's just... It's more about, like, the... Getting the electricity and getting the... Uh, uh, the water se the heating set up and house insurance. It's so crazy. Matt, thank you so much for 50 bucks, bro. Sub, my boy. Love seeing you live on YouTube, bro. Congrats on the move, man. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Thank you for 50 chat. Can I get some pogs in the chat for Matt? That's very nice of him. Thank you so much, dude. Means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Moving friends and family. I'm moving with my girlfriend um so i'm getting a we're i currently live in uh an apartment that's one bedroom one bathroom we're moving to a townhouse that's 1.5 baths and one bed but i get my own room like my own office like i am in a nook chat like you guys don't get it it extends here like once you're once you're past where my arm is you're done like i'm out of my thing so i'm really excited to have my own room because that i can close the door i could i could be a little louder i could do more exciting stuff i'm i'm just I can't wait. Favorite expansion based on the music taste. Um, whatever. I guess I'm more of a hip hop guy, so I guess Rogue, but I think Warlock looks really cool. I'm really excited. When you're there, and my and my three year old watch you on the big screen. Sam, what's up, dude? Shout out to your uh, kid. Hope your kids are doing well. Are you gonna pack your cats? I'm not gonna pack my cats. They will be put into a cage and transferred over. So don't worry about that. That's fine. Last year, all the expansions come with the Book of Heroes adventure. I don't know if they're going to do that. We'll have to wait and see, right? <laughs> Greetings from Norway. What's up, dude? I've been to Norway. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I, to be fair, all I did was drive the back seat. I was stuck between my brother and my sister, and it was very cold. <laughs> it was very, very cold. It was so cold. Norway is there. Okay, Dora was pretty beautiful though. I feel like I'd appreciate it more than I'm older. I feel like I'd appreciate it a little bit more. Do you think they'll add an adventure with this expansion? Probably not. Um, but maybe. I don't know. It's hard. It's tough to tell because I think Blizzard makes decisions on how, where they make money. So I think that's what it is. 
where is Norway where in Norway oh I went what's the main city Oslo no is that Sweden whatever the main city is that's where I went that was fine you stream on Twitch anymore dude I just haven't had time I want to stream on Twitch um because there's other games I want to play also the League of Legends video is done chat it will be posted on the second channel I'm hoping this week um I'm hoping I gotta think of a thumbnail that's my my bigger problem here Brand, if you read this you're now plus one extra handsome thanks man did you know that youtuber king of skill was inspired by you to make a video called do you know super smash Bros? that's awesome i'm so glad that i i i made like a genre of my own that's really awesome i hope more people do it cool where are the card reviews we're gonna get to it i'm talking to people man relax what's the second channel here you go dota is better that's awesome man congratulations didn't ask though didn't ask Good to all your videos i love watching them you're a great streamer when are you going to do legend by laughing 50 hours stream no shot i don't know when we're gonna do that again i don't know you inspired me to stop playing hearthstone can you explain that's really funny hey man i made sausages and peppers in japan what does that even mean man if you're a legend legend player what's your favorite champion my favorite champion of all time is rengar uh, but they changed him and he's no longer the same to me right now i'm playing a ton of ezreal though i've been playing a lot of league off stream chat i'm gonna be honest with you guys and i don't know how i feel about it but ezreal is really fun i love that champion god damn he's so fun how's the new kitty she, he's great he's actually right here uh he's right here he's sleeping on my keyboard here from guest rank idea is really good you're one of the favorite creators dude thanks man i'm um I think that idea is really smart and it could be a really fun stream because chat could play along too, which is one of my goals, right? So I'm excited. On ingredients while living in Japan, I was proud of myself. Pong? Pong? Why don't we play normally just instead of Battlegrounds 27? That's good. I guess that's good. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to when people tell me like, hey, Rarity, you got me playing Hearthstone again. Like, is that a good thing? I have no idea. <laughs> like, I never know anymore. You ever make a custom game on league with your chat maybe one day i was thinking about doing like a 1v1 versus my chat but i need to know how many people actually play league and set it up did you see leo's chain on the immune i did yeah i did that's probably a good change to have in the game round who's your favorite blizzard made character Ooh, probably cool dan i actually really like him he's a cool guy he's fucking he's pretty it's pretty tough he's pretty tough we don't mind i try to trash talk you when i said i believed you acted weird and told him this but i just want you to be happy oh sorry like you gotta remember man like when you're in front of people and they're constantly like telling you you misplayed and stuff of course you're gonna react differently um it's like the best i could say is like imagine you're doing your job like you were like let's say for anyone who works in an office right imagine you're doing your job and then every single time you like mistype or something there's someone behind you going like you're an idiot you mistyped that like imagine how like frustrating that gets over a long period of time right you playing Hearthstone for the first time last year because you did a card review with Sunny, dude. I heard Rune Terra had a rotation, didn't it? How's that going? Is it good? I might do it. I might play. I might try Rune Terra. Looks fun. Scale one to ten. How excited are you for Wrestle of Legends? What do you think about Warrior being a joke? I am like an eight out of ten. Uh, it's unfortunate about Warrior though. It's unfortunate about Warrior. Did you, you should call Mark. I did. I asked Mark already, man. I asked Mark. I did. You edit your own videos. You have a couple editors. I used to edit all my videos. Nowadays, I have I edit like one like a quarter of them. I'm spending most of my time chat thinking of new ideas, trying to innovate, innovate, think of thumbnails and streaming. I guess for the most part. Also, right now I'm moving, so it's hard to actually edit a video. Never worked in a rush shot. No, I guess I haven't. I guess I haven't. Uh, Min, we're gonna be reviewing all the cards today. I just figured I'd talk to chat for a bit since we're there's a lot of people here. It's a hard to play many years. Your breath of fresh air. Don't let people criticize your misplay. Oh, dude, I don't care. I don't care at all if people criticize my misplays. I listen, I know if I try my hardest and I actually like try to get better, I'm better than everyone in this chat room. 100 percent It's not even a cope. It's not even a cope. How many of you guys have been rank one legend before? I guarantee none of you. I'm sorry, that was kind of if that's, that's mean. I mean it's the truth. <laughs> what do you want from me? Um Do you ever play WoW? No, and I don't feel like I ever will play WoW. I don't like the gameplay of it. <clears throat> I like the gameplay of it. Ever Legend Mana gets rotated because of at least one champ. So it's is Rune Terra good or is it bad? <clears throat> is it good or bad? Have you been that? I'm good, man. So do you play a warrior deck that people say it's unplayable and try to climb with it? Maybe in rotation. I don't know if I want to do that now. It's not really like a thing I'm 
I was super excited for good just different interesting I'll, I'll talk I'm gonna talk this I'll, I'll reach out to Sunny I'll reach out to Sunny kind of excited when you pronounce innovate as innervates you know you play too much hard stuff yo Karen Kieran I'm sorry if I got your name wrong thanks for coming to Mima. I appreciate it I was finishing your content I need more good job Tom I'm glad man there's I think I see your name or Tom 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 sounds more correct um thanks for watching this uh, by the way there's a ton of videos from last year that I think are really good really good your videos with the old legends like right now were there I think you try to reach it we couldn't I was on the episode I asked him mods if he wanted to do it but mods says he didn't want to um but that's about it I kind of like Raynad, man I I've said it before and I'll say it again like Raynad was my hearthstone idol like when I first started playing the game if it wasn't for him there's a good chance I wouldn't be here today so Raynad kind of worked out perfectly he uh he's someone who I like playing with he's good at the game and um we have fun together and I got a video he gets promotion for the bazaar and works out perfectly nice it's good it's good arrangement you winning if you ask for those cards no I'm gonna talk about all the cards um but I'm just talking to the chat real fast I'm just talking to chat <laughs> Uh -huh. the final reveal is two and a half hours there's the final reveal stream i'm hoping they just drop all the cards i think it's you have one of the best interaction with chat of current streamers really like how you take your time to respond to chat dude appreciate it, alex I, my favorite part about streaming is talking to chat by far i it's it's easily my favorite part easily my favorite my blizzard is so focused on destroying a warrior as a class i don't know what we're we'll talk about warrior when we get to it i'm gonna be real i'm not sure what blizzard's really doing i would like to talk to them about it but um uh, i don't know what they're doing Hey, Ryan, will you be my Valentine's today? Um, it's March 30th. Are you okay? What happened? Are you excited for the Bazaar? Yeah, dude, Bazaar looks really good. What other Hearthstone creators have you met in real life? I was lucky enough for Blizzard flew me out to California in October to see Death Knight before it was announced. And I got to meet Brian Kibler. I got to meet Dexter in real life. And I got to meet... Um, I think that was the three creators but i got to meet akali i got to meet all of the designers i got to meet every single one which they're all awesome to hang out with really I, man like I, I love all of them chris what's up dude thank you so much for becoming a smart dude uh loved your last video like the priest deck with the sister can't forget to play the good please more collabs there's gonna be another collab with lieutenant eddie guys i'm gonna be real with you guys okay hold on um <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys like series that are really, really good. Like the people love the would me, Dexter, and Eddie play together. But like you gotta remember, unfortunately, everything lives through its cycle and we gotta move past it. So something will replace that. And I'm really, really excited for it. And I'm glad you guys like those videos. They'll just be uh they'll be replaced something else. It'll be great. Congrats to Regis, but man, I would have loved you to do the, the stream with Legend uh, Leo and Cora. You guys work so well together. I would have loved to, dude. I, I didn't get asked, um, but I think Regis is really good for that role. I, I think Regis is probably more appropriate for the reveal stream than I would be, even though I would love to do it. I'm I'm happy that Regis got it. Really happy that he got it. You the expansion draws probably April 11th. I heard Trump saying it's not that bad for Warrior. No, he did not. Have you played the Witchwood Dungeon Run? I used to. Uh, but maybe we'll go through it again. It's been a little bit. Did you meet Ben Brode? I haven't met Ben Brode yet. Big fun. I'm sorry, man. Do you think a game mode with old rotating expansions would be a good idea? Yes. Yes. I think there should be another game mode that is like um, they pick just six random expansions and that's the set you have and they do it. They just rotate it monthly. I think that'd be a fantastic idea. Is there going to be another duty to Hearthstone? Eventually. Eventually. I asked someone um they said they were up to do it i'm just waiting for them to actually give me a date when they can uh, i'm just waiting do you ever think we'll get monk as an hs class i'm not sure uh i would love it i think more people have this weird assumption that like more classes makes the game less fun because it's harder to balance i disagree i actually think more ways to play the game is better for the game it also means that there's more potential matchups and sure it might be harder to balance but if they do a good job it'd be fantastic what's your favorite expansion on goro I didn't play Diablo 4. I'm not interested in that game. I don't like I didn't like Diablo 3 at all, so I didn't even bother. But is she from Canada? Oh my god. Is a fat card of you in your pocket or you're just excited to see me at home? Hello. Kind of expect to keep up with that kind of form that wouldn't it? I mean, it's not for everybody, right? I don't think it would be the most popular, but I think it'd be really fun. At some point, right? It's like I think a card game doesn't have to cater to everyone. 
I think it would be really fun to have like a format that would just have rotating expansions. I would play the crap out of it. I would probably play it more than standard. I think it'd be really fun. You have any new cards from this year you want to see reverted on rotation? Reverted? I'm not, I'm not sure. I think I want the demon seed to be playable in a while. That's my only thing I really, really hope for. Remember the classic game mode I did? I played the other day. I was worried about a new class when Demon Hunter drop, but Death Knight restored my faith. Demon Hunter was just their first time doing it, so I understand why it was ridiculous. Oh my god. What's your most favorite streamer to collab with? Who's your most favorite streamer to collab with? I think it's Dexter, just because I've known Dexter the longest. It's like the person I'm most comfortable with. But I've liked every single person. I think the uh, the benefit of the card game scene, at least, is most almost actually not even most. Every person I've interacted with has been more than ha like a more than awesome. Like even meeting someone like Brian Kibler in real life was sweet. He seemed like a really awesome guy. I didn't get to really speak with him too much, but it was really, it was really cool. Should do some league videos. Has there been an update of those? The league video is finished. It'll be posted on the second channel sometime. I'm sorry. I'm just very busy because I am moving. Like, you know what I mean? I'm moving. <laughs> so it's been stuff. This is like the first day. I was also sick last week, which sucked. That really, uh, really sucked because I had to stop whatever I'm doing. So it's about to get back to the Hearthstone. I'm a Druid hater and seeing Guffro takes me want the expansion here now. <laughs> Have you seen the cards for all 10 classes in the new expansion revealed so far? All the cards? Have you seen the cards? I, I've seen I've seen most of them, yeah. Except for the ones they're going to release today. What's up, world? Thank you so much, man. I would love to see Evoker a monk, though I don't expect for another couple years. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna make a bold claim here, chat. I'm going to make a bold claim. I have a feeling that there will be a new class next year. That's my bold. That's my bold claim. I think I think next year we'll get a new class. I'm pretty sure. I'm feeling good about it. You plan to do Galakrond's Awakening Ash Hellens with DK? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how many people care about those adventures. That's the problem. What do you do? React to the new world of cards. What did you already react to the new world of cards? We'll go, we're gonna go through all of them. Don't worry, don't worry. Just talking. Looking forward to League videos got back in the lull with some friends. Yeah, it's weird, man. League of Legends has kind of come full circle for me. I was in a spot around 2017 to 2019 where I didn't care about it at all. And then slowly I got back into it. And now I'm like, fuck, like I'm here for it. I have a theory since this is expansion is music themed. I theorize the this year's expansion will be related to the three major entertainment shows, music, movie, and game theme expansions. Interesting. I think because Leo was the expansion lead on this and he's really passionate about music. That's why it was music though. Favorite class of Warlock. Favorite class of Warlock. Other classes could be the Monk. There's a Voker, which was recently added to World of Warcraft. I want like Bard, like something completely not in World of Warcraft. I think the best move for Hearthstone would be to make a class that is not in World of Warcraft. Like, I think making their own class, kind of how like Rune Terra is making their own champions uh, that are not in League of Legends yet, or if they ever will be, I think making a brand new class made for Hearthstone would be so much better than th them just porting over Monk or Evoker. Like, I think there's so many possibilities for new classes that I hope they do something outside of it. I think it'd be really cool. Just thoughts on the new Warlock collection spot. I think it looks amazing. I feel like the best experience in card games like Carson's doing goofy things with friends interaction three one videos we're waiting for for an interaction in the next videos Alex don't worry there's gonna be more there's gonna be more this takes time uh I don't know what's your name Ollie I uh I did uh we've done bingo things before on this channel we, we but I didn't do bingos I called them lockouts do you think you should start making other game modes through do you think they should start make other game modes through replay or rotate play? yes yes big fun yes What's your favorite musician slash band? My favorite artist is Anderson Pack. Thoughts on Warrior? Sorry if I'm spamming. We'll talk about Warrior in a second. Did you ask Reyna about any bizarre updates? Um, he hasn't given me like any updates. Like he doesn't, I'm not in the circle. I'm not in the inner circle. I'll ask him like, hey, like how's the game doing? He'll be like, oh, like it looks really good. I'm super excited to showcase it off. But like he won't give me information on it, which I think is totally fair. I don't think he, I'm not, I'm not NDA'd. So there's only, there's only so much he will be able to tell me, right? You think old classes should get updates to their core to be as unique as newer ones? Like, I think every single class, if they had the rune system, would be cool, but I don't think they're going to do it. I think they want to leave classes that have been in the game the exact same as people found them if they leave, right? Do you play other trading card games? Kurgo, I do not. Not currently, at least. Um, Yeah, not at the moment. 
unrelated to hs don't you think league is in a bad place no i think league is pretty fun i think they're doing a pretty good job i'm having a lot of fun with it at least i played the game since season two bro i've been through some rough stuff uh if you've ever played league of legends when black cleaver could be built multiple times that was fucked like that was a rough time for sure where you get the avatar post is from display i don't know if that's on it anymore though some of these are not like actually allowed to be on here oh for your questionnaire thing oh kurgo sorry my bad you reckon they should play the mercenary in the main menu they probably should but they won't there's no way they do carl that's awesome man i hope you're doing all right do you agree that all classes should get their own specific keyword not necessarily it's not it's not like a right to have its own keyword if it fits the flavor of the class sure but like i think like warlock's done a good job of being its own thing without having its own keyword right bro multiple black cleavers is literally on play that's what i'm saying man it was crazy i remember building like five black cleavers on pantheon and like the old pantheon e would proc it every single second or every point like one second so you just fucking rail people it was crazy all right anyway shall let's um that's enough of these questions thanks for all the, thanks for talking i appreciate it but uh let's talk about um let's talk about the cards i'm sure some of you were really uh some of you are probably here for the cards if i had to guess let me uh here for this all right okay uh so not every card is revealed at this point in time we're missing about 20 i want to say maybe a little less actually i'm not sure actually how many cards there are. um do we have all the cards now no we're missing about 20 uh they will be revealed uh during this live stream now i'm hoping that at one o'clock they just dump this like they dump the rest of the cards like i hope it's not like a we have to wait for the live stream to be finished but i could feel i could see them actually doing it like that um but we'll see okay anyways let's talk about this okay so we'll start we'll just go through every single card card and we'll go for classes to view stream chart uh two hours two hours okay uh death growl one mana choose a minion uh, sorry i should start with spell death growl spell one mana choose a minion spread its death idol to adjacent uh, minions i think this card is very powerful i'm actually very scared for this card uh when we see the legendary for this class you guys will see why but this is a very spooky effect and it's very easy for demon hunter demon hunter it's very easy for death knight to generate uh minions so i have a feeling that at some point in time this card will be playable i don't know how good it will be i don't think it will be meta defining necessarily but it will be probably a good card at some point it seems like a card that we'll see play and i'm kind of scared for it also uh you can generate this card off the uh the school teacher which i think is really good and if you do get it off the nerubian card it could be zero mana very spooky card i think it's gonna see play all right, uh, Mosh Pit, two mana location for Death Knight. Spend three corpses to give a friendly minion reborn. Also, another really spooky card. Uh, again, with the legendary that will be released, you guys will see it at some point uh, later, a little bit later on. I think this is actually gonna be really good. So far, Death Knight is looking extremely good. I would, I would think that both of these cards would see play at some point. The benefit of this card is how good reborn can be on specific minions and the better the minion is the more value this card gets you guys are saying three corpses is a lot i disagree with you i don't even think it's that bad i honestly don't think it seems that bad i think it's completely fine it's so easy to generate corpses in specific death knight decks that i'm not even worried about it looks really really good uh, i'm a little scared anyways arcanine ripper three mana one blood three two weapon death rattle summon a one one life steal undead change your health on your turn while equipped to improve now i am assuming that the stats get better with this um stats probably get better with this i'm assuming i think so um this card's probably fine i wish it had rush it's okay there's th the problem with this card is that there's this other weapon the other weapon in the class that i think is might be just marginally better this one seems a little rough 
it's not hard to actually change your life with this though because i guess uh if you swing into the what if you swing into something and it changes your life because you took damage this gives you plus one plus one that's not bad i don't know i'm not it doesn't say to me that it's good it's not screaming to me it's it's good but it's not the worst thing i've ever seen for sure there's definitely worse cards than this could be uh could be fine actually depending on if you get this on turn three this could be like winning the you the game blood boy will be like allow me to introduce myself yeah i think the issue with this card is there's just better cards to play right that might be the issue uh harmonic metal three mana for one blood give four random minions in your hand plus two plus two or it's give two minions in your hand plus four plus four if i'm if, if that's correct right yes I have to change on your turn oh i was just saying with this card that i think just it's not worth playing because there's just better cards for it right um this cards i don't think this is awful but again it's it's more like why would i play this over something else i think death knight is already in a really good spot when it comes to rotation so i'm not that worried about it could it buff the same minion i don't know i would imagine that it could i think that would make sense if it can that would be sick but if it can't that makes this much worse the the, the problem with this card is like you have to have a very specific hand for this to be even worth running into your deck like you're, you're putting this into a very specific blood deck that i just don't think we'll see play so probably not uh bone shredder five mana five four one unholy battle cry spend five corpses to trigger and gain the death rattle of a random friendly minion that died this game i think this card looks pretty sweet uh spending five corpses is quite a bit but uh if you have a death rattle that is not gonna die because your opponent doesn't want the death rattle to proc this is a very spooky card any card that lets you trigger a death rattle without killing the death rattle is very good and it's the same reason why i think the reborn card is good because if you give a good death rattle minion reborn and we're gonna get to the legendary soon uh it's the same reason why i think it's more playable now this one actually might be better because you're getting the five four with it and that's really spicy you also gain the death rattle so it just depends on if there's good death rattles for death knight that you want to play but if there ever is i think this is more than fine it's a very spooky card getting a good death rattle is great it doesn't trigger spend five corpses to trigger and gain the death rattle of a random friendly minion that died this game what are we talking about what do you mean it doesn't trigger what anyways this card's really good with the legendary um it's really good with the legendary that we'll see in a second i think it's really good the legendary looks really really good uh screaming banshee five minutes three six one blood lifesteal after your hero gains health summon a soul with that much attack and health so the problem with this card is if it lives it's a win more card i want to say but if it if it doesn't live it you're playing a five minute three six so you're gonna hold this card into your hand until you can actually swap tempo and i guess if something trades into it you get some minions on board but i don't know if it's actually that good maybe in the rainbow deck maybe in the rainbow deck i don't see it being played i think it's too slow again i think there's just better stuff to do i think that's the problem with a lot of these death knight cards is like i could play this it's not bad but like i think there's just better stuff that we could be playing right that's uh, that's my bigger problem here maybe with vampiric blood though i think vampiric blood is like the only real good thing but i don't know if it procs a vampiric blood that's the only issue which is the issue okay uh the legendary for death knight one of them sorry is cage head eight mana five one two unholy death rattle summon a nine nine blight boar with charge and taunt i think this card is very good i'm a little nervous on how strong this card is because of other cards that death knight has been given and i think this card will see play i also think it's really nice 
cage head what a name <laughs> it's so funny i think this is really par like really really scary and it makes the the location it makes the um this the the bone shredder it makes the location and it makes death growl just a better card so i feel like one of the ways you're gonna play death like this expansion is you're gonna play this and then you're gonna play a bone shredder and then you're gonna death growl it and you're 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 gonna be sad because that's a really good way to win a game with unholy once you lose the board which i feel like would be really good um and it's unholy unholy fights for the board anyway so it's uh sorry i went past it it's unholy so unholy fights for the board to begin with and then you get to it afterwards and i think that will be very very strong uh like you have to kill it at some point and if you don't kill it then you have to worry about death growl so i think there is a good chance that this will be used as a top and in the deck and it will be strong and we already have the location from return to nax ramus which will kill this the turn it's played which is very strong that means you get a four or five with rush and a nine nine boar with charge and taunt so pretty sick climatic necrotic explosion 10 mana this is a rainbow death knight card the first one ever where you have to put one blood one unholy and one frost in your for each one of each rune for the deck because you can't generate this card this is one of the cards that can't be generated uh it has life steal deal five damage summon two one one souls randomly improved by corpses you've spent so this is like a huge payoff card uh if you're going for the rainbow death knight deck now is this worth playing a rainbow death knight deck for this effect it's close i'm not honestly sure it's gonna be tough to see because you have to think of it like will this win me the game and is it worth playing this effect over something else i don't know i don't think so so it's tough you can't discover this off of Nerubi advisor you can't they they said you can't generate this card you have to put it in your deck you can't generate it that's correct right chat didn't leo say that i'm pretty sure leo said that the, the problem is like this card's awesome but the problem is like is it worth going for one for each rune for this payoff i'm not sure uh that's the issue with it it's it's the deck restriction that's the problem with this so it's tough so if the rainbow death knight is playable then sure Uh, overall uh i think we're missing one card for death knight i believe maybe two each class gets 10 right one two three four five six seven eight so we're missing two cards for death knight at the moment and we'll get back to them when the, the rest of the cards are released but i do think death knight is looking very good this expansion and they're already looking good going into rotation so i feel like death knight should be a pretty good class this expansion i would be very surprised if there's not a good death knight deck at least tier two we'll see frost cards are missing okay so very excited all right anyways let's go to, let's go to demon hunter the demon hunter is in the same position we're missing two cards for it <clears throat> can you get it with etc you can but you need to still have one of each rune in order to put it into your deck okay uh so demon hunter i have the shadow two mana two three demon your life your hero's life steal not getting rating predictions i mean is there a reason to i think rating predictions are kind of cringe but we're gonna do a tier list for um the legendaries no i don't think they're cringe i just think it's unnecessary for what i'm doing if i was doing a youtube video i would give it like a, a star rating but i don't need to i think this card has potential because you're you're you played war blades for the lifesteal effect the problem is is that the war blades i believe are still in the core set after this so i don't know why you're playing this because if you really wanted that lifesteal, I guess you could actually play the Warblades. That being said, there is a lot of synergistic cards with this. And maybe at some point, if the game is extremely aggressive, this card will see play with because of other cards in there. It's hard to make up flavor text sometimes. It's actually pretty stupid. <laughs> um, we'll see, right? I'm not going to say this is a necessarily bad card. Uh, it could be really, really powerful with a huge weapon. You just completely swing the board. But I'm not expecting this card to see a ton of play unless it's very needed. All right. Security. Two mana, one, one. Sorry. Security. Two mana, demon hunter spell. 
Summon two one one Ildari with Rush. Outcast, summon one more. I feel like there's just a better card for this. Probably garbage. Never want to play this. Why is this called card security? I guess it's like people are rushing towards the musician. Yeah, it doesn't seem very good. Again, it's not horrible. I've seen worse, but I probably never see play. Uh, Snake Bite, two mana, one, one rush. Battle card gain plus one, plus one for each minion that died this turn. So I guess this is more of a synergistic card with this. Do I want this? How many minions have to die for me to really want to play this? I guess it's not horrible. This card could see play. I guess we also have rush the stage two, right? Which is a three mana spell, draw two rush minions that cost one less. So this could be one mana, which isn't horrible. Could be good. I just don't know why you want this. What is Demon Hunter keeping this set? They have big demons from Sunken City. They have, what do they get in Nathria? They got the relics. And then March of the Lich King, they got the spell package. Not sure if this is better than any of those. Maybe. It's tough. Uh Glaive Tar, four mana, four two weapon, death battle, draw one card play, outcast cards. Well equipped to improve. I think this card's very good. I was saying it when we first saw this card. How many cards do you actually need to draw for this card to be insane? And I think even one card's fine. Like I would play a weapon that literally said four mana four two draw a card. Like I think that's completely fine. Now, if I get to draw two cards for it, that's pretty spicy. Three cards, absolutely bonkers. Like it, it kind of gets really, really good the more the dr more draw you get, right? So I'm pretty. I think this card's actually really strong. I probably you'll probably see play in almost every Death Knight or Team 100. I kind of keep making them up. Uh, I'll probably see play in almost every single Team 100. Like, I can't imagine why this wouldn't see play. It's really, really good. I think it's really, really strong. Um, okay. Halveria, Dark Raven, four mana, four, three rush. After a friendly rush minion attacks, give your minions plus one attack. So th this is the payoff package for your rough, your, your rough, your rush. I just, it's so tough because you have to have rush minions on the board for this to be worth it. And if you don't have rush minions on the board, it feels bad. The weird, the, the cool reason to use this card though is maybe in an aggressive deck, you just play this to kill a minion and then all your other minions get plus one attack. So maybe that's going to be good enough at some point. I think it's just not good enough though. There's just better cards again. So probably won't be worth it. Un, un, uninspired, I would say this legendary feels like. I don't know. doesn't feel that interesting. That's pretty rough. I don't think it does. You just have to play an outcast card. So I don't think you need to. Oh, for this card? Play outcast cards. It doesn't say you, your cards need to be outcasted. It just says play outcast cards. This card's probably. I think this card's bonk, like absolutely bonkers. I think like and this card's here for two years too. So there's gonna be better outcast cards to play throughout the years. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, okay, instrument smasher four mana three six. Whenever your weapon is destroyed, equip a random demon hunter weapon. This one's tough because it's like, what are the demon hunter weapons? But most of the time, it's never gonna be good enough, right? There we go. um you would have to have a very specific vision in mind for this but it's pretty bad it's unfortunate so probably not really see play uh going down swinging the five mana legendary spell for demon hunter give your hero plus two attack and immune this turn and then attack each enemy minion okay this card i actually think is really strong uh this is a huge reason to use a card like instrument smasher even though it, the dream is probably not going to be there for the most part the real benefit of this card is maybe you get a shit ton of lifesteal or because you have the Eye of the Shadow card on board. Maybe you just clear the entire board. Maybe you just use this to get a bunch of, I don't know. I feel like there's um, a way to attack multiple times after this, right? Isn't there something I feel, I feel like that's what it is. Regardless, I think this card's very strong. I'm a little nervous for it because that card is very flexible. 
So you lose your weapon durability. You would, yes, you would. You would. Multi strike, yes. Multi strike. Uh, very good though. If you have lifesteal, this card is basically Reno Jackson for five mana. And you could probably, you know, kill some minions off, which I think is very, very strong. So kind of spooky. But um Will it see play? Maybe. Probably. I think it's a really good card. It's really good with weapons. Like, I don't know. Like, I can't imagine. Like, even if there's one minion on the board and you just need to not take the damage, absolutely, right? I think it's really, really good. Uh, could be, could be really, really cool. With Ilganoth and Wild, God, I, I'm glad that card's out here. Overall, for what I see from Demon Hunter, it's a little, like, uninspired, it almost feels like. It, it doesn't feel like this is very a spicy class. That being said, I don't necessarily think this is that bad. I mean, comparatively to what we're going to see later with like Warrior, right? This could be so much worse. Um, but we're still missing two cards. So we'll have to wait and see. Not the most interesting. I'm also just not a Demon Hunter fan personally. So that keep that in mind when I'm talking about this. But I think they're going to be fine. I think the Glaive Tar is really going to make this class good, though. Like, I think this card is absolutely stupid. So we'll see. All right, Druid. I revealed these cards, some of these cards. Free Spirit, one mana, one, two, battle cry, and death rattle. Your hero power gains one more armor this game. I think this card's okay. I don't think this is going to be the real reason why you're going to be running the package, but I do think it's really good in the deck that you want to run the hero power package in. I think it's fine. Uh, most of the time, if this dies, it's probably already worth playing, right? Maybe you put this in like aggro. I don't even know what the deck's going to be, to be honest. Like, maybe you go more aggro. Maybe you go mid-range. This card's very flexible. That's the benefit of this card. So, it's probably going to see play. Pure Peaceful Piper. One minute, one, one. Choose one, draw a beast, or discover one. I feel like this card's pretty good. Tutoring a beast, if you need one specifically, or discovering one could be fine. I think just having a draw effect for beasts could be really good depending on what beasts there are i don't think you're ever going to want to discover one because discovering a beast is probably not super great but tutoring a beast could be good pretty simple effect depends on the beast groovy cat i think this card's phenomenal i think it's absolutely turbo nuts if i'm being real two mana two one turning the hero power base like i say you so you play this into this the groovy cat uh, battle cry death rattle your hero power gives you your hero one more attack this game i think this card's insane um i think you're playing this card in almost every single druid deck because it's insane uh it's really really good and you can play two of these cards so the dream is that you plus two mana and your hero power gives you like what five 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 attack five armor and it's cat absolutely i think it's really good and because you could tutor it it's very easy to get i think druid's game plan looks really really strong just went from this card alone so i expect this to see play this just fits into the pack and spread the word for mana draw two cards cost one less for each attack your hero has fits very nicely into a package where you're going to be playing groovy cat anyways if you're going to be playing Groovy Cat, you might as well just play Spread the Word. Uh, I think most of the time would be happy to pay two mana to draw two cards. If you're spending one mana to draw two cards, you're pretty stoked. And if you're spending zero mana, you're pretty stoked. <laughs> like, so this is what it is. Timber Tambourine. Four mana, two, three, Death Rattle Summon, one, five, five, Ancient Play cards that cost five or more, well equipped to improve. So this one's a little interesting. I don't know if Druid really needs this. I think that Druid is just gonna do better stuff than play a Timber Tambourine. Maybe people really want to play 5-5 five, five Ancients, but I wouldn't be optimistic about it. Summer Flower Child, five mana, four or five minion, battle cry, draw two cards that cost six or more. Finale, they cost one less. If you play this on turn five, I think there might be a reason to play this, but again, I don't know. I don't think Druid needs this. They just have better cards. Uh, I'd rather just put Nourish in my deck almost every single time. So <laughs> I think I don't think it's really worth it. Maybe I'm wrong. You you get I guess you get to tutor like very high cost cards, which is nice, but you would have to like 
really need that draw. The finale doesn't get proc right on turn five. It would. So finale is basically spend the rest of your main your mana. So if you're playing this on curve, it it procs the finale because you're spending all of your mana. So that's good if you play it on turn five. You know what I mean? It's not horrible. But the, the thing is, is like, is there better stuff to play? Probably. Right. So I'm not too optimistic about it. Drum circle, seven mana spell, choose one, summon five, two, two treants, or give your minions plus two, plus four, and taunt. All right. The second one, so the second option here is pretty spicy. That's a very powerful effect to give your minions taunt and plus two, plus four. Um, that's probably the use case here. I think even summoning two, five, five, sorry, five, two, two treants is probably fine. But if you're going to play this card, you're probably playing it for the second effect. I think this card is probably going to be better used when it's discovered, not when it's put into your deck, but I could see it as a high end card in a, uh, in a aggro druid deck. That's basically it though. So, all right. Zog fog snout seven minute, six, six battle cry, summon two, one, one cool bar with taunt improved by your hero attack and armor gain this turn. Mm -hmm. Any combined effects with Vangel leaving core? I don't know, but Vangel's leaving for sure. This card's tough because it's like, is this is this worth the payoff? Maybe it's not bad. Like it's definitely not an awful card to see play. Um, it's not very exciting. I think a lot of people look at this card and go, "Wow, it's not very good" because it's not very exciting. This actually reminds me a little bit of the Druid hero card from, um. Frozen Throne, because it's not in a very exciting effect, but it, it actually might see play. It's very easy to just get this to work. So I could see this being played. I just don't know if it's going to be good enough. That's the problem. Does it add the attack and health? I would assume so. I actually don't really know, but I guess we'll see very soon, right? Could be very good, though. That's the thing. Might have potential. All right, uh, so for Druid, that's all of them, right? So Druid's also missing two cards. I think Druid looks really good. Man, I, I just think this card looks so insane. Groovy Cat just seems so good. And you get to play two of them. God, that's so freaking powerful, man. Missing Legendary Spell? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're missing. I'm excited. Looks good. I think Druid should be strong. Druid also has a lot of good cards from last year. We are losing Scales of Anixia, thank God. So that's great. Um, but I'm excited to uh, play this, this whole package. It looks really cool. I think a lot of people are excited to play this too, which is awesome. All right, so Hunter, same idea. We're missing two cards. Hunter looks a little interesting. Um, Hunter looks really interesting. Hunter's going for some big beast package. And I, I think Hunter normally when it gets this type of package is bad but let's go through the cards and maybe there will be something bunch of bananas one mana give a minion plus one plus one you can use this three times that's fine um it may not seem that good until you look at the other cards for hunter and i believe it's the weapon that we have to pay attention to when we see this effect uh it's kind of bad like I wouldn't want to put this in any specific deck, but the weapon does make this card more playable. So we'll get there in a second. Aerosmith, two minute, two, three, after you cast a spell, deal one damage to the lowest health enemy. I am a huge fan of the design of this card. I will say I'm a big fan of it. I think it's really well designed. It's nice that it's not random. It's just, here's a very consistent effect. Um, usually when they print cards like this for two mana and it does like a random damage, um, I think it's pretty great. Well, no, sorry, it's really bad when it's random, but like the way they design this is great. This is Aerosmith too, which is a cool name. Uh, it works really nice with a bunch of bananas. So this may be a package that Hunter can do. You could play this and then maybe you coin this card out and then you play a bunch of bananas and you just smack your opponent with it. So maybe that's the play. Uh, then we have Barrel of Monkeys, two mana, summon a one four monkey with taunt, three monkeys left, dude. This card, I think, is so ridiculously insane for what it is. 
with two minute one four with taunt that's not even that bad for two like for just paying for a two minute one four with taunt and then you get to do it th three times pretty crazy your quick question did we get pack drops in the reveal stream i believe so uh if you just compare it to silverback patriarch it's just absolutely ridiculous right pretty funny uh this card seems bad but if you're if you're playing the deck that Dr blizzard wants you to play for hunter this expansion it makes total sense why this card is here will this actually be good enough it really depends on how great the rest of the package is for hunter which you know we're gonna see right now so let's go look jungle jammer four mana four two weapon for hunter death will summon a random one cost beast cast spells well equipped to improve so this is the real reason why you want to play cards like barrel of monkeys or a bunch of bananas because there are some really good beasts the higher you go up right and i believe this has potential to summon any beast from any class so that's like the reason you generally want to play this card and will jungle jammer be good maybe man i don't know i think it actually has potential because this type of card is so stally that you might actually have time to just get this to a point where it can summon a pretty good minion you're also doing eight damage with this which is pretty great so uh big fan of this card as long as the the, the spells are worth playing and it seems like it should be uh, we have big dreams of five mana summon the highest cost beast from your hand it goes dormant for two turns chat before i even give analysis on this card what do you guys think of this card what do you guys think bad way too slow this is awful garbage interesting dormant two more a dormant two more like i'm dead in two see it's very interesting because i think generally speaking five mana do nothing is very bad but if you can live for those two turns maybe it's good would imprison anton see play anymore i think that card would absolutely that card was very strong because you did 10 damage when it awakened that's the biggest thing and had it even though you had to wait two turns you got a big statted minion and it did 10 damage um the problem with this is that you need a beast that's proactive when it actually uh wakes up from the dormant so unless you're doing king crush uh because the the bear rotates right so that's the big issue now that being said i don't know if this card is horrible because there are some cards that will actually be able to just help you um for example the very next card is mukla right uh you get an additional copy of the mukla which is a six mana 10 10 rush and it doesn't proc the battle cry which is good or bad depending on the matchup um but it has a battle card to fill your opponent's hand with bananas uh this is also a beast i think this card is insane i i think this is one of the best cards i've seen uh six mana 10 10 is fucking insane if your opponent has no minions on the board this card is insane if your opponent has a minion on the board and you trade into it it's insane on top of that it's not copy oh you're right it's just summon okay shit this card's garbage never mind if it's not a copy sorry i thought it was a copy i guess that's just trash yeah that's trash um this card's sick big fan big fan Fill your opponent's hand with bananas like that's generally really good it, it, I, I can't imagine a single hunter deck that doesn't want this card like that's that's how good this card is this card is just universal just like put this in your deck and you're pretty stoked because even if you give your opponent a bunch of bananas like how often do you want to spend one mana to give your your minion plus one plus one insane i think it's actually insane Uh, I think it's just really good. I think it's really, really powerful. We'll probably see play. I want to craft this card golden. I can't wait to see the golden animation on this card. I'm really excited. Bad against aggro. I, I mean, that's not a reason to say that the card is bad. Uh, most of the time, if you're going to die, like think of it like this, right? If you're going to put this against aggro and you're going to die anyways, the next turn, does it really matter? 
what card you're playing, right? Maybe you put a taunt, but does the taunt even save you? I don't think so. I think the card's great. I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited for it. I think it's fucking stupid. I think it's such a powerful effect. I'm really excited to see what this card can actually do. Um, and I will be playing this card in absolute shit ton if I play Hunter. This will this card will go into my deck every single time. Well, I'm just gonna get more music going. Slow decks just have hard removal. Yeah, I hate that argument. That's like, oh, this is this is bad against aggro. That doesn't mean the card is bad, right? It's just maybe against aggro, it's just not good, right? I think this is very strong. Uh, Banjo Sore. <laughs> what a funny card. Honestly, I can't wait to see the golden animation of this card too. Ten minute five six rush. Whenever this attacks, draws a beast, gain its stats. Um, and I guess if you have Wind Fury, you can do it again. Now, this card's surprisingly strong because even though it is 10 mana, when you attack something, you get the stats first and then you swing. You don't swing and then gain the stats. You get the stats first and then you swing. So this draws you a card, you get its stats. <clears throat> big beast this is your big beast payoff this expansion so the real question comes down to is big dreams into the banjo sore a good enough win condition for hunter and it might be it might be but probably not now maybe maybe you can get to 10 mana and play this card but god it's not even good enough <laughs> copium is a good call yeah copium is a really really good call so would you want to play this i don't know i don't think this is going to be good enough hunter's really hard to judge though because this is rotation you have to remember that this is rotation so the cards there the meta game will slow down it won't be as fast paced as it is right now so maybe in a world where you could play a bunch of silverback patriarchs the big dreams will be good enough but i think that's coping out of your mind that being said i think this card has the potential to make hunter a very good class and i'll show you why in a second Treglethorn heart 10 mana tradable hunter spell resurrect all friendly beasts that cost five or more very good effect and it's very important to note that this card has tradable because if it doesn't have tradable this card is unplayable that being said hold on everyone hold your horses hold are you holding chat chat hold 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 this card is in the game this card's in the game which with a spell potentially like barrel monkeys or bunch of bananas i'm just saying it could be spicy it could be spicy now the, the still the bigger problem with this is that you need beasts to die but hold your horses <laughs> might be good <laughs> might be good <laughs> oh also, your opponent needs to have a spell, I guess, but dream big. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let Banjo Soar, the last of its kind before the meteor hits, just do absolutely nothing. <sighs> so now the thing about this kind of effect is that with more expansions released into the game and more beast added, card could get better. So maybe. Maybe, right? At some point. But I would say for this expansion, I'm not too optimistic on Hunter. So we'll see, right? It's fine. I, I don't think it's that bad, though. I think the fact that it's tradable, you can still run it. It's definitely not the worst thing in the world. Um, You also have, what's the Colossal's name? Hydralodon? Hydralodon's pretty great. So that could be good. Hydralodon's a pretty good card. Could be interesting. 
Hunter's a hard, uh, a little hard to judge. It's a really weird package. All right, let's go to Mage. So Mage is missing three cards. How many cards is Mage missing? Chad, three, one, two, three. Because each class gets each class gets ten. Each class gets ten. So Mage is missing three instead of two, which we'll see very soon. Uh, Mage looks really fun. I don't know if Mage is gonna be good. But Mage looks good. HD, thanks for coming to support you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, infinite or sorry, infinitize the maxitude, which is such an interesting name. Two mana legendary spell. Discover a spell. Finale. Return this to your hand at the end of your turn. Finale is chat. If you spend the rest of your remaining mana. So if you play this on turn two, it's not bad. Right? It's two spells you can discover. It's fine. The bigger problem is, is making sure the finale keeps on coming back. Like at six mana, right? You have to be able to play this with two mana remaining. And same for seven, same as eight. Sometimes you're just not gonna be able to do that. And sometimes you're just gonna need to play this to get a spell to actually fight for the board or not die. So the worst case scenario is just, would you play a card that says discover a spell? Sure, sure. Um, would I say, would I play a card that says discover a spell and maybe discover an extra spell? Yeah, I probably would. So I think this card does have potential. The problem is, and someone already brought it up with ruined orb, which is this card. Uh, hold on. Did I delete that? I must've deleted it. Hold on. Hurry up. So this card rotates chat uh this card rotates which makes me think that the that card will the the millhouse card will actually see play because major major does not have a card like this anymore so maybe uh it's not inherently strong like there's better there's been better two drops rune drop wasn't that great are you out of your mind it was, it was played forever it was it was played in like almost every single mage deck it's not played now, but it was very, very good. Difference is the card doing damage versus not though. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you, HG. I agree. I think this card, the problem with it is just, you have to look at that as like the worst case. Like, are you paying two mana to discover a spell? Maybe. Do you want to? Not really, <laughs> but it's not bad. I think the pro, like maybe the benefit of this card is if you could discover it first and then you have this card. So whatever, what's your least favorite standard deck right now? I have no idea. I don't play the game enough. Um, the one I, I least enjoy going against is the, the thief rogue deck. I lost to it this morning and I was cheesed. This card is so bad. You can basically never play discovered spell on the same turn you discovered if you want to keep the effect going. Yeah, but that's, that's what makes this card kind of interesting is like, you have to think about like, do you need the value or do you need the tempo? Because in some matchups, you will be able to do this multiple times, right? Like, let's say for instance, you're going against a slower deck like priest or whatever, then you can discover multiple spells, right? In an aggro deck, um, you could potentially discover multiple spells, I should say. In an aggro deck, you just need to discover a spell, but two mana to discover a spell is pretty bad. I don't know. Probably not great, but maybe that's the thing. <clears throat> okay, uh, rewind two mana, discover a copy of another spell you've cast this game. This card is a very good card. Um, how many times have you asked yourself, hey, I would like a third card, third copy of a spell in my deck? Yeah, I would. I'm a big fan of a third spell in my deck. Um, Cause you're gonna be, the thing about this card is like, Quite literally, you're going to be discovering spells you put into your deck for a good reason. Do you need an extra fireball? Maybe. Do you want another frozen touch? Maybe. Do you want to discover um, the, the rewind card for potentially another ice block? I think this card has so much potential that I can't see it being bad ever. Now, is it going to be meta defining? I don't think so. Like, I don't think it's, it's going to be meta defining at all. But I think for decks that you would like a third copy, if Reno ever comes back in the following year, this card has potential. How slow the meta should be? Um, it's hard to judge, man. Rotation is very hard to, to predict, uh, especially because we have Death Knight now, right? So 
I think it looks pretty good. I'm very excited for this card. It's also an arcane spell. I don't know how relevant that really is, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think I should see play. Audio splitter, three meta, four, three death rattle. Copy the highest spell in your hand, and it's a mech. This card's not bad. Three meta, four, three to generate another spell. It's not bad. A mech, sure. Cool. Not great, not broken. Somewhere in between. It'll be fun. Light show, three mana, uh, shoot two beams at enemies that deal two damage, shoot one more for each light show you've cast this game. I don't know about this card. Tricky, we still do, yeah. We still do. Uh, this card's really hard to judge. Now, does anyone know if you can hit the same enemy twice? Because if you can hit the same enemy twice, this card becomes a lot better. Uh, but if it has to hit random enemies, then it's not great. Yes, you can. You should be able to. It's arcane missiles. Hit twice. Only if you can generate a bunch. It's like Flame Waker. Okay. This card, I think, is not super great. But if you're able to constantly generate another one with like rewind or maybe you use the auto splitter with light show i don't know how this is going to work the real question is how many of these can you actually generate for this card to be good i don't know um looks like it's not random i do you choose i assume that this is random but if you choose that it becomes so much better doesn't say random. It doesn't say random. I know, but dude, look how much fucking text is already on the card. Chat, look how much look how much text is on the card. You think they could fit random on there? <laughs> like, I don't think there's I don't think there's any words. There's no more room, man. I don't know. This would be Steen on crack for three minutes if you could choose. Steen on crack. There is a room. I there's no room. Regardless, if even if you can choose, I don't think it's absolutely horrible because three mana deal four is not the worst thing I've ever seen. But then the next time you play this card, it's three minute deal six, and then it's three minute deal eight. And that's not even counting spell damage because this card gets multiplicative with spell damage because it's each individual proc. So it could be really good. Like, honestly, uh, the thing is, it's like how many of these can you generate? And that's going to what really holds this card back. Because if you can generate like two extra copies of this, there's potential with this card. It really is. Um, but if you can't generate more, it's rough. It's rough. Uh, keyboard soloist, four mana, two for Naga, Battlecry. If you control no other minions, summon two, one, two amps of spell damage plus two, or plus one, sorry. You get you get plus two spell damage from both of them. Uh, again, good example. Like, keyboard soloist into a light show. That's pretty spicy because that, that means each beam does four damage. And that's like, oh shit, now we're getting really spicy with it, right? So, again, I think it's hard to really tell. We're also missing three mage spells, so or three cards, I should say. So there might be a card that helps us discover another copy. I think it could be really good. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think this is bad at all. And if the more you can generate, sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My, uh, my water bottle hit my desk and I woke my cat up. Can you generate rewind with re rewind? No, they made it so you can't discover a spell with the same spell. you monster show cat if he gets up i'll show him um but i think there's potential with these two cards volume up four mana draw three spells finale discover a copy of one it's arcane chat hot take here this is the top five card of the set i think this card's broken um i can't believe they printed this card that's my that's my final statement i think this card's insane never in my life i never i would never think uh not really a hot take. I didn't realize I haven't watched any other reviews. I don't know how good this card actually is for other people, but I think it's insane. I can't believe they made this. Like, I actually can't believe it. This is insane. 
such a good card it's so good because it's draw three spells it's not just draw three cards it's three spells and if potentially you get a fourth one nuts very in flavor too really good card i think it's insane i think it's insane if you could play this on turn four you're pretty stoked like you're really stoked you're really stoked i would pay four man to draw four cards and you're getting spells you have to pay mana to do that i thought it was just in the settings menu yeah that's pretty funny I'm really really excited looks good should be three mana <laughs> bro three mana this card would be one of the best cards ever printed in hearthstone i think four mana is good all right last card for mage dj mana storm 10 minute 8 8 battle christ the cost of spells in your hand to zero after you cast one the other ones cost one more chat what do you guys think about this card I don't know why people are so hyped for this. We basically had one man of draw five. Okay, so let me explain it like this for a second. Secret Passage is one of the best cards Hearthstone has ever printed ever. Does not make this card bad. You understand? Just because that card was absolutely broken does not mean this card is bad. Back to this card. I don't get it so the way this works is that you play this on 10 mana your first spell in your hand like so all spells in your hand cost zero right so that means you can play one spell with this it doesn't matter what the mana cost of that spell was preemptively preemptively of playing this card because it costs zero after you play that spell all other spells in your hand cost one after you play another spell those spells go up to two mana and it keeps on going up now we talked about this earlier but I still think Arcane or um, Caligos is a better card, but I believe they rotated Caligos out. Now, this card does get better chat because of this card. That's the thing about this card, right? You can play volume up to just draw three spells, and then the very next turn, you play DJ Mana Storm. When does the effect stop? Until there's no, there are no more spells in your hand uh, when you play this card. Um, I don't know what big spells mage have, but again, we are missing a couple cards for mage this expansion. So if, if we get, uh, another big spell here, that's worth playing could be sick at the moment. I'm not too optimistic on it. So we'll have to wait and see what does mage have actually. Hold on. So Mage got from Voyage on the Sunken City. No spells. Tech W. Deathborn. Tech W. <laughs> March of Lich King. Arcane Defenders, sure. Alright, so at the moment Mage got absolute butt cheeks. Um maybe at some point they get spells. Again, we are missing some cards. So we'll have to wait and see um what that actually means for the game or for mage maybe they get some cards that are good but it's hard to tell how does it interact with cards drawn after playing it so it doesn't affect the cards the spells you draw after playing this it only affects the spells in your hands all right that's part of back rotation that's fair okay this this is a card that if big spell mage is ever supported i think this card will eventually see play i don't think it's bad at all i think it's like would you play 10 mana 8 8 and play a spell for free yeah you probably would and potentially get more discount so it's not bad i just don't know if it will be playable during this expansion that's the thing right a lot of these cards have the potential to be a lot better later on so we'll see you cannot play the coin on 10 mana to have 11 I guess I played too much battlegrounds. You can't go above 10 mana unless you have the mana crystal for it. Yeah. So Guff, I think was like, well, there, there is a card. There's um, there's a card that makes your maximum mana go to 11. Your maximum hand size go 11, which should be really good. Anyways, uh, cool. Uh, Mage looks real. I will say this chat, even though Mage doesn't look super great. Like I'm not, it's I don't see the set of cards and go, holy moly, we're so effed. Mage is going to be broken. Mage looks really fun. 
Like mage just looks exciting to play. And generally speaking, I think that's the goal of mage is just making it super fun to play. When mage is fun, the gate hearthstone's usually pretty great. So I'm excited. I I don't think that this is gonna be meta defining, but it might uh it might see play after the three spells we get, but I'm really, really excited. Uh for mage. I think mage looks really fun. All right, Paladin. Uh, Lion, what's up, dude? Rand, what class do you think has the strongest and weakest package in the expansion so far? Also been loving the content recently. Lion, thank you for five, bro. I appreciate it. Um, weakest is probably Warrior, but we'll get to that shortly. It's tough to say what the strongest is. At the moment, I think Druid looks really good, but let's go through all of them. Let's go through all of them first, okay? Rogue also looks really good. But thank you for five, dude. I appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> chat we're gonna go to warrior or paladin here okay spotlight two mana tradable again tradable is a big deal really really good deal uh convert a friendly divine shield into a five five elemental very cool effect we have never really seen an effect like this in hearthstone really excited and especially because of the legendary spell this card looks very good and we're gonna get to that legendary spell in one second actually i'll talk about it right now because it it really synergizes with this card we'll skip the murloc for a second starlight groove three mana legendary spell give your hero divine shield for the rest of the game playing a holy spell refreshes it very good card very good card all right it's a very i think this card's very powerful uh and it synergizes very nicely with this because i believe the way that this is going to interact is that you take the divine shield from your hero you summon a five five but because this is a holy spell you get the divine shield back am i correct on that is that is that how it's going to interact it makes sense that that's how it's going to interact and if that's the case that is a very powerful effect the only issue with this card is that you have to have that first so we'll have to wait and see this card on itself will be really good it reminds me a ton of cariel uh, I'm going to hate playing against it. I think most people are going to hate playing against it. Getting a Divine Shield on your hero is a very good effect. Um, mitigating damage if your opponent doesn't have a ping is insane. So, and you can refresh it. My God, looks insane. Uh, okay, uh, so I think this card will see play. I think this card will also see play just for the record. <sighs> Gouda, thanks for five man. Randy, you forgot that Romath replaced Discovered Light Shows, making him a nine mana Aslar or Denathrius if you discover two, three. Good point, man. Good point. Mage looks fun. You're right. 100%. I, I completely forgot that Romath exists, man. That's my bigger problem. Cool. Good point, chat. Good job, Guda. Thank you, man. Um, okay, Funkfin. 3 minute 2-2, two, two, Murloc, Divine Shields. Your minions with Divine Shield have plus 2 attack. Again, another really good effect because on its own, this is a 3 mana 4-2 with Divine Shield and it's a fucking Murloc, dude. What the hell? Uh, very spooky. Uh, very spooky card. I Would you play a, a, any Murlocs? synergy gets a little scarier here uh anything with divine shield gets a little spookier uh, pretty pretty good card it's what it is if you're playing a divine shield paladin looks pretty good i wish it said your the characters you have with divine shield have plus two attack because i think that kind of effect beautiful um uh, but i think it might be broken does murloc has riz he does his riz is out of control remember laxians in the core set so great with dude paladin yeah absolutely it buffs itself it does yeah that's why it's good it's a three mana four two divine shield murloc which is insane and it has the bonus effect of buffing all your other divine shield minions crazy 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 good card uh jitterbug four mana four three divine shield another divine shield minion after a friendly minion after a friendly character loses divine shield draw a card dude i think this card could be good if you ping it it's a 2-2 two -two. dude that's such a weird way of saying this you have to spend two mana for this card to have minus two attack oh no i'm so fucked how dare I, how how will i ever win if my mage pings my divine shield for two mana We're losing Bannerman, right? That's the real problem here. Paladin's losing some draw. So. This card might see play. It's tough. 
this fits really nicely with uh the that mech though that like gives all your mechs divine shield and uh taunt and it still fits in pure paladin so sure cool Kangar dancing king five mana three three lifesteal death row swap this with a minion from your hand and give it lifesteal okay this card okay chat this card's I, I when i first saw this card i wasn't super optimistic on it but now that we've seen more of the set i think this card looks really good um i'm a little nervous because this card could be played you you swap it for a bigger minion in your hand and then you replay it and you can continuously doing it and that minion gets lifesteal i think it looks pretty good I want to see Kangar run with the big undead package. Mishmash Matcher, Flash Behemoth, Thanius, Rivera. There's just so many, like, this card saying, like, five mana, just pull a minion from your hand and give it lifesteal is terrifying. Because that means that if your opponent is playing an aggro or some kind of burn deck, they have to kill your minions now. Because you'll just have lifesteal. That's terrifying. Uh, Now, this card really needs big decks to work like big minions to work and potentially it it might not but god there's so many minions that you can pull that if they gets life steal you're fucking crying like you're gonna be so upset so i feel like this card has so much potential to be annoying and i think it will see play how's he not a mech it's probably broken if he was a mech i'm gonna be real I meant a three three does nothing against aggro. It has like don't it, are you memeing? You're memeing, right? You're memeing. You're memeing. You just uh the fact that this has lifesteal too is really nice. Because even if you don't play it, it's like damn. Is Brasswing in? Brasswing should be rotating. Because honorable kill is leaving. Zilliax, yeah, Zilliax is there, true. Does it make this does it make all these 10 minute paladin trash kins playable? Potentially, right? Like this is a very scary effect. So and this card, like again, just like the hunter spell and just like kind of the mage, uh, the male, the male house mana storm legendary, this is an effect that will be here for two years, guys. So think of it like this, like in two years, in almost, okay, in, in two years of Hearthstone, you're telling me that this kind of effect won't see play at some point? Absolutely not. Uh, this is mana cheating for Paladin and it's, and, and there's life still with it. I think it's going to see play at some point. I think it's very good. I'm, I'm incredibly nervous for how good Paladin actually looks after reviewing the, the set right here. So... <laughs> we'll see um okay lead dancer six mana four two death battle summon a minion from your deck with less attack than this minion so the benefit of this card is you have kangor's dancing king which i think is the real reason you want to play this you also have this minion too so i guess it should be okay i'm not actually sure um i we we talked about how castle nathry has a card the i forgot what it's called but it's almost the same effect as it but you get to summon a copy of it from your deck rather than just swapping the minion out uh do we know what the legendary we all get is but yeah it's etc it's already in the game uh this card annoya troop i think just fits really nicely for kangors and lead dancer man i'm gonna be really upset if this card gets lifesteal though i'm gonna be honest it's so annoying to deal with god this card is so fucking stupid against board centric decks you're gonna blow your brains out like if you don't have a silence this is gonna take you so long to get through like think of it dude not only do all of these minions have taunt but every single one of them individually has divine shield after you get through the big boy Ugh. I think he meant the battle pass one. I don't think they have announced the battle pass one yet. What are we going to use to silence? There's some in the core set, and I believe the starfish is still in the game. If we have to play this for nine manas, it's still good. Um, Potentially. It's not awful. It is a mech, right? So we'll see. Starfish is a million man. It's four mana, isn't it? It's not that bad. Anyways, um, Paladin looks really good, and that is still missing what three cards as well. So Paladin looks really good. What about you guys? What do you guys think of Paladin? You guys think Paladin looks really good? I think Paladin looks terrifying. I'm very scared. <laughs> Paladin, actually, Paladin looks really sh like this card looks so good, bro. It looks so good. It's so spooky. I think it may be the best class in rotation. It might be, to be honest. Looks good. 
it'll be a scary new meta i'm excited man rotation's always fun Rotation's always fun also i'm i'm just talking about the cards individually uh from the expansion i'm not really talking about the synergies from the other cards that are going to be in the game after rotation chat also i'm going to go to the wall i have to go to the washroom i have i'm peeing my pants over here and i'll look how big this coffee is bro i'll be rb give me a minute and a little bit i will be back um tell me what your favorite hearthstone class is i'll be back Why do I curse remove my cats here? He's he's right here. He's like right here. You guys just say hello. You're so cute. He's almost up, Chad. He's almost up. You guys can see him soon. All right. Let's look at priest. All right. Fan club. One minute location, restore three health off on the characters. Fine. Whatever. Uh probably won't see play. Maybe at some point my one mana to restore three health twice is not horrible, so maybe, but like there has to be a good reason to play this, I think. Good reason to play this. Um, sure. Idols Adoration. One mana, zero two weapon for priest. Your hero power costs zero. After you use it, lose one durability. Overheal cards, right? Yeah, I guess that's fair. I think that's maybe the real reason you want to play it. But like the overheal cards have to be good enough for you to actually want it. Also, I want to talk about... Um, I don't know if it will show up because I don't know if the core set's updated yet, but hold on. I want to talk about actually something before we even get to priest. Oh, not battlegrounds. W. Come on. This card is the best, the best card that priest is probably getting. I think this card's actually insane. Like one mana, one, three overheal draw card. You could use it. It's like, you could use this on turn two just to draw a card. Um, is that good? Probably, yeah. So, remember this card, chat. Remember this card. When we're talking about priest cards, because I think it's very, very good. Uh, okay. Your hero power costs zero after you use it, lose one your ability. What do we think of this card, chat? Like, like I said, clergy with this card is already good. And then on top of it, um, you could use idle adoration to just get zero mana hero power. It's not horrible. Again, the problem with this is that you have to draw this. If you don't get it early, God, it's rough. I think you'd rather just use um tour guide probably. Idol's adoration should have three durability. See, I think you want to use this with shadow priest rather than like holy priest, right? So if that's the case, maybe, right? There's some synergies with this card because having a zero mana hero power ready to go is pretty great with some of the cards, right? Uh, because overheal was introduced. It's hard to judge how good overheal will be. So take that with a grain of salt with this card chat because you guys just seem like it's just bad. I think in Shadow Priest, it's good though. I think in Shadow Priest, you'll probably see it because you play. Turn to location is trash. They have different use cases though. Like if you want shadow, it, it actually would be good. Can you still shadow priest? Yeah, uh, Benedictus is staying in the core set. So shadow priest will still be available. Is it better than the needle for shadow though? That needle is being rotated out.
yeah uh Stormin rotates out benedictus is just in the core set so cool my c play i get it. it's not super strong but it is what it is all right dream boat two minute one two battle cry restore three health to all other friendly minions gain plus one plus one for each one overhealed it's a naga tough to see play i don't know i don't know i mean restoring three health to all their friendly minions is actually pretty good one for you one for the hero mike i mean if you have a board and you play this card it could be so nutty you fit in a shadow priest too right yeah shadow priest i actually probably will see play with this right get a board play this card absolutely shit on people win more that's also trash how's it win more if you trade a bunch of your minions into your opponent's minion and then you heal them and you develop a minion that's pretty nutty like any priest deck that wants to play for the board probably wants this card like it's actually not even bad are you thinking about the last reveal stream with leo no uh we just killed it is you actually need a board i mean tricky think about it like this bro any 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 deck that runs something that needs a board that like oh sorry i said that wrong think of it like is savage roar a bad card because you need minions on the board for it to see play no like it saw play because it was a good ending unit right uh most cards that need a board will see play if the board that you could generate is easy enough right so if there is a deck that actually can run minions and it's easy to, uh, to fight for board this card probably is fine baron only fends when what could be good i'm not sure it really depends on if there is an aggro deck for priest it's it's dependent on if there is a good aggro deck for priest or that fights for the board with minions and if there is a minion like that if there is a deck like that sure uh will it see play outside of it probably not is what it is right <sighs> power cord synchronize two mana spell choose a minion add a copy of it to your hand finale give both plus one plus two this one's tough uh but it actually synergizes kind of nicely with dream boat choose a minion on a copy of it to your hand so this is seance but better right seance did see play so if seance saw play this probably will see play it's also very good in aggro deck so you get you, it's not very good but it's good enough to get a buff in an aggro deck so it's fun it's not better than seance how is it not better than seance it's literally better than seance there's an upside to it how is this not better than seance <laughs> how alter guys explain how is this not better than seance this is literally seance with an upside This is better because you can run in Shadow Priest. I mean, if you want to run it in Shadow Priest, sure. Sans can target enemies. Look at this card. Without a buff? I mean, just don't play it as your finale. If you target opponent's minion, you'll get a buff. That's only downside. If you use it as a finale, like you could just, you could just play it, right? What the hell is this noise? Are you guys hearing this song? What the frick was that? Those animals in my. But if you only have two mana. Anyways, dude, chat is on something. I think reviewing cards is where people get the most passionate about it. And I think it's very fun. I think that's what makes reviewing cards so interesting because people always have their own opinion of it, right? Like I'm not saying I'm entirely right, right? Like for sure, I'm not like the, the prophet of card balance or reviews, but I think it's funny reading like what people, what people think just because people are very passionate about thinking about like, oh, like I think this card's shit and this is the reason why. And I think it's really interesting. It's fun doing this. Like that's why i wanted to do it on stream rather than just making videos on it because like i think it's really really funny 
Do, 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 do. You're underwriting light show mage? It's so hard to understand what that is. You're right, 70% of the time. I don't think I'm that right, but I think I, I, I at least have a good judgment because I've been playing this I've been playing this game forever. You do more videos with PVDR? Probably not. I, I messaged him a while ago. He didn't respond, so I figured he just, he's done. Are you the prophet of card balance reviews? I'm not, unfortunately, I wish. Okay, uh, let's move on. I think this card's fine. I think it could be, could be good. Uh, Hearthrob, three minute, two, five, overheal, summon a random minion with the cost equal to the amount overhealed. I think this is one of the overheal cards that I'm not super optimistic on, but again, if it fits into like the aggro S stack that fights for the board, I, you probably play it. I think if you can go like maybe idols adoration into Hearthrob, it might be good. I feel like if you're going to play this, you need to have a minion summon with it though and it's an undead yeah that's fair play it into double circle of healing easy top one legend i don't think circle of healing is in standard anymore i haven't seen it in a while will the aggro heal it twice you get a wide board with a three cost and a two cost and yeah could be good could be good i think it it could be play could be could see play again it's really tough to tell Love Everlasting, three mana holy spell. Your first spell each turn costs two less, lasts until you don't play a spell on your turn. This card is extremely interesting because it is a permanent preparation for the first spell you play every turn. Here is the problem with this effect. You need a spell every single turn. Uh, so you could potentially do it with the Naga spell. I think that's like your best card is the Naga spell. Uh, that like gives a minion like the Naga hat spot. I forget what it's called. Sylvana is real. Oh, that's also a good point. Yeah, true. So you could use her in this. That's actually really interesting. So you'd have to play her first, then this, right? Yeah, I was thinking about the wig. You could play Whirlpool on turn six instead of turn eight. That's fair too. Seems good. Seems like a really good card. Uh, really excited too, because with more spells into the game, that means this card get, only gets better, which means this should probably see play at some point. So I'm pretty optimistic on this. Uh, Shadow Core Distort, three mana. Give a minion minus five, minus five. It has zero attack destroy. I think this card's very good. I think this card's really strong. Uh, three mana, minus five, minus five. That's a pretty big debuff right there. It's pretty big debuff. Most of the time, if you're playing this on turn three, you're probably killing that minion. Seems that priest is a better option, in my opinion. Yeah, but like, here's the thing, dude. What if, right, they have a minion on board that they don't want to keep alive, and then you just make it a zero zero? All right, I mean, it's gonna die. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yo, only end level. Thanks, man. Hi, Ryan. Have you played Naval Mind Warlock? What do you think about it? Also, when is the April of the new expansion coming out? I have not played Naval Mind Warlock. I've seen other people play it. It could be really gross. Um, it's fun to play as, but when you're playing against, it probably sucks. Uh, I'm assuming the expansion comes out April 11th. Did you guys know if a minion goes to zero health, it dies because it has no health? Crazy. I think this card's cool. I don't know if you would run it. I think you're probably going to be really happy to discover it, but I don't think you actually want to run it. So it's what it is. Uh, if this card was released five years ago, insane. Uh, really, really insane. Fight over me, four mana, shadow spell, choose two enemy minions. They fight, add copies of any of those that die in hand. I think this card is awesome. I think it's really interesting to have a shadow spell that is that powerful. Now, Hysteria is, again, chat, you guys are saying worse Hysteria, but like, Hysteria was a really good card. This doesn't mean this card is bad. Do you understand? The problem with this card is um, you need to have two minions on the board that are worth fighting, but uh, it could be good because it's not, it's not random, right? You know what the outcome will be. So I could see this being played. If I, I, I kind of hope that this is a good representation of a slower shadow control pre stack. So hopefully shadow priest has the ability to go slower rather than just being strictly aggressive. I think that would be really, really cool. This card represents Raren when he goes outside. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Only one legendary pre class. No, they get two. They get one spell and one minion. 
Uh, lastly, speaking of legendaries, uh, four mana, four, eight, Heartbreaker Hedinus. Hedinus? I don't know how to say this stupid guy's name. Battle card, deal four damage to this minion, overheal, deal five damage to a random enemy. So this card is a four mana, four, four when played if it procs the battle card. If you summon it from him, obviously, it's a four mana, four, eight. Now, if you get the overheal on this effect, uh, dealing five damage to a random enemy can be very good. But God, it seems like it's going to be very hard to actually get the overheal on this. Uh, that's the real concern here. Because you would have to play this on a turn that either A, you get the guarantee. Like, if you're not getting the overheal this turn is played, I think it's very hard to make this work. It's a finisher. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pass, man. Thanks, though. Location in the hero. I guess the overheal are two locations, but that seems like a lot of setup. I mean, that's a lot of setup for this effect. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're, I don't think you want to build around this card. That's the thing. Unless maybe in, maybe in wild, it's worth it. But I think in standard, it's probably not going to be good. We're pronouncing it. Hey, Donus. Hey, Donus. Maybe. There's potential. But man, is Flash Heal in standard chat? It might be. I have no idea. Overall, though, I do think that uh, Priest looks good. I'm, I'm excited for Priest. I mean, I'm not excited for Priest, but I, I think I'm excited for people who want to play Priest. When is standard rotating? When the expansion releases. Potential. <clears throat> all right rogue now most of rogue cards have been released there's one more we're missing i'm going to be very honest with you guys i think rogue looks really good and i'm really scared knowing that shadow step is going to be in the game but here we go to a release date already it's probably gonna be april 11th i don't know if they have announced it but it, i'm assuming it's gonna be april 11th okay break dance one mana return a friendly minion to your hand summon a dancer with its stats and rush it's shadow chat this card with shadow step is insane it's insane you shadow step the minion first, then you play it the following turn, and then you break dance it. Because the minion will be cheaper, you get the effect, and then you get the, the rush cards, and you get to send it back to your hand. This card with Astalar, I want to blow my brains out. That's what it is. What it is. Uh, I think this card is insane. Not as good as shadow step, obviously, but uh, with Astalar, I'm very scared. Uh, shadow step is a better card. Doesn't mean this card is bad. I feel like this card will be good, and it will see play. That's what it is. <laughs> that's 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 basically what it is. That's what it comes down to. Uh, this jockey, don't you return it back to its original cost? You do, you do. So the way I'm imagining is you play it like, for instance, we'll go with Astler, right? Let's say you play Astler, the eight mana guy. You play Astler, you get the, the procs, the pings, you shadow step it, right? So then when you play Astler the next turn, it's six mana, but then you could break dance it and get an eight, eight stats. And then you have the Astler eight mana anyways. You know what I mean? And it's a it's it doesn't matter that the mana reduction is no longer there anymore because you've already shadow stepped it once and then get it back to your hand. So I actually think this is really good. It also works really nicely with the legendary spell that they got and shadow step. Of course, shadow step is just going to be a very good card this year. I am assuming. Really, really cool card. I think you break dance first for the body. Maybe. Yeah, maybe break dancing first is better. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um. I'm really scared of it. I think the card's really, really strong, especially with the legendary. I think with the legendary, it makes it insane. Uh, Disc Jockey, two mana, four, one combo, add a random combo card to your hand. It's mech and it's a beast. I am not super optimistic of this card. Uh, this card looks fine. I think the real reason you're gonna play this is because of this. Uh, right? Like, I don't know, like, Maybe or like what card is it? There's a card that's that synergizes with combo cards, right? Am I stupid? Where is it? The three mana guy. Sorry, this card. Oh, it's two two mana. Sorry, did I misplay? Two mana four one. Sorry, what did I say? Oh, I'm in priest now. Hard talking for this long. Readness is nuts because you don't get the drawback that you have. You don't have the body on board. Yeah, no, it's good and it has rush. Uh, this card's fine. Uh, I think it gets better because of other cards that Rogue has, but I think it's okay. Uh, Harmonic Hip Hop, two mana, Shadow Spell, do one damage, give your weapon plus three attack, or you deal three damage and give your weapon plus one attack. Both of these are good. Uh, regardless of what you want, as long as you have the weapon, you're pretty stoked. Uh, you're stoked also doing three damage and just getting one attack on your weapon, either or, depending on the situation, you're probably pretty happy to play this card, and I think it's very good. Uh... 
Huh? Like, uh, I think this card's insane. I don't know why they made this card. It's like Eviscerate, man. This is good. Just, 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 just a good card. Uh, beatboxer, three meta, four, three, mech combo, deal for damage, randomly spin among all enemies. Again, coining into this is insane. Uh, if you get the combo, I think you're pretty stoked, especially in the early game, man. Four damage is very good in the early game. Randomly. I don't like how it's randomly. I wish it was like to minions, whatever. It could be bad, but three minute four three on top of this, this could just tempo swing the board and you just might just get four damage for free afterwards. So it'd be good. Kingo face. That's what I'm saying. I wish it was like minions maybe, but I think it's fine. See the raunchy animation for the expansion. I haven't actually watched it yet. Anyways, uh, good card. If you can combo it in the early game. Sure. Uh, bounce around featuring Granora, Granora, sorry, not Granora. What did I say? Granora? <laughs> Three mana, uh, legendary spell for rogue. Return all friendly minions to your hand. They cost one this turn. Dude, I fucking. <sighs> Granola. I don't want this card in the game. This is how I'll describe this. Go combos with this? I mean, what doesn't? This, this is, again, this is the type of card that like, there's at some point in the two years it's in standard Hearthstone. This card will see play. Um, And there's so much potential with this card. No, I still don't understand. Uh. It says this card costs one this turn. So does that mean if I shadow step it back in my hand, it's it's still one cost? That's what I need to understand. Because if I if I play it and it goes back to my hand, does it go back to its original cost or is it still one? That's the genuine question. I'll take one or two expansions for this skin nerf. I have no idea. Depends how actually good it ends up being, right? It seems very good. Like I'm, I don't like this card. It better be original. Because <laughs> in-hand fans get consumed when the card is played. It's just really interesting because the wording is they cost one this turn, which makes me seem like if you bounce it back to your hand, it would cost one again. But I could be wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong because if I'm not wrong, that's disgusting. Anyways, with preparation, this card sees play. So, because uh, preparation is in the core set. So, this card will see play. Card just brand, but exclusively for Rogue. It's. Kind of. Kind of. You are wrong. Thanks, Steve Small. Excellent. Tama made it cost one after you use Tanu. Then, if you shadow step the card, the cost less than the original cost. Is that how it worked? Okay, if that's how it worked, I'm really scared. Guy, yeah. Interesting effect. I think it's going to be played, though. Uh, mic drop. Three mana, draw two cards. Finale, give your weapon plus two attack. Again, I, 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 don't, I don't think this card's bad. I don't think it's broken. I think it's just good. I think every rogue card in this set is just fine or better. There's no bad cards for rogue. Rogue doesn't get bad cards, chat. Rogue only gets good cards because they're they're I think they're Blizzard's favorite. Something about the community reaction gives me scab size, but could well be wrong. Scabs is not the same thing because scabs required you to combo it. But this card is like there's so many use cases for this effect. It's very versatile. Really interesting. Anyways, uh, I think my drop's fine. You're you're happy with drawing two cards if needed, and if you get the bonus, sure, why not? Record okay, so this card, oh my god, the record scratchers were the scariest card. One of the scariest cards. Three mana two two death battle refresh one mana crystal play combo cards while this is equipped to improve. So for each combo card you play, does not mean you actually have to proc the combo. If it works how we're probably how it's written, uh, this card will get better and better. So this is like investing your mana for later to just absolutely roll your your opponent now chat imagine 
that you get three and then you play a minion this costs zero because you refresh your mana crystals and your opponent wants to cry and obviously the more mana sheet you get the better uh i think this card's insane it also works with like mic drop and it also works with um this card so pretty excited Well, I'm not excited, but rogues, rogue players should be very excited. You need to have the weapon in hand. No, it needs to be equipped. So you're going to play this on turn three. Hopefully. Weapon removal hurts a lot more than other instrument cards. Yeah, that's fair. But like, <laughs> that doesn't mean the card's bad. Just because weapon tech is viable does not mean this card's bad shot. If I'm forcing my opponent to play weapon tech, um, to just deal with this card, I'm pretty stoked. So you're pretty stoked for this. Rhyme spinner, three minute, one, three rush combo game, plus one, plus one for each other combo card you play this game. I think this card's insane. I don't know. Again, I, I, I'm surprised that they just make cards like this when you consider this for, when you consider warrior. Oh my God, this card. I feel like this card has so much potential to be insane. Scarier than my dad after two beers. Oh shit, are you ready? I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's good. How many like think of it like how many how many combo spells do you need to combo cards do you need to play in order for this card to see play? Like I'd play this as a three mana three five with rush. Fight for board. That's fine. Like. I think it's good. MC Blinktron, five minute, three, four, battle cry. Both players equip a one, two microphone. Your opponent increases all damage they take by one. Again, I think this card is on the weaker side for rogue, but because it's rogue, I see play. I think this might be the weakest card for rogue. The existence of Astar makes this card terrifying. Sure but don't you think rogue could just do something better like i don't think we need the extra damage for rogue when they have all this ways to bounce them back to your hand right weapon removal yeah that's fair doesn't seem really weak jason alexander suggested pirate mech rogue for it to be good. Oh, oh sorry sorry let me reiterate here i don't think this card's bad i think it's just weaker compared to the other cards i've seen you know what I mean? I don't think Rogue has a single bad card. I just think that this card is just a little weaker than every other card that we see. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think this card's great, but if I compare it to something like this, I think this card's better, right? Or like, like this card, right? I think it's fine. I think it'll probably see play. I don't think it's like broken, broken though. It's fine. It's Rogue. Rogue's always good. Rogue's only missing one card too, so we got a pretty good idea of how good Rogue's gonna be, and I have a feeling that Rogue's gonna be pretty good, chat. All right, Shaman. I'm really looking forward to Shaman this expansion, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't know about you guys, but Shaman, when Shaman's fun, it's super fun. Okay, uh, Flo Rida. I hardly know her. Uh, two mana, three, two, battle cry. If you're overloaded, discover a spell from your deck. Naga. So this card in itself probably won't see play, but with the cards that they're adding to the core set, as well as the other cards that they're introducing for this expansion, this card will probably see play in the overload package that they're introducing for Shaman, and it looks fun. Uh, speaking of that, uh, Jazz Base, three mana, two, two, death rattle. Your next spell costs one less, and it gets even better it's mana cheat with a overload package that you're probably gonna do zaddy said flow rider was a rock reference oh no um mana cheating hearthstone what have we learned chat i've taught you guys very well is this card good probably we'll see play right good card <clears throat> uh brass elemental 
four minute three three elemental rush divine shield taunt wind fury i don't know why they made this card sure whatever like it's just whatever it's so random it's not the worst thing i've ever seen but it's definitely like why i think the really cool part about this card is that it's just added for shaman like it's just like here here's another random ass card for shaman it, it's such a shaman card to add Zilliax? it's not as good as Zilliax. if it had lifesteal oh my god just funny great arena yeah it's really good in arena that's true i could just crying in the background it's not the same thing I, wind fury charge is very good shaman certified moment is this really good i don't know if it's really good it's good in like maybe an aggro deck right it's spooky don't get me wrong i think like this might be a bold claim but if you just play this card it's pretty spooky right uh yeah it's it's it, we when this card was re released we talked about how it was one of those cards from savers of oldham the restless mummy and that card was a four minute three two with rush reborn and that card was good so this card probably will see play at some point it's just a very shaman moment it's very funny um altered cord five mana nature spell life steal deal five damage to a minion cost three last if you're overloaded fits really nicely into the overload package i am looking very excited for shaman this expansion i think this card's good i like a lot unfortunately for shaman a lot of the package is like is it worth running overload if it is worth running the overload package a lot of these cards just become better so if over the overload package is good you're probably playing this card because i i would play a two mana spell uh to get five life and deal five damage to a minion i think that's completely fine and um it is a nature spell that's really nice it's cheaper than zilliax it's one more health than zilliax and it's still worse i mean if you compare this to zilliax right zilliax has two things that's more important it has magnetized and life steal those two effects are very powerful so yeah um okay i i don't know how to say this dude's name is it inza inzai inza i'm gonna go with inza that, that just makes like it's pretty sick inza 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 sounds correct uh five minute five five battle cry for the rest of your game for the rest of the game your overload cards cost one less okay here's the thing about this card is if you play this on turn five if you play this exactly on turn five okay on turn five if you can coin into it, it's even better if you could play it on turn five this is very important on turn five i think this card is great okay if you play it exactly on turn five there is potential this card is very good because that means every one of your overlord spells are one less mana and it's like encanter's flow and encanter slow was really good so if you're having a critical mass of overload cards in your deck this card's fine if i'm playing this on turn six seven eight nine i don't think this is good enough anymore uh maybe turn six is fine too seven rough eight garbage because like at that point you don't really need to spend five mana you could just spend uh, cards rare not spells that's what it, i know but i'm saying for like encanter's flow was used in the spell mage deck because you know discounting your spells was really good if you have a critical mass of overload cards it could be good but i definitely think you need this to be played on turn five um that being said this is a card just like millhouse mana storm that will get good with more overload spells in the game and potentially ways of finding this earlier. If there's ever a way to consistently get this card on turn five, you are very happy and you will probably play this because this card will pay for itself pretty quickly. So, uh, potential, potential. <clears throat> this card is broken at three mana. They can't make this three mana. It'd be miserable to play against even four man is a little like they probably they probably saw the encanter slow and they're like okay i mean all right anyways <clears throat> can you double the fact the 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 bird is gone so thank god all right this is the real reason why you want to play shaman 
Jive Insect, five mana fire spell, transform a minion to Ragnaros the Violet for Overlord 2. Pog. 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 It's what it is. Five mana rag? That's a very spooky effect. Uh it's very it's good. Like I would I would if I could play Ragnaros the Fire Lord for in current year for five mana, I'm down. So as long as you have a singular minion on the board when you play this card, that is so exciting. And Ragnaros is such a fun card to play. It's also a card that hopefully you can generate more of. I'm sure this card you can generate more of, right? Um, I think you can generate this card more. Hopefully. Can you also transform one of theirs? You could. Uh, if you're feeling a little spicy and you want to give them a rag, why not? So I'm this card alone makes me excited for shaman i also low-key think that this card's very good seven mana pack the house spell summon a random six five four and three cost minion for overload two dude that is so much for seven mana it's crazy what the fuck is this i think this card's insane in arena it's a common you're gonna blow your brains out imagine running this with um imagine running this in arena god you're gonna cry do you think five mana reg will be better in jackpot rogue than in shaman maybe kermar maybe as long as uh i think as long as you have a minion i think you're stoked right <clears throat> it's a lot of bad six drops dude think about what your average statted seven drop is just think about that for a second what's your average seven drop or average seven drop think about how much stats that is bro that is crazy that's crazy I have I have confidence in this card. You don't get a seven drop. No, what I'm saying is think about what your average seven stat drop is. You're paying seven mana for a six, five, four, and three. It's pretty crazy. And it's not even counting the potential effects that your minions that you're gonna summon have, right? I think this card's really I think this card's really underrated. Uh, I think in arena you're gonna cry every time you play into this. You're gonna throw up. So I think it's pretty stoked. I think Shaman looks good. Like, I don't think it looks broken, but like, it, it looks fun. Uh, I think a lot of people are stoked for this card, so that's awesome. But chat, now we get to the class that I'm most excited for. Warlock, baby. The frick is happening here? Oh, he's on my keyboard. That's why. All right, chat. I'm going to be really biased here. Well, let's talk about this. I think Warlock looks sick. I was very, you should have seen my face when they announced the Warlock cards yesterday, chat. Both times I was stoked. Stoked. All right. Void Virtuoso. One minute, one, three, demon. During your turn, your hero's immune. Very, very spooky effect. And the reason why this card is so extremely interesting is because of the fatigue cards that they are adding to Warlock. So this card on its own has potential to be very good. And it's important to note that there was a change that Leo was talking about that if a card does cost health, your hero still takes health or the health is taken away from your hero, even if you are immune. So that is important to note. Okay. That being said, I don't think that is very relevant for the cards that are offered for Warlock this set because it doesn't count for fatigue which is a really big deal. It's a really big deal. And we'll get to this in a second. I think this card is very scary. Uh, it has the this card there for two years, chat. Two years. This card is here. Very cool card. Also works well with the Jailer. And you know, we all know how much we love the Jailer, right? Um, okay. Baritone Imp. Two mana, two, two demon. Battle cry, take fatigue damage. Gain that much attack and health. So... If you play this on turn two, you will draw one fatigue and this becomes a two mana three, three demon. That is not bad. That's already pretty juicy. All right. Now, this is also really good because it sets up for your fatigue cards later on. The card is bad, but I feel like you have to run this for the other fatigue cards. Yeah. I don't think it's bad though. It sets you up for the fatigue package, right? It, it's, it's, this is a, 
a part of a greater sum, right? This is a part of a greater sum. And it doesn't feel bad to play this as a two mana three, three. Like as Warlock, I'm not gonna be like, oh shit, I'm taking one damage on turn two, but I get a three, three. I think that's pretty fun, right? Um, Also works really nicely with this card, Felstring Harp, two mana zero, three. When your hero would take damage on your turn, restore two health instead. Chat, this card is insane. I think this card is actually turbo insane. Uh, it, there are so many ways of using this card that I can't believe they made it. <laughs> like, it gets me jazzed up, bro. Like, I'm sorry, I should say it gets me classica. It's uh, it's really good with the fatigue package. Really good with the fatigue package. And this card only gets better the further you are in fatigue. Chat, picture this moment. All right. It's a late game. It, it's coming down to fatigue and Hearthstone. I know. Imagine it really hard. It's been a really long time since you've, you've seen fatigue. You're you're coming out of fatigue. You're going to lose the game because you're going to lose into fatigue. But wait a minute. You play your harp. You no longer take damage from fatigue. Oh, my God. I now won the game. <laughs> I now won the game. Also, remember, I am super biased when it comes to Warlock cards because it's my favorite class. Okay, just remember that. What I'm talking about. So I do think this card is very good, though. I think this card is very strong, um, and I'm very excited to see the use cases of this card for the next two years. Again, all of these cards are here for two years, chat. So just remember that. Uh, very, very spicy effect. Very spicy effect. All right, very spicy effect. Okay. Okay. Crescendo, three mana fell spell. Take fatigue damage deal that much damage to all enemies again i think this card is so good it's so good and can i just say can i just say that this is the most warlock i have felt in a very long time i think this card is turbo broken like i think this card is so good because you play this on turn two and you take a point of fatigue right if you play this on turn three Let's just say, for instance, you're taking two damage, sure, but then you do two damage to everything on your opponent's side. That's crazy. And it only gets better with more fatigue. Like, that is crazy. I love it. I love it. I think it's so good. I love it. Really cool card. And then it gets even better. It gets even better because you get the Craze Conductor, which is a five and a four or five. And you take another point of fatigue damage, summon that many imps. That's awesome. And it works so well with this freaking harp that it feels so good to just have this effect in the game. I cannot tell you as a warlock player how excited I am to play with this chat. I don't play Hearthstone off stream, but there's a really good chance that I will play Hearthstone off stream because of this package, because I think it looks so fun and it looks competitive. Whew. I said conductor isn't better than the crescendo, but they're both good. I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited. I think the big thing for harp is that fact that the hellfire will be three mana. True. Burn hates HS 100%. Burn, we all heard it. <laughs> Must be. I'm a warrior player. Must be nice. Hold on. We're going to get to warrior in a second. Okay. Warriors. I mean, warriors there. Uh, that's. You know, at least it's there, right? That's good, right? What about the Demon Seed? Demon Seed is rotating. Anyways, um, on to the next card. Opera Soulist. Five and a four, six battle cry. If you control no other minions, deal three damage to all enemy minions. Again, another just good card for Warlock here. Another great card for Warlock here. I'm pretty stoked to use this. I don't think it's bad. I think it fits in very nicely with the fatigue deck. I'm stoked. I will probably run this card. It is what it is. Uh, it's it's pretty great. So uh, it's fantastic, right? Uh, Rin. All right. Now we've seen Rin before. Five minute, three, six taunt. Death battle. Both players draw two cards, discard two cards, and destroy the top two cards of their deck. Chat. What do you guys think of this card? I was not optimistic on this card until I saw this thing, but we'll talk about that in a second. Hey, buddy. Hold on. Card is terrible, but it'll be in every Warlock deck. <laughs> I 
looks obnoxious to play against. Funny card. Meme card gonna cause rage quits. What? Rage quits? Interesting. It's death row, so trash? Tricky, I disagree with you. Dirty Rat is in standard too. Don't forget, guys. True. Oh, I forgot Dirty Rat's in standard. Let's go. How does this work with Shallow Grave? I don't know what that card does. What does Shallow Grave do? Run Death Rattle Synergy, Ticketus will resurrect from the grave. I mean, we'll talk about Ticketus in a second, bro. Uh, the next card really showcases. it. Anyways, I think this card's good because of this of the next card. Uh, I think this card really makes Rin better, which is the Symphony of Sins. So you discover and play a movement and shuffle the other six in the deck. Now, chat, we got this is going to take me a while. But guys, I just want to say this. I have never been more excited for a Carstone card in a very long time. Okay, this card is everything I want from Warlock and more. It's fucking phenomenal. Okay, love this shit. Love this shit. Um, your movements are Movement of Envy, which is remove the top six cards of your opponent's deck, which is very good in specific matchups. You have Movement of Pride. Three mana, draw your highest cost minion, reduce its cost by six. Huge fan, really cool. Movement of Wrath, three mana, deal six damage to all characters. Really good, pretty excited. <laughs> Movement of Desire, uh, life steal, deal six damage to the enemy hero. Again, could be good, right? Depends on the matchup. Movement of Gluttony, give a random minion in your hand, deck, and battlefield, plus six, plus six. Again, situational, but really cool. Movement of Greed, draw six cards. Again, situational, but really cool. I love it. Movement of Sloth, uh, summon a six, six damage, or sorry, summon a six, six demon with taunt and reborn. Again, situational, but really good. Uh, it can be really good, and that's the demon. We get it. Brett, go fuck yourself. Okay. Um, I am really excited. Okay. I, I'm telling you right now, I will craft this card gold this will be a day one craft for me i cannot wait to play warlock this set i can't wait and if you're someone who is on the roll or on the on the fence of playing warlock this is the type of cards you're looking for baby this is cool really cool card and it fits so nicely with rin because you play rin first and then you play your symphony uh hopefully right hopefully you don't discard it but it looks really fun i can't wait to play warlock this set and i'm praying i'm gonna make a bold claim here chat i'm gonna make a bold claim uh, I think Warlock will be a top three class of this expansion. I am feeling very confident about Warlock and God, that feels fantastic. I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. I am praying to God. This card's good. What does the Boar Dreadler do? Wait, what do you mean? Where's the, where's the shit? It's just the, the demon that gets summoned from this. <sighs> Customer will, will, will miss Warlock. I mean, we have this card, which is more than fine. And we have Gigafin. The Giga Nuts. I think Warlock is the second worst class expansion. Rodrigo, you get the fuck out of this stream right now. Don't bring that shit in here. All right, anyways, let's go to Warrior. I'm feeling confident about Warlock here, chat. I'm feeling very confident about Warlock, and I can't wait to freaking play it. Anyways, let's go on to what I think is going to be the best class of the set, Warrior. Uh, Warrior looks really good this set. I, God, I'm really terrified of it. I think it's going to be uh, really, really good. Um, look at this card. <laughs> shit. One minute, one three. After you gain armor, gain two more. Holy shit. That seems broken, right, guys? <sighs> this card isn't bad. I don't think this card's awful. I think this card's fine. I think this card is playable. Playable is the word I would use. Playable. Not broken. Not meta defining. Playable. All right? Don't get it twisted. Playable. Okay? It's not bad. Don't make fun of it. It's fine. All right. Roaring applause. I mean, this card in context of the imp card that we have to draw imps is a, an absolute turbo joke. All right. Now, unless this card, for some reason, when you play an amalgam, just draws you every card in your deck because of the way that it interacts with the amalgam, which I don't think it does. Um, um, it's rough, you know uh it's hard because it's easier to generate imps than it is for you to play minions itself uh which is really unfortunate because leo's confirmed no all right cards probably not good enough um just how about we just take this card and just put it over there and we we, we get battle rage 
I think that would be sick. I don't know about you guys. All right, uh, first riff, two mana spell. Give your hero plus two attack this turn and gain two armor. Play your last riff. So this card is weird because it's like, it's not, again, it's not bad. It's not like unplayable. It's just, why am I playing warrior to begin with? And that's the worst part about this. And I'm going to just take this moment to kind of talk about warrior for a second in your chat. I talked about it the other day when we when we saw the cards for the very first time, but I think that the, the Hearthstone designers don't know what to do with warrior. And it kind of sucks because warrior has been a huge part of the game for a very long time. And it's not that I blame them necessarily because how do they make warrior unique compared to, you know, control death knight and druid if they want to put druid into more of an armor class. But it feels like with warrior, it was very uninspired and that the combinations of packages that they got do not make any sense together. And I feel really bad for warrior players because this set seems so fucking boring for warrior players. It's like they were designing the cards and then the last two days, they're like, oh shit, we forgot about warrior. That's still a class. Um, and it's very unfortunate. Now, how do you fix warrior? There's a ton of ways of fixing warrior, right? There's been so many different packages over the years, uh, mech packages, control warrior. Maybe they just don't want control warrior into the game. I'm not sure why. Uh, there's been like the charge packages in rage, but it feels like warrior is constantly going through a cycle recently of like, you're either playing pirate or you're playing the Russian rage package. And if I'm someone who is warrior and I see something like warlock being introduced with such creativity, I am very upset. I don't think warrior is impossible to design for, but I definitely feel like they kind of trap themselves in a weird corner. For, um, for warrior and I feel bad for warrior players because I like warrior like warrior is one of my favorite classes in the game I love control decks so it feels bad looking at cards like this 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 like it, it just feels like it's uninspired and I don't blame the designers necessarily maybe they were focusing on other stuff but I hope for the next set and even for the core set, because they said they're going to be more flexible, that they need to like really push Warrior back. Just put Risky Skipper in, maybe. I don't know. That was bad. That was bad. I don't think they want heavy armor games that last 45 minutes. And I don't think that's wrong either, right? Control Warrior in Classic Hearthstone. If you go look at the deck from Control Warrior and Classic Hearthstone, it didn't just sit there and armor it up. It had a win condition right grom alex straza you had a win condition you just you didn't do nothing for 45 minutes you, you legitimately had a win condition they could do it again right and it just sucks because control warrior is very fun for people who like it and i just don't know how they're gonna fix it uh it feels really bad i hope to god that they can somehow salvage the situation but we'll see right uh it's up to them i guess What is the win condition for warrior this set uh crying in the corner i think is their win condition unfortunately anyways uh, i'll just talk about the cards verse riff it's not again it's not like it's bad but i just don't know why you want to play it over something else that's unfor the unfortunate reality same as course riff again not a horrible card and if you have played a riff previously it's not bad with the finale but like again why would i want to play it it just feels bad um power slider you saw the rogue card earlier why did they make this card i don't understand it feels bad again <laughs> the rogue card is just so much better than this it feels miserable uh rock okay this is the card i think i just don't understand why did they make this card what do they do like what, what was the point of this card i i can't tell you why this card is not three mana i can't tell you why this card doesn't have taunt or rush i don't understand it why would they make this card we had a card in Rastakhan's Rumble, which was literally the same thing, but it copied all dragons in your hand and the card was unplayable. So I couldn't tell you why they made this. I feel like in 2023 Hearthstone, this card should have charge. It should have rush. It should have taunt. It should have something that is playable. I don't understand. Chat my cats up. If you guys want to see them, come here, buddy. You like to say hi to chat oh hold on let 
Don't lick the microphone, idiot. Could have given stats. Yeah, I could have done something. What do you think? What do you think of that card? I think it's good. Yeah, me too. I'll take Parasite is better than Rogue card alternative. People really underestimate how easy to play different tribes. Yeah, but dude, it's not good though. Like, I agree with the cat to be honest. Yeah, I agree too. Is the orange cat still around? No, we gave it to my mom. My mom, my parents have Susan, unfortunately, which makes me sad because we like him. But uh, he, this cat is getting along better with baby, which is the most important thing. So he's kind of chilling. All right, uh, I'm going to talk about this card real fast. Uh, Black Rock and Roll, I think is a really interesting design card. But again, it's like, <sighs> it's like, why would you play this? Anyways, I, I don't think it's even worth talking about Warrior. I feel so bad. Um, and it's gonna, I wanna just d discuss that if you're pre-ordering this expansion and you end up getting a Warrior Legendary, I can't say I'm sorry enough for your loss. And I feel like I'm gonna be the case of getting it, but I don't know what the hell they're doing, bro. It's just so, Maybe if it if it said your hand, I don't know, dude. I so shit. It's so shit. Warrior is fine. Chill out, my dube. Yo. This are you okay? This was a real message, by the way, in case you guys are curious. Real message. Right there. Real message. Does he know? <laughs> Does he know? Anyways, I think Warrior is looking really bad. And I think it's very easy to tell just from the cards that they have printed that it's very un unencouraged. It's it's unsatisfying to be a Warrior player for sure. So, um, but yeah. All right. I'm hoping that in nine minutes, like the reveal stream is happening in nine minutes. I'm hoping that in nine minutes, they just drop the rest of the cards so we can see the last legendary for Druid and then we're going to do a tier list for the legendary. Uh, but yeah, chat overall, uh, if you're going to ask me, like I can go through the neutrals if you guys really want me to, but uh, overall, I'll explain this very carefully for anyone who wants my opinion on this. If you're going to buy Hearthstone cards, okay? If you're going to buy Hearthstone cards ever in your life, if you're ever like, man, I'm going to buy Hearthstone cards. This is the set that you should buy. Okay, this the all of these cards will be around for two years, which means you're going to get the most value from this set. So if you're thinking about purchasing any amount of cards for Hearthstone outside of using gold, make sure you pre-order this expansion um, or you you go tell your mom, I want to buy some Hearthstone packs or something. Um, so I think uh, I'm going to I'm going to get it. So I'm pretty stoked. And that is my opinion on that. Um, yeah. It's a sponsored ad. You guys are so fucked. It's <laughs> a sponsored ad. Raren, do you enjoy playing Hearthstone? Yeah, I kind of do. Okay, cool. I'll support the game. on twitch or youtube do we know uh it should be on twitch my twitch so where you made i pre-ordered the expansion in over a year because they continue to not print exciting stuff for me that's unfortunate why tw youtube and not twitch you talking about me I stream on YouTube for the same reason that chat doesn't want to spend any money on Hearthstone. Um, I don't make any money on Twitch. It's as a streamer in Hearthstone, you make the lowest amount of percentage from your viewers. And I'm not saying you guys need to pay me money or anything, but it's just an actual fact. If you go ask dog how many subscribers he has, he'll say the ratio is at the lowest compared to other streamers. So rather than streaming on Twitch, I stream on YouTube so that I get the VOD money from AdSense and ad revenue for people who watch the VODs after. That's the reason why. It is purely a business decision. 
and I already have a audience on YouTube. So it makes sense. Um, most people who play this game, like that's just the sense of, that's just the, the, um, the card game niche is that there's a lot of people who just play this game for free to plays, uh, like players. And that's completely fine. Um, but the people who are free to play often don't want to buy a subscription or whatever, whatever. So I figured if I'm not gonna get subscribers, I feel like this would be a good time. We can support you by watching VODs on repeat, got it? I mean, technically you could, right? What's the question here? Oh yeah, true, true, true. Thank you, thank you. Okay, chat, I need your help. I need your help while we're waiting uh, for the new cards to come out, okay? Um, I need, so I said this at the beginning, but I wanna do a stream or a video or a stream where we try to guess people uh, rank in Hearthstone. Let me put darker your on so you guys are not absolutely blinded. Okay. Um, so I need questions to help me decide, to help me figure out if someone is like a legend rank or not. Okay. This isn't finished. I need your help to ask questions. So I have, how old are you? I have, when did you start playing Hearthstone? I had, what is your favorite class? What is your least favorite class? What class do you have the most wins with? I think that's a good question to ask. Uh, which archetype do you prefer? What is your What was slash is your favorite Hearthstone deck? What was slash is your favorite Hearthstone card? What device do you play Hearthstone the most on? Do you believe Hearthstone is pay to win? And what frustrates you about Hearthstone? Um, and if you could make one change to Hearthstone, what would you do? Does anyone else have any other questions? I'm not asking, do you play Warrior? That's too meta specific. What is your favorite expansion? I like that question. Favorite or least favorite expansion? Okay, we can do least favorite expansion, sure. I stupid. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh, give the list of song of legendary from history. Pick favorite. Hmm. It might be too biased though. How do you feel about opponent affecting hands? Hold on. You guys are going ape shit here. Who's your favorite streamer? Good question. Let's see Hearst. Do you play wilds? I don't think I need that. How often do you play battlegrounds? Sure, that's a good question. How often, how often play Hearthstone? How many classes do you like to play? Uh, is that really helpful though? Um, have you ever invested money into this game? Okay. Uh, have you spent money on or stone sure i'll fix the the formatting of this after thanks chat. i really appreciate your help what mechanic do you like the most you hate the most uh what is your favorite meta it's, that's a little hard to answer do you know hearthstone what's your favorite card already got that uh da, 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 da. how much time do you dedicate specifically to hearthstone on a day-to-day -day basis i could do like um how much time do you spend how many how many how much time do you play hearthstone do you play hearthstone per day yo ty thanks for coming on i appreciate it favorite keyword we can do favorite keyword Let me keep adding the o you win like golden heroes do you have let's go how many golden heroes Dude, I am trolling today with my words. How often do you play mercenaries? How old do you already have? I already have the mobile question. Have you ever lost track of time while playing Hearthstone? I feel like that's not a good answer though, right? How many legendaries are in your collection? I don't think that's good. What is this survey for? I'm, I'm gonna do a, a stream for this. I don't want it to be like expansion specific. 
what is the max what is the maximum number of victories you played in arena i like that question actually a lot you play wilder standard more i don't like that question because i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna make this for uh standard only i like a do you prefer off meta or meta decks that's a good question are you free to play i already have that question hear about achievements ah uh, server do you play on i don't think that's gonna help me is it you have a question about taking a break from hearthstone yet no should i add that uh, does that help me like i need questions that help me uh figure out how much knowledge they have in hearthstone do you make your own decks that's a good question Your highest win streak. I I don't want people that have to like do that themselves. That's like that's fun. Use a deck tracker, sure. You use tracker. How will people play this? I'd love to answer your question. I'll I'll send the link after it's done. I'll do a post and everything for you guys. Then we can do this. Are you gonna watch the card reveal? Probably not. I just want them to do the dump. Would you just stop like hearts when I have that? Are you trying to guess their P rank or typical rank? Uh, both are fine. I think if you're a legend player, you're probably a legend pretty consistently. I need a more vague question. When is the card reveal? It, the stream's starting now. You're a minion tribe. I don't think that helps at all though. It's still the fair mechanic. You prefer going first or second? I guess that's a good question. How many benches do you beat in a row? Nah, that's not really helpful. We need a deck you play. We got that. Do you read Vicious Syndicate? That's a good question because I can read. I don't know what that is. You think Priest is fun? <laughs> I should do like, do you like randomness in Hearthstone? What was the first expansion you started playing? I got, I got the question. Are you Jimmy teaming a spike? I, I need, um, I already have that question, but I need it to be more like understandable. I think a lot of people won't know what that is. How often do you shower? the hell do you think a balance schedule is good ah, i don't think that's tough hey man just join i'm gonna go back and watch the full stream i hope you have a good week thanks hey, see you peter have a good day man you gonna watch a tournament sure uh do you watch hearthstone esports should ask that be removed from play early no 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 it's too specific do you play any other card games sure do you play Card games. Do you enjoy Hearthstone? You ever craft golden cards? Sure. Did you ever did you ever craft a golden card? You think secrets are healthy for Hearthstone? That's an excellent question. Chat, do you guys like hearts? Do you like secrets? It's a good question. I feel like that's a really, really dividing question. You ever take a long break when you start? I don't think that helps me at all. Do you think Druid will be playable? Expansion seems like it. How many calories does a Timberwolf have? Okay, I am hoping, chat, let me know if they just upload the last Druid card because I'm just missing that. That's the only card I'm missing here. I'm hoping they just drop it, but it says it's done. Your turn. I just want the last legendary. Should there be more control of the meta? No, I don't want it to be more specific. What is your favorite zero cost card? How does that help me? I should do um 
I should put Bran and say what card do you think is better between Bran and Lothab? Refresh the website? I just did. I don't need wild or standard because this is for standard. We don't have to worry about that. Actually, it doesn't really matter if it's wild or standard. It's more like, um, are you happy with the direction of monetization? Doesn't help me at all. Monetization is irrelevant. Have you ever been jailed? The collection ever expansion? I guess that's fair. Uh, do you, do you complete the tavern pass every expansion? Favorite keyword we have, favorite streamer player. Uh, we have like, who do you watch? How long do your turns take? It's, again, that's not a good question because it's too specific due, due to the deck, right? You finish your daily quest regularly. I have a question like that. What is your favorite, least favorite? I have that. So you like the new hero powers for Druid? I do. I do. How much gold do you have? Again, I don't think that's really necessary. What is stronger between Raren and Raynet? <laughs> that doesn't help me. I mean, Battlecry is an overused mechanic. No, I don't think you ask me. Playing on the bathroom. How do you mean? You think battle cries and overuse mechanic? No, I don't think that. We'll level range in the tavern pass again. That's too specific, but I think do you complete the tavern pass is fine. You want Renathal on there? Again, too specific. You think they just make Guff a neutral card? What the hell? How do you feel about roping? That's a good question. Do you emote is an excellent question. <clears throat> Do you like hero cards? Um... I feel like that doesn't help me though. Is this gonna be current rank or best rank ever? I, I, the question is like, if you have ever been legend before, I, that's what I'm just gonna do. Who will answer this? Hopefully everybody. Our stream starts in five minutes. I don't know if I'm allowed to watch it. Am I allowed to watch it? Want me to... Am I allowed? Do you think you were unlucky? Uh, good question would be, do you think RNG, do you think randomness is more important, important than skill? Yeah, I'm allowed to watch it, chat. AKA, do you cope? <laughs> you need more Yogg type cards. How bad do you get tilted from bad RNG? I, I, got, that doesn't, I don't think that really helps me. We're the best ECA. No, I think the ETC thing is too specific. Do you concede when your phone has lethal on board or do you let them kill you? That's an interesting question. I don't know how that's really relevant, but I will write it down because it might be applicable. I appreciate the help here, chat. We reached an in-game milestone. No, I think, again, that's too specific. We need more vague questions. What is the free legendary announcement? Again, I've, it's too specific. It's too specific. We need like a, um, do you throw for content? Do you play while, other, while doing other stuff? I think that's an excellent question. Do you know what we have? All right, hold on me up. One sec. Do you care about cosmetics? Sure. I feel like that's not helpful with like legend though. Like do you is that that's not mutually exclusive as all. Like you can care about cosmetics. You net deck. I we have a question like that. Should start the game mechanics being Hearthstone. Again, I think that's too specific. 
Animations, I think, are irrelevant. You play Battlegrounds, we have that. If you spend money in the game, we have that. Is winning or having fun more important? <laughs> sure, that's an interesting question. What's your highest arena win? I think I have that. Yeah. Play with sound on. Eh. You play with real friends. How often you play Hearthstone? We have that. You prefer dying? We have that. If you were a coach as a beginner in Hearthstone, what would be your top three tips for success? That's like a really hard question to answer if you're bad at the game, though. Like that's a that's a very telling answer, right? Because if you don't know what to do, is Hearthstone bad? You prefer spells or minions? Sure, that's an interesting question. Favorite game mode? Sure. All right, I think this is good. I think there's a lot of questions here. Um, wait, how did you guys get the what the frick who responded to this? What the shit? Chat. I'm deleting all these responses. Don't do this. <laughs> the hell are you guys doing? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the final festival of legends. Oh, Regis is there. You hear a chat? I'm Leo Robles Gonzalez, one of the designers on the Hearthstone team and also the set lead for Festival of Legends. And Festival today we are of so Legends, baby! We are joined by Regis Kilman, content creator and community member extraordinaire. Yeah, I'm Regis. They just pulled me off the street, but I'm excited <laughs> to see some new cards. He was wandering around the, like in front of the gate, and we just said, "Hey, you want to look at some Hearthstone <laughs> cards?" Uh, he said, "Yeah, absolutely, I do." Um, and we don't want to keep DMC, going I'm any longer than we I'm have to. I'm we wanted to start with a bang here, uh, Regis. Are you? So we are so excited to show you one of the exciting new legendary spells from the Festival of Legends Ooh. Hearthstone expansion. This is Drid. This is Rhythm and Roots. Oh, perfect! This is exactly what I needed. To, to talk about the card. Oh, it's a secretly thing again. Ew, what? Rhythm and Roots, our Druid Festival of Legends legendary song. Uh, this one's a lot of fun because it gets to harken back to that secretly mechanic. Whoa, the animation's it's sick. Cool. Quite some time ago. Why is Regis uh, like this? Why is Regis so angry? Regis, a long time ago. He, he's so cheap. I, I really like the idea of the secretly uh, mechanic, you know, really tossing to the opponent and saying, hey, what, what am I going to do? And in this case, both results are just summoning giant dudes, and I, I love giant minions, so <laughs> I'm absolutely on board for this. But I have to say, I really, really like the animations and the oh, music yeah. for the legendary spells. Oh, yeah. It's so cool to see actual like, music in Hearthstone for each oh, individual no, card. I imagine that was a lot of work to set all that up. Yeah, I, I mean, the the effects team, Regis the design, uh, you might, man. <laughs> sound team, everyone worked together like really closely for all of the legendary uh, cards. All, all the cards in general, but specifically the legendary yeah, let spells. Let me see if the new cards are. Uh, hey, it's Zeddy! Sick VFX and I'm gonna call Zeddy really out. cool songs. Uh, in the past, whenever we've done legendary spells, they don't have music. They just have the effects and sound effects, and that's it. And they're awesome. But this time, you know, the whole theme of the expansion is music. The legendary spells are to literally it. songs. It felt wrong not to have music in them, so I'm really excited for just being able to listen to music while playing What do you think is the most creative player in Declan in Hearthstone history? I think that's too specific. Yeah, movie. that's too specific. Groovy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, as a card designer, are you helping guide some of that music creation process? Are you in there like composers or? Uh, myself, personally, not that much. Uh, I think like the anytime any team got to get started on working on something, they'd always have questions like, okay, I, I just want to like, double check what genre question. is which class. Mm -hmm. Specifically in that genre, what are some like. Uh, instruments and and I guess like tropes in that. Why genre do you hate warriors so and much? For, for rhythm and roots, it was a lot of you know like Twitch shot, Twitch shot. Uh, psych rock, very like uh, laid back, you know, chill vibes. Um, and you can see that also in the VFX, right, with the Mandela's yeah. and just, I mean, I mean, the VFX on this are incredible. Um, and fun fact, this is the first choose one spell with effects ever, like like unique 
on play when you're making the choice effects ever. Oh, yours. Uh, oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's pretty you can cool. You remove one yeah. class, yeah. what would you yeah. remove? Yeah. I guess that's a good question. I'll have that. With this set. I like that you just send a note that says, make it groovy. <laughs> <laughs> and they just like solve the- Then they come back to us with an email like, is it groovy? Okay, I appreciate you. Oh, I think I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna format this later. Yeah. Check it on And the then I'll send it out level. for you guys. So I we're actually gonna use like that to try to find spells like this route. in particular, there's um, so much different art that you get to see for mm -hmm. one card, like five distinct art pieces is really nice. And I noticed in particular, the giant has a saxophone. I feel like the saxophone <laughs> has been iconic in Hearthstone's history for, for YouTubers to Yeah, yeah, I, um, I'm really happy with the art for every single piece of the roots. And that saxophone, uh, I'll send it. I'll do a on the design team, soon. we write the art descriptions and then send them to the art outsourcing team. And for this one, I don't think the saxophone was a part of it. It was just like, make a uh -huh. really like, groovy looking big uh giant ancient guy and then the art supervisor was like what if we added a saxophone <laughs> and i was like yes please do well, going on i'm gonna be right back yeah. just the washer. And, uh, um, in keeping with that theme of, of saxophones mm -hmm. um you know obviously with with choose one spells it's, it's uh, everything's got to work together as a team um, but we have a wonderful selection of soloist cards in this set that uh, really prefer to work alone <laughs> and one of them is rocking with a saxophone. So let's go ahead and check out the saxophone soloist. And that is saxophone soloist. Uh, he does like to work alone, um, and he doesn't look thrilled to be doing it, but you know what, he's doing a great job nonetheless. Uh, Regis, what are your thoughts on this card? Well, I feel bad. I feel like Murlocs always want to be with other Murlocs. They get buffs from each other and like having other Murlocs on board. So that's probably why he looks so lonely and sad, but you know, he's a soloist, so that's his calling. Uh, I do like the idea though from a uh, play standpoint where you you get to start every turn potentially with a fresh murloc like the opponent wipes the board and i get to start over and i always have that extra murloc in hand to start uh, building on so maybe he'll find some friends along the way <laughs> yeah he's uh he's a lot of fun oddly enough for even for decks that aren't all in on murlocs right for decks that are running more spells or just a slower game plan having a one mana minion just to play every turn as long as you know you don't have other minions is pretty sweet yeah, I think we saw Melomania teased in that video. It's hard to yes. I think we were talking about like, well, a little bit. What did I miss? What did I miss? That seems Something like a good infinite one drop? That, that is true. Was. That is very true. It's like we did it intentionally. Yeah, we'll talk about <laughs> Melomania a little bit later on. We want to hook into some other soloists first. New Murloc? Uh, yeah, the Damn the it. Soloist I missed the, the Murloc. Like, uh, Firefly. Uh, ah, Angoro. Well, um, but then, you know, you could potentially keep getting value from it if you keep uh, playing it without any other minions on your board. So um, it's a little bit of a fun, a little fun murloc right there. Uh, but that is not the only soloist that we are going to be showing you today. We've got one more coming right up now. I think everybody knows, like, if you go to a party when you're in college. Wait, is this like a, are the they going to play games or is this just like a final reveal stream? Really cool. <laughs> We'll take Sorry. Regis to you a drink party. Lot? I don't know that people at party at our age, but okay. it's okay. okay. Uh, just trust me, there was that guy, and uh, this is the guitar soloist. Can you tell people if they use Twitch, they get they get great decks? Let one, three decks. Huh? Some pretty good value right there with the guitar soloist. Get to draw three cards if you have no other minions on the board. Yeah, I feel like the Demon Hunter's always been the key. You get free card, card packs, not decks. A lot of card draw attached to a minion as well. So you both get on board and it's specific card draw too, so you're tutoring uh specific cards. There's gonna be some awesome weapon I wanna find. That looks <laughs> really, really strong. Oh yeah. Uh, we, we've seen stat lines like that, five mana, draw three, but oh. this time, like you said, out of tutoring, which is just crazy. That's cool. Dude, yeah. I love the oh, art on that. I also have Don't another soloist here, the cool. harmonica soloist as well. Please give me the final legendary. That is a, an awesome discover card. We've got these three mana discover cards, I feel like, that always pop up in Hearthstone, and it looks like this one gives you some tempo as well with an immediate secret. That feels like Hunter doing awesome hunter stuff yeah I, I the gameplay of discovering a secret i've always been partial to it, it's so much fun because you're given the choice of something that your opponent doesn't know which i you know in a way makes them able to like 
play around it more knowing that you had a choice to make, right? Mm. Um, As opposed to drawing into a random secret. Yeah, a random secret, who, who knows what that is. But you but, can also mind games a little bit. So and just pick a random They, they, <laughs> they it, know that I know that they know. Yeah. Like, is it's it real, on the Twitch it's a real trickery there. So, so in regards to Solus, this is a little package of minions we've gotten throughout the set. Can you describe I was, I was hoping there would be gameplay. I kind of want to see more gameplay. Of course. It is a cool. Yeah, yeah, so that starts with the fantasy of performing a solo when you're at a you know musical performance or something. I think Regis only. Regis, Regis is so powerful kind of that he echoes the do, audio. You know, spotlights on you, you know, go player. And yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> um, but we wanted to translate that into what it means as a Hearthstone minion. And when trying to just think of how do we, you know, convey that through mechanics, uh, there was an old card from, I think, Kobolds and Catacombs called Lone Champion. I love Lone Champion. Everyone yes, loves Lone Champion awesome, yeah. just as much as they love playing solos. <laughs> We're just uh, booming so voice to charge any microphone. Really cool. True. That card's pretty you just well see a setup at home. Community. And he's so far and away from it. the design it. space there is incredible. It's a very simple input for whatever you want as the output. Um, so right, just... Leo, that was a great card from Kobolds and Catacombs. Warrior is the true the soloist of the game. Great uh, cycle of cards. Um, yeah, because we. Can I wonder where this is. This has to be in California. They probably flew down for it. Whatever deck we want it to be in. So you told me Lone Champion was like playing guitar secretly, and we didn't know it this whole time. He was playing After an instrument you've years. never even heard about. All right. <laughs> Some magical <laughs> yeah, Warcraft. Yeah. Lone Champion special. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I think Solus are gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Yeah. And you know, a soloist wouldn't be anything. Yeah, Leo's have. a very charismatic guy. It's kind of awesome that he's the lead so for this. I feel like um, he's super like, kit, one of the new he's super inviting to talk to. Oh no, Warrior Keck W. Oh, that's, so that's kind of good. Like to gain armor. They like to deal damage to all minions on the board. And we thought we should probably just put those things together and, oh and that's that's actually a yeah, pretty I good card any excuse to play armor cards i just my fantasy in Arsene is just gaining as much armor so as bad possible. so Heck i think i'm gonna be playing a lot of i don't this. think that's that now, bad i have a question about how this one works it says gain armor while equipped to improve there's the new card uh razorfin rockstar mm -hmm. because you gain armor and then that gains you an extra tick of armor yep are both of those gonna to to proc the coda hydrum kit upgrade or yes so okay. it's every instance of gaining armor mm -hmm. will take this up by one uh -huh. um so if you have you know razorfin rockstar and your hero power your hero power gives you two armor that's one tick Rockstar gives you two armor. That's another tick. Boom. Um, there's also, you know, synergies with stuff like, um, oh my God, Armorsmith? Yep. Armorsmith. <laughs> yeah, Armorsmith. Sorry. Uh, she, it, it's every single out. time somebody takes damage, Leo, she it's gives you more armor. Each one of those is a separate Leo. tick of armor, which kind of makes your drum kit huge. <laughs> he doesn't know, Chad. Like he doesn't know. The full board of minions. Yeah. Just so whirlwinding away. Yeah. Yeah. Someone yeah, help him. Um, awesome I feel like well, I'm not breaking bad name or Walter's in the car screaming. Kit, just slamming <laughs> people over the head with it. That's clueless. <laughs> yeah. Warriors, they rock yeah. Yeah. to be able to do that. Leo, it's um, rotated. It works really well with uh, the warrior kit for this set. But uh, nice. of course, you know, every class has to have their instrument that works with with their their song and their their legendary artist um so let's go ahead and jump now over to the kings of disco paladin uh with the oh, disco shit. mall <laughs> disco mall give a random friendly minion plus three plus three play minions that's so good what the fuck awful awful hit Go face. Paladin, the obvious choice for disco. Let me just say that right off the bat. True. Um, <laughs> if you play a lot of minions, you get a lot of buffs. Yeah, that's, so number one. Dude, that's so Paladin scary. That's a scary card. Interesting combination. With charge? Correct combination. <laughs> Correct so easy to do. Yeah. But, but number yeah, two, they did say they'll be more fun for the course. I don't know whether the rotary armor is back in when wearing your hits 30% in, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> that was 100% the joke. <laughs> that is why it's named that. <laughs> Sometimes we do things Pretty accidentally, that. but th this one wasn't that. <laughs> okay, okay. And I, I liked that clip too. Uh, they got really, really lucky with their minion buff there. But that's kind of part of the intrigue of the card is you want to play minions to get extra stats on the weapon but then you've also got this risk of all these extra minions being on board and maybe hitting the wrong target. But I have a plan. I'm scheming already. I want to play 
Oh, really? I, I want to just play like 20 minions throughout the course of the game, 30 minions, just keep dumping it up, and then wait till the end of the game and play one charge minion, maybe a free bird. We saw free bird, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to make the most epic free bird with one giant buff. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's going to be like my day one deck, I think. That's the thing with a lot of these death rattle instruments is you can try to play really greedy. You can try to get those numbers really big, but if your opponent has weapon removal, you can Ooh. get punished for it. So you got to have the right timing. But there are instruments belonging dream, to three bro. classes in the set that don't have to worry about those death rattles being crocked at the wrong cosmic time. Cosmic like keyboard. Ninja's Two cosmic mana keyboard. after you cast a spell, well, summon an elemental, spell, summon stats, an elemental equal stats equal to its That's cost. kind of fire. Big elementals. And by the way, that elemental looks <laughs> sick. <laughs> that is some awesome art. I love anytime Hearthstone trends cosmic and that dude is awesome, but it looks like we're getting some more big stuff. Dang, I didn't know they got Crip on yeah. this stream. I mean, you play this with uh, anything five and above. What the fuck? For two mana? You get to do that three times? That's crazy. Um, even still, like, if you just play this on two, turn three, you play a three cost spell, that's not bad either. And then, you know, do as you please next turn, next turn, next turn. Right, but... save the durability for later for bigger ones too. Yeah, yeah that's, that's awesome. So when it comes to instruments, how did you guys pick which instruments go with which class, minus, you know, nice rhymes, like Disco <laughs> Mall. I can imagine, like, Googling types of weapons. What rhymes with Oh, we definitely ball? went to Wikipedia and searched yeah, yeah, yeah. instruments. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, a, a lot of it is almost kind of trying to, like, make a puzzle out of it and putting the right pieces where they need to go. We, we didn't want half of the classes to have guitars, right? right? Because then it's just redundant and a lot of the same. So we, we wanted cool. to focus in on what makes those genres for the classes Medivh really special for mage? and find the Medivh instruments Medivh? involved with that, that make it feel is it super unique, a right? mage? For, um, <laughs> for like disco <laughs> music and, and, and you know, retro music in that vein, you hear the slap bass, right? Bass guitar is huge. So disco mall is a bass. It would make a zero Boom. zero, wouldn't it? For it rock and roll, we got a drum kit because, you know, drums are core to, you know, that very driving rhythm of rock music. Um, I think Every single genre has Pusha an instrument so that feels just, really unique dead? and you know compelling on its own, and that's just on the theme. On the design, I think they all feel super uh, unique as well. They each have their own uh, like improve condition for the disco mall playing minions for the drum kit gaining armor. Right, totally different hooks uh, for how to. I guess this is up. more like I was expecting them to do more of like, uh, like play play with cards uh, like Ben so Brode used to do. Yes, but I don't know if they've done that recently. This is more I like, used to make music here's some, like in like software. You're some oh. background about these cards, yeah, like making sick beats and, and stuff in high school. Um, um, but Cora, you here's how we design them. I don't know how many people I actually care. I'm washed up, but yes, I, I did sing for a long time. Yeah. Um, I was never. Uh, much of an, an instrumentalist. They did a DK showcase. Yeah, like I was expecting like, that. I am the worst musical person. On, you guys think the worst. Well, we did just grab you off the street, yeah, right? Yeah, true. You just true. Not be here. I am so convenient. not musically inclined at all. I'm learning a lot from you too. Last year we did karaoke. Really good. Mm, oh. <laughs> You'll regret that. Okay, good time. <laughs> we could kick some songs off right now, I guess. Uh, not without getting copyrighted. Maybe we'll save that for uh, another stream. Okay. Smart. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't want you to get alarmed. The next thing we're going to talk about is the keyword for the expansion finale, but it's not the last section we have to uh, discuss. We cards. have some stuff coming up after, uh, so we won't get our bonus right now. We're just uh, supposed to be really cold. He looks super do. uncomfortable. But let's go ahead and check out some finale <laughs> cards, and uh, you can think about. <laughs> they're both. They're all in like t-shirts. We can't hear your commentary very well, but good job on the videos. You look great today. I mean, this is just a live stream. I can lower the uh, the audio slightly for you guys. Restore eight health. Oh fuck! That's like uh, what's that card? Is it? That's for Druid. That was a Druid card. It was important to There's us. healing touch from Druid, classes, right? Uh, the vibes be good, and for Shaman, they are particularly chill. Yeah, this guy oh, looks Cora. really efficient. Like, uh, you know, used to I think we had to pay three mana for eight healing straight up, and now mm -hmm. you get a bonus three three as well. So you're not really sacrificing on a tempo to take your healing. This is exactly the sort of card I think I always like to play. Yeah. Just stay alive, be defensive. That's my favorite kind of Hearthstone. This card, it, it feels really good to play. It's, it's honestly one of my favorite finale cards that we have. But uh, like you were saying, you know, in the past we've had just three mana restore eight health and. Admittedly, that was not the best card. <laughs> so now, getting the 3 3 on top of it, hmm. if you're on turn three. She made a discount and take you. No, like, there was a card in Druid like, know, called Healing Touch, something. which was and three mana restore eight healing, health. Maybe even you're missing out on most of it. It was, it was literally in classic. It's a classic card. It didn't see a ton of play. Chill. 
<laughs> but I guess in Earthling Farce here, case be the finale, it's way better. Yeah. Interesting. That's nice. When cards kind of always feel good to play, there's no moment where it's wrong to play it. That's nice. Yeah, and actually finale was a keyword that came about a little bit later in the process. I yes. know we tried, there's just so many like incredible words associated with music in general mm. and, and with the genre that uh, we tried so many of them before we hooked into finale. Yeah, I think with every expansion- Anti Killbot uh, brings up the walk though. The walk? Is that his street name? Keywords, <laughs> I've things, never heard anyone call him the walk. Like when did the they show the new Zelda game? <laughs> it's, it's There's just a lot of words that says, which is fitting for finale. Sure. Uh, but it just felt awesome. It's just, you're doing what Hearthstone's already asking you to do, which is spend your mana, and then you get a reward. Yeah. Every keyword Ogres? that we try is is great. They're all great, <laughs> but some of them are We've just bad. We've never done bad keywords, ever. <laughs> How simple was it to use the word tempo? It's something we talk about in Hearthstone all the time. Anyway, tempo. <laughs> I think we tried Well, there was a, there was a spell uh, that I... Don't remember which one specifically, but there was a spell that was called Tempo mm -hmm. for a long time. And then people were like, that's weird. And I'm like, fine, <laughs> fine, fine. Weird sounds right up your alley for cards, though. I like that. Uh, All right. So we, we've uh, just seen a pretty chill card. Let's shift gears to a pretty cool card. Uh, this is a Frost Death Knight minion. These puns, man. Hardcore cultist. Ew. My god, he's killing! Oh, that's a gross card. We took the walk to Poland. I got that. That's pretty spicy. That's a good card. They should get that to Warrior. Frost Death Knight loves to deal damage. Hardcore Cultist. That should have been a Warrior card. Hardcore, but then uh, you trigger that finale. It's not going face. That's so good. Yeah, this card looks like it's packing quite a punch for a three mana, like a, a board clear. And some extra chips. Dude, if I was there, I out. would be like, that's broken. Also what like were you guys thinking? Like, I'd sell them straight up. For Frost, because that means we could put it in a climax. Where's my Warlock card at? Oh, uh, discover two demons, yeah. finale, give them I'm plus two, plus, plus one, plus two. What the fuck is that? Ew, yeah, I, Taste of Chaos? Stuff in this set, I, I'm super happy with. Like, the Rainbow Death Knight is super fun, but. Um, even just the the uh, way we next spread beast you out, summon gets like, plus the one plus one. Ooh, the stuff. magician Hardcore actually looks pretty is, like, fire. Only, oh, like, the next beast you summon, card, dude. Like, this hunter card's card. actually say, insane. The fact Broken. Mix runes, this is right, this is, this is turbo nuts. It works so well with that explosion. spell with uh, the silverback that, you know, patriarch. You play that into silverback patriarch, get a two five on turn two. It's haunt. Disgusting. And you have a one three. Starting from like, we need to solve this problem for Frost, or is it starting more from a thematic standpoint? Uh, I think for for this at, at least, we just wanted to. Whoever was working on Death Knight was like, I want to make, you know, the blood health manipulation deck, and then we built up the cards for that. And then with the remaining cards, it's just a matter of looking at okay, what other runes, what other things can we yeah, do? I'm not gonna lie, the seats that they're on look very comfortable. Like I kind of want to sit. Like the, the seat that Regis is, is sitting on looks really nice. Holy, uh, you'll see hardcore. Do you know where they got Frost, that chair, by the so, way? Anyone yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think every designer sort of approaches. Oh, it's a good except for Boogie Down. I don't know why the application Boogie Down looks weak. I have to read the card again. I didn't even process what it said. Different cards that go into different archetypes across different classes here. The finale working with a coin afterwards. If you spend the rest of your remaining mana, yes, you can coin after. Gives them taunt. Oh yeah. yeah well, summon two cost. Kind of summon two one cost into your deck. Finale give them taunt. Um, it's it's, it's fine. It it draws them from your deck, one, which makes it a little bit say, better. Like so it's not finale. the worst thing. This feels almost like an option as opposed to a mm -hmm. bonus. Like it can be a bonus, but there might be instances where you I think Regis's don't hair looks fantastic today, by the way. Really like, good. Maybe you want to hide it behind. Yeah. A big minion. It's it's neat how some finale cards feel like you kind of always want the finale but other ones there's a decision to be made yeah can you talk about the thought process behind that yeah so designing finale finale uh, work with a zero mana card you're being zero mana. rewarded just for spending the mana there's no actual like extra investment outside of i guess i would like, think it would and, you, know, you don't have any mana left over most of the time. Um, i think you're more so handsomer and thank you the effects like it. boogie down that are kind of like options a flip side works super well because like you said all good with the minions that have death rattle to some random cruise here yeah do want yeah. the keywords oh, it's not bad. awesome and feel mm -hmm. really cool to play with so cards like you know you've seen chill vibes or it could be a good card just give you upside right? yeah you, gotta, you guys gotta remember like most people are associating how fast the metagame is now with which it's gonna be after the rotation the expansion is released right yeah. The new metagame will be slower. It won't be as aggressive. It'll be um, 
people can show off like, oh, I'm smart. I didn't get the <laughs> a lot slower, smart, even though the game wants me to. Yeah, I can't show off being smart. I want them to really upload the cards to the site, though. This is the way for it. You're sounding really smart right now. Here, I'll give you an opportunity. Sure, Taste sure. of chaos. Sound smart. Yeah, uh, so we've got a little bit of a, a way to wipe a minion here. And then also discover a fell spell. Excellent, excellent, Regis. Generating extra stuff, <laughs> generating value, giving me decision points. So funny. I like that. That's, that's a nice little bonus. And Taste of Chaos itself is a fell spell. Ah. You might as well be slower with a oh, Mac Mage, getting more support. Nice hair. I think I'm going to take up that. I think I'm going to do it. You should I pose think... in that exact way. <laughs> right? Okay. The, I think Emo the Regis is my next. Counter uh, for you is it two? The this? I've yeah. done it like four okay, times. Okay, that's three. Oh, now five. It's five. <laughs> <laughs> the numbers are off the charts, and counting is not our specialty. You guys are going to see Emo Regis on stream when I get yes. home. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Please. <laughs> Taking a new direction. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, yeah, so Taste of Chaos, pretty much um, straight up upside. Maybe hard to play it on turn one, unless your opponent goes first and plays a... Meta yeah, has to slow down for rotation so because there's fewer cards to choose from. Um, you Although get that, oh, DK still nice. has good... Yeah, I think DK is the only issue. Uh, it's not, not card-related, no. but right, as a pass player left because of just like maintaining the decks with the new expansion, which sets would recommend buying back in. I would get March and the Lich King and the core set, Path of Arthas for Death Knight. I think those are the two things I'd get. Another fell spell, but this time for Warlock. Yeah, this is just... A it's tough because it's like uh, yeah. there's cards from Voyage that are also really good. <laughs> I would no, wait slow, to see what decks form after rotation, but I would definitely play. buy the new set. So this looks perfect it's tough to tell you because rotation's good. happening very yeah. soon, so it's well, like decks that are good right now and cards that are playable right now might not be good and get a couple of the weeks. Super right? Interesting part to me is oh, yeah. usually you know resource generation is something you want to do early in the turn so you can get your stuff and then evaluate what do I do now. This is asking you to do it last, right? So th this is one of those. This is why this expansion is perfect for me. There is a clear upside to playing it first, and then a clear upside to playing it last. So we're going to Nathir, which is the most busted expansion of the year. I mean, I can't to, think of like fun. really right, a ton to of cards that I would recommend now, buying packs for, right? Like, it's safer to, to wait to see what cards are actually playable. You know what I mean? First, cool. I have a face. I, I have a public-facing community manager since they get the developers for streams. Well, they used to have <laughs> a public game director, right? The public game director would be uh, Ben Broad. Where Leo was the expansion design on this set, right? And he's also a very personal guy. Like you can see him. Look how look how relaxed he is. He's a good he's a good host for this. Same as Cora. Cora's also very personable. Oh, I've seen a video where someone's playing a flute and then a bunch of raccoons just swarm out listening to the music. I love that video. <laughs> yeah, that I actually, have not seen, you're gonna have to send me I that one. Send, I, I have seen some like sleepy cow videos <laughs> where they're just like, look at that. It's yeah, great. I, I love, that is the cutest art I've ever seen. Also, uh, Quillbor is showing up a fair bit in this set as well. I, it's nice to see Quillbor actually getting some, some focus, particularly with Menagerie decks, yep. you think. Yeah, so Quillbor, uh, like you said, just with Menagerie decks, it's just another way to, you know, add an extra bonus effect. To your one Do they reveal the release date for the expansion? I should be April 11th. I believe that's what it's going to be. Uh, Miss Killer Bro stream for reveals. I just wish, like, um, I think the stream is fine for what it is, right? They're just revealing the cards. But I do think, like, the, the streams where, like, they they have a content creator and they have someone who has been a part of the game, which I think Leo and Cora are both great, um, would be fun to play with, right? This is more like, hey guys, here's the rest of the 20 cards from the set. Uh, we're just gonna talk for a bit. That's what it happens to be, right? Figuring out what a quillboard deck could look like, and ended up not finding anything that we. That thing's gonna be extremely problematic after rotation, especially because many of the national counters to the decks are losing some important pieces. I would agree with you. I think it's gonna be very good because they're not losing anything. Special last cards and other expansions. No, it's it's more because they had a death knight, right? Um, there's 10 more cards in this set. It's gameplay that we really like in battlegrounds, and I think. You know, we ended up with the right cards for for this set, but uh, definitely something that we would look into potentially doing in the future. Mm -hmm. I like teasers, thank you. <laughs> I mean, okay, there's teasers, which, like, to be fair, we do tease things. Or use the cast to make sure. Yeah, yeah. No, they're all good. Like, really when I got to, when I, I flew down to uh, so Blizzard for in October and I got to meet all of them, like, all of them were awesome. Like, every single person right, there was super but, personal like on the said, design team. The they're super section, cool. We're not done. Uh, in fact, we have another cycle of cards to go to, and let's check out the uh, Harmonic and Dissonant spells in the set. Oh, yeah. Harmonic mood, more attack support. Give your hero plus two attack this turn, game for armor, so swap, okay. Go through nearest all minions, 76 pops. Dude, wow, Dissonant pop looks like nutty. 
Start that's, for, that uh, looks Zoc really nutty. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. I said that right. I'll tell you. I hope so. But I like this guy. Like, discover yeah, five costumes on the one. Discover one costume. Something with five. Uh, the uh, that's not fine. That's fine. Okay. Like they're not. They're not bad. All of them are kind of good. <laughs> More context based, really unfortunately. Nice. You yeah, buy mass I, packs of a new set so you can have a just versus buying random packs might be better. Turn, you're, it's you're tough, Aaron, because it's like same value, right? It's this. It's just numbers swapping. But okay, the, the way I'd put it is, if you're buying a ton of packs for this does, set, I mean, um, that's the that you can spend like, towards just opening other packs, it's probably better to open the other packs. And but like, like if you're gonna armor, buy but you're in the um, mode, like both you're in bundles the and more packs right? for this set, like, okay, that's fine because you can use the dust for the cards you need to craft. But it's probably better to open the packs um, that you missed because you'll just get more, you'll you'll lot. save dust because you don't have and to I craft the cards. The change between the harmonic and the dissonant. The guy on the right, Ben Brode. No, let's read just kill them. Will you do a review of the new cards after? Yeah, I'll after they are added to the site. I'm kind of waiting for them to add it to the site. I'm guessing they're waiting for this stream to be over. I'll go through all the new cards and then we're gonna do a tier list of the the legendaries awesome so we've also got a harmonic pop here for uh priest and this looks like a, a really nice uh potential board clear and a giant body and i guess i guess uh with the priest legendary <coughs> spell you can even i guess play this on turn four yeah. too which mm -hmm. feels like it would be into really it. swinging <laughs> yeah yeah that looks strong yeah i th this one's a lot of fun because i think the like Stats the art for this expansion is phenomenal, man. It looks so good. All minions. I don't think those are necessarily equivalent in power, right. but situationally, right, each one has the perfect use case uh, versus the other. So, like, they have just a bunch of 3-3s. Three you obviously want the 6-6 six, six versus you just need to kill everything. Mm -hmm. I'll take the 3-3 three, three minion. Right? It's just sort of a little bit of bonus. Six yeah. mana for six damage to all is just... So Leo just hates Warrior. Enough, Leo didn't design all the cards. He was the expansion lead, which means he was the person that helped side, direct sort of what the cards should be bit, kind yeah. of like because yeah, he was like he was designing the expansion. Board, so that means if like, if I'm working with Leo, Leo and me would work together to be like, hey, these are the cards I need for Warrior and like so on and so forth, right? I work at the card cost zero mana and you are zero mana. I would think so. I don't know though, to be honest. Usually, the art is just a slight change up, but that one feels. Sure, we had someone who hasn't played yeah. the game in 2018 to get back into it. Dennis, it's the best way I can say this is just try yeah, it. So it's free. Um, there's a well bunch of ways to get cards Paladin. currently. Uh, uh, so you shouldn't be too like worried about not paying any money. It should be pretty easy. Rotation's cost, happening in a couple weeks, which makes it extremely easy to get back into the game. So if you're if you're still feeding <laughs> it in a couple you weeks, can uh, definitely yeah. check it out. Yeah, I, this is if he was the lead, he probably signed off of the final product. Not necessarily, no. So Hearthstone, the way that they design cards the is there's the initial design, which I guarantee Leo was a part of, the initial design, but then there's final design. Final design is more about tweaking the balance. So I don't think Leo is necessarily there for final design. He's more for the the well, actual like initial design six, of cards six, eight, i'm assuming dash, i also like, don't know like i'm just basing it off <laughs> what i understand of how they make cards yeah. um, but, but i think leo was way more about initial uh, than he was for uh, final like a mana threshold i guess is the wrong word a mana point where the random pool of minions have such varied effects mm -hmm. right the, the average thing you're gonna get is just a lot more interesting there's a lot more like uh texture to that pool of cards right so the difference between the two harmonic and dissonant forms. Well, difference ogre scale. actually coming. I had guys. I had no idea. Maybe. Like at first, which I think is expecting awesome. it. Like, was there a yeah, bold difference ogre the, card that I just wasn't aware of? Variance. Am I missing something? Just the different mana costs for these spells is really interesting. Like harmonic mood and dissonant mood are. You're just saying ogre and ogre over and over again. Two, like that's gonna help me at all. You look at harmonic pop and dissonant pop and harmonic disco and dissonant disco. They choose something on and, Twitter and they today. Can be quite dramatically different on both sides. Yeah. So there was some some fun design space there. Like three threes that are five drops with battle cry yeah, or something that yeah. don't really get you great effects but there's also a lot of strong like death rattles and powerful effects in the five mana slot as well so. the fact that you get to discover you right. don't even have to pick the three yeah. three unless you're the unluckiest person mm -hmm. in the world and you're given the three worst <laughs> options a while ago <laughs> i'm not gonna go that far back i trust you chat <laughs> worst possible minions i don't even account for that i know that's gonna happen so. always zilliax yeah. always oh, zilliax please yes i love zilliax so happy oh. All right, and that is sort of the end of the different segments that we had going on. But of course, much like you know, music artists and, and genres, not everybody can be fit into a specific label. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some some people and some cards that uh, just are, are a, a bit little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a stretch there, card. The box, and so we've got a couple of, of miscellaneous hits for you here. Cost health. Instead of mana, if your cure was chill, that's pretty cool. 
That's actually really good with the weapon. Okay, cool. All right, so that's Death Metal Knight. Uh, this is a Death Metal Knight. Death Knight card. Yeah, I love that I, I get to play stuff when I'm spending all my time healing myself. Like, I just, <laughs> I just constantly want to heal up and, yeah. and stay alive. But, you know, sometimes you sacrifice so much tempo when you're doing that. And Death Metal Knight's like, no, hey, you still get to play an awesome little taunt minion and slow down the opponents. This is a, a dream for me. But, like, when you're, when you're picking out... You know, what to me looks like a seemingly random character here. I mean, he, he's cool. I'm seeing Death if they Valley, upload all the cards on the, the site. Yeah, they still that, have that drives these cards and these character choices. Long yeah, gamers. so with Death Knight specifically, it was a really cool opportunity to visit another band from Warcraft that uh, up until now, up until Festival of Legends, I should say, we've really only seen like ETC as like right. the music guy. There's a whole other band. Cool wow, animations. I mean, the, the animations and in this set look wow, fantastic. I'm, I'm, I can't say it enough. The, the way that they have done animations stage, in sound design in this set the is Death fantastic. Metal they did a really good job. Uh, they've got some beef with each other. Blightboard and the Death Metal Knight. Uh, um, like It'd be weird for them to upload so them before the end of the stream, to be honest. I think that's fair. Yeah, completely. I'm just seeing what they want to upload, right? Making fun of Blightboard. Really cool that we managed to get this character in the set. Yeah. That's awesome hearing all the backgrounds for this stuff that... You know, sometimes I'm actually excited for signature cards, especially like me too, dude. I'm actually, uh, yeah. like I will master. probably buy a I ton of packs for this set. I'm very excited for it. I do my research, right? But We have a, a really wonderful lore team that helps us out, oh. and there are some some designers on the team oh, that yeah. are very big World of Warcraft buffs. Yeah. I feel like Celestalon knows Warcraft. He's one of them, yeah. Well. Anytime <laughs> I have a question of any specific thing, I just bug him on Slack. Hey! <laughs> Resident Here's expert. Things. Yeah, that's awesome. So we, we have another card here, Hollow Technician, I see. And this guy looks familiar, too, speaking of characters. <laughs> I feel like this is maybe a stretch, but this looks a bit like, I think it was Hollow Mancer from yes. yep. Doomsday it is. Project. It is. Yeah. After any minion takes one, this effect seems after really any minion takes exactly uh, one damage, minion takes destroy exactly it. Exactly one damage, which considering some of the spells Mage got this set, that doesn't feel like an accident, necessarily. A lot of two damage floating around. So Mage has their hero power, right? right? Which just deals one, and... That's just a better polymorph in almost every win, single way, right? Incredible. Unless you need to, like, um, get rid of a death battle or an effect. effect. I don't even know where it specifically started, Not but sure. if I have a... Like oh, guess. imagine if arcane uh, missiles were still in the, the core set. Oh, bubbler that was the elemental that when it takes one damage, it dies. Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. That's super fun. Uh, admittedly, a they kill your minions though. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's fair. But, but if you're playing like control I, mage, how much I, do you I actually care? Like, hey, let's just get that. Or pre order bundles the best way to gain dust. Pre order bundles are the best uh, purchase you can make if you're gonna spend money on Hearthstone. Arcane explosion is, is it? like spectral trainee, right? Yeah, yeah. Dealing one to all minions or enemy minions, so. Could be a nice little board clear. Oh yeah. One through punch. I love the opportunity for a good callback. Even when it's a character that's like a little bit obscure, players <laughs> might not remember it too well. But I, in my experience, everybody loves some Hearthstone card, yeah. even if it might not right. be one that you personally are super attached to. So maybe there is a Hollow Mancer fan out there who's really excited <laughs> to see Hollow I love Hollow Mancer. Big fan. I just Twitter. think it's really Two cool. Two-card board wave. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. <laughs> we want to hear about it. All three missiles would go <laughs> face and I would cry. That's like one of the most obscure true. Hearthstone cards, oh. I feel like. Wow. True, true, true. true. I, I think one thing about this set that I, I had a lot of fun with uh, on the design side of it is just revisiting characters from Hearthstone's past and figuring out what, what are they doing at a music Ooh. festival? Are they performing? <laughs> are they listening? Right, and and Holomancer is operating the lights, right? Um, we've got Kangor and Paladin, who's an actual disco musician. It's a lot of fun, kind of fleshing out characters a bit more in that way. Seeing their, their normal behind the scenes yeah. lives when they're, when they're not on board battling for us, what are they up to? They have hobbies too, they're just like us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've how much money you spent on Hearthstone so far? Didn't quite fit the um, for any of probably a lot lower than you think. Uh, even if I do this as my full time job, I would say like 2.5k Canadian. Because I never, so I never spent deck, money so on like, Hearthstone. Like I bought one, I think a couple packs in closed deck, beta. Hold on. Get three damage to a character if that kills someone a demon from your deck. Ew, that's disgusting. Synthesize, add a random one, two, and three cards elements to your hand. Okay, mixtape, scroll more popular cards that are in this game. Mixtape's insane. Oh, Fan of Doom was insane. one of my old favorite cards to play in Arena because sometimes you just get a Doom Guard and you just oh, yeah. get your wow, opponent for looks so nuts. It's so good. A day, um, no. Like, really throughout my 10 so years of playing Hearthstone, I've so probably we, spent 2.5k. A, a, a new Hello name. Mania. Each time you play a minion this turn, uh, add a random much, Shaman spell to your hand. I'm just going to call it Super Bane of Doom on stream every time. Yeah, that's fine. Surge of Despair means nothing to me. 
Uh, so synthesize is a new one. Dirge of Despair is, is uh, just like super. It's really good card. I want to play this. I want to get tons of free stuff. And just keep playing all kinds of elementals. And fun fact, uh, earlier I had talked about there was a card that was called Tempo for the longest time. This is the card. Uh, yeah, because in my head, right, <laughs> turn one, you set up your, your Tempo, and you play the elementals on two and three. You're getting the current um, fill, yeah. And then no one liked the name. So. <laughs> I like the name. Oh, I see why you called it Tempo. I think Synthesize is also pretty Synthes sweet. Synthesize fits with the Sounds. mage theme for this yeah. set. Elementals well, overpowered? powered? No, it's not. It's pretty bad. Warlock. Sure. Um, but I think Almost every really single time they print an effect like that, it's never good enough. Elementals a little bit more, which is something we really like to do for Mage from time to time. Three cards for one mana? Are we crazy? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta think about what elementals are available <laughs> to decide how crazy you are. Any more warrior cards? They come in. They showed the weapon. There's I think it's the last one, right? For two. Oh, There's sure. the uh, static waveform for three. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you play this on one into Rolling Stone on two, that's that's why I made this card. You're cooking. That's why ah. I made this card. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Taking ownership, I love it. Now I'm really excited. I, I see this this mixed. Yeah, it's just the here. warrior. I think it's just the hammer. I love beef cards, Virgil yeah. cell cards. Yeah, they, they already showed it. Tess, it's Maine. just the hammer. This is an amazing enabler for Tess. Assuming you're not, I guess, playing another rogue. <laughs> They're playing all neutral cards. But uh, it's up in the brush version of those like bad cards for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this, this is just. Uh, I forget Rerun is the where expansion releasing April 12th. Uh, it should be April 11th. Just should be the Tuesday. Your decks for Burgle decks, it's even better. Mm -hmm. But just as a one-off, right. give me that. Take should be the next Tuesday. Stuff. Not literally. The best version of those bad cards, though. Yeah, 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 yeah array of cards mm -hmm. so you know so next hero no idea <laughs> looking for but yeah if you're playing a burgle style deck uh, what if you get melomania off melomania i mean infinite back. value poggers using some burgle pieces with the rotation with this set yeah um but i think burgle is an archetype for rogue that historically both players and devs oh yeah just, it's really fun it's a really enjoyable rogue archetype so we like to reinforce it when we can yeah and if you assume your opponent is playing good cards you're probably going to get good cards so oh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna do True. the opposite. I'm gonna build really <laughs> bad decks. And, and if my opponent wants to play <laughs> this game, so that they draw your bad yeah. cards. Yeah, see, there's multiple <laughs> angles here. This is the dream. Oh my god. The dream deck plan. And then also, uh, Melomania, we mm -hmm. saw it teased earlier. I have to say, it kind of looked like us on the card art. Like this, this three, <laughs> three goofy characters. I don't know who's who, but I got vibes of us. I'm, I'm cool with that. Why is live stream in your basement? I'm just along for the Why ride. is there a live stream in your uploaded. basement? What can I say? What? <laughs> Bad photo. Uh, it's actually super interesting because Regis, we get a look at the new signature cards. They, they've already showed it, uh, a yeah, couple no, of them, if you want to go look at them. Um, it was a Danny, thanks for the donation, yeah. bro. I don't, I don't know what currency that is, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Let me tell you, that have, is that I have is, to go. That's the, that was the, that's the cover text from Melomania. Oh. We were so tired, and Cora came up with that, and we were like, okay. so the, do the, it. The, the whole flavor text <laughs> process is is just like, it's great. It's a wonderful, it's, it's beautiful, a incredible thing. Um, but it is never designers at their best. Yeah. So it's usually about Friday, at like 4 p.m. We're tired. We're like, we gotta get this done. Like it, <laughs> it needs due tomorrow. And and that's when some of them with, with treasures like that. Yeah. Sometimes you come up with. Hey, Harrison, start with a stupid question. But where's your X? Um, where's your X D D? Sometimes you come well, up with the some, best of, one. some of the flavor text of all time. Wow, can't wait to see that in game. <laughs> What a way to end the stream, too. <laughs> what a great... Oh, what a legacy to go out on. Okay, Regis, I have to ask. We threw a lot of cards at you today. Uh, do you have a favorite one that we showed you? Uh, I think always legendaries. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go all the way back to the beginning with Rhythm and Roots. Going like, back to your Rhythm and Roots. That animation was... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Melon you're, Mania. You're good. You guys are great. <laughs> I mean, I, just the animations, the music singer, like, all yeah. that. It's, it's so epic, always feeling playing cards like that. And I like big stats, too, so... That plus like drum circle, just get a little board of, of <laughs> honestly, it's not as bad as you're thinking, man. You got a lot more stuff this now. uh in 2023 than you used to. Um, I mean, I like all the cards, but that's a that's a pretty pretty lame answer. He's biased. Um, I mean, I, I really like the harmonic and dissonant spells specifically. Right. I already talked about harmonic disco, uh, just the texture that you get. After this, can you replay back the Shaman Murloc saxophone? Probably not number. tricky. Um, uh, I love those spells, and I'm really um. Just because I, I have other stuff I gotta I do today, I still gotta really pack more. I wanna do my uh, tier sort of list and then I gotta leave. That we made, but I think functionally it feels really good to play, and I like some of the designs we've done there. I think there's some some really interesting ones. You don't yeah. like all the designs for them? No, <laughs> I have favorites and I always will. <laughs> They're all good designs, Leo. <laughs> 
No, but thank you so much, Regis, for joining us today. Thank you, Regis. You know, we just picked you up off the Where are you going? Like, I'm moving prepared, this, so. this Saturday, um, like in two thank days. Thank you so much for that. So I got really a, I got a pack. Yeah. To get a chance to just pop some Hearthstone. I feel like we haven't done this in, in <sighs> a long time. My dad, dude. My dad's great. Before we shoot, too, just actually chatting about Hearthstone is always so great. You yeah. Bye, Regis. Game, and it's fun to share that with you, so thank you. Thanks for having me. Would you like to tell the people where to find you? Yeah, you can find me on Twitch and, and YouTube, of course. Just Regis Kilbin. Literally go to RegisKilbin.com. And it'll take you right there. So <laughs> come come hang out and play some Hearthstone with me. Build some bad decks. <laughs> oh, we're super excited to see what you're going to build when Festival of Legends goes live. But remember, everybody, that the pre-purchase is live right now. It's only live until the set Bug. goes live, and that's going to be on April 11th. If you April haven't 11th. logged in yet, make sure you log in, get your free they copy. They had all the cards yet? still haven't had all the cards. Manager. You can build out your sideboard, build out your band right now in Hearthstone. Part from Anderson, uh, who's your favorite you artist. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. I, I think the, the easy answer is probably Drake, because I've listened to him so much, but recently probably JID. Very soon. Or Jade, I don't know. I actually don't know how to say it. But I think it's JID. Did you do a card review? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the rest of the cards. Well, that was fun. Hope everyone had fun. Okay, hopefully uh, the cards are out. I'm waiting for the cards. Any cards in the chat, bro? Like, are, were, were, do they not want to upload this? Drake is mid. I don't care what you think of Drake. I think it's very funny when people try to tell you what they what, that your music taste is bad. Because it's like, okay, you're not the one listening to the music, so who gives a shit? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's my uh, that's my final statement. Are the cards out? Like, hello? They're still not all uploaded. I'm just waiting for the fucking Druid card. Like, okay, maybe on Twitter people have it. <laughs> Let me turn this off here in a second. I mean, mixtape. Um. Doesn't really help me. Hearth Pwn? Yeah, but I don't want Hearth Pwn. I want like the actual cards, you know? Hearth Pwn is nice, don't get me wrong, but I would appreciate actually just having the cards on the site because, you know, it's Blizzard, his own card game. I agree with chat. chat. I don't care if you guys agree with one another. It doesn't bother me. I love Drake. And I don't care if you guys don't like Drake. It doesn't change anything. <laughs> um, Where is the Druid card? All right, perfect. All right, give me this. Um, Hold on. <clears throat> Invalid URL, what? Copy image. What? All right. Hold on. Fuck. All right. Let me discuss this real fast. Uh, rhythm and roots. That's on YB. Like what? Young boys. All right. It really is too much music to really have a taste on them, to be honest. It goes too fast. Uh, choose one secretly. Summon three five five agents in two turns or eight eight giants in four turns. It's a very interesting effect um, because on turn six, you get 15, 15 worth of stats. And it's druid. It's kind of interesting. I don't know how good that is. Again, four mana do nothing is rough. But like, man, if your opponent can't really capitalize on that, that's actually kind of cracked. It's so much. It's. It's so many stats. Seems bad if you draw it late. Yeah, that's that's the problem, right? If you don't draw this fast enough, um, it's rough. I hope they add it here though, because I would like to do my uh my legendary tier list. All right, chat, we're gonna do a legendary tier list. All right, that's what we're doing today. 
Um, rarity. And we'll just talk about that when we get there. Because Blizzard still hasn't updated it like a bunch of clowns. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, chat. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, so all of the legendaries have been released for Festival of Legends. We are gonna be doing a tier list. Uh, obviously, you guys know what a tier list is, right? Uh, we're gonna be doing a tier list. Let me get the tier list ready to go for all the expansions. It's just, hold on, it's creating it. All right, we're doing it. Okay, here's my tier list. Hi, chat. Parstone, I think, tweeted, which means all the cards should be it. I'm assuming. Uh, we're doing a tier list, okay. Um, so obviously this is pretty hard to see because they're so tiny, but here we go. Uh, can I also make this dark? Okay. You may, I, I had all the cards uploaded. I was literally waiting for Druid. Let me just refresh this, double check. Uh, see if they finally uploaded it yet or not. Nope, they're still slacking. Thanks Blizzard, really appreciate it. All right, uh, here we go, chat. Let's start off. Okay, cage head. Uh, so we went through all the cards earlier talking about what makes cage head such a powerful effect, right? There's the card. Okay. Not only is there lo the location that is a easy way of kill. Hold on. Okay. Um, not only with cage head, is there a really easy, really not only with cage head, is there a really easy way to kill it with the location that was released in return of Max Ramus? You have a guaranteed way to actually kill it. There's also multiple ways to either a get the death rattle back or spread the death rattle, which I think is a very underrated aspect of this card. It's too unholy, which means you have to put it in probably some kind of unholy deck unless you generate it. But I don't really know if you want to generate it necessarily. It's it's really good. I think it's a really good card. It fits into the unholy deck more because you have a way to finish off the game if you lose the board, right? Which means in my opinion, uh, where the hell is cage head? Where's this cage head guy? I'm gonna put cage head at A. I don't think it's gonna be meta defining. I think S tier is meta defining. Um, but I think A, actually before we do this, I should say like S is meta defining, A will be good, B will be playable, C will be niche, and D is like, you should probably disenchant it, okay? Just for the record. I'm gonna give cage head an A. I legitimately think the card is good. I think the card is very spooky and I'm worried for it, uh, for the capabilities of this card. Also, it's important to note that every single card in this is here for the next two years in standard, which means the possibilities with a card like this only get stronger with more cards introduced. All right, Climatic Necrotic Explosion. This is one of the first cards. I think it's the very first card other than maybe Sindragosa. No, no, no. It's the very first card, right? That is the rainbow for Death Knight. You have to have a blood, a frost, and an unholy rune in order to put this in your deck. It's very important to note that this card cannot be generated. That is very, very important. So 10 mana, life steal, deal five damage, summon two one one souls, randomly improved by courses you spent this game, which means uh, either A, you get uh, deal five goes to deal six, or you can get summon three, or you can get two ones or one twos or two twos, whatever, it's random. The problem with this card is that you have to play a very specific deck for this card actually to be playable um, because you have to go Rainbow Death Knight. Now, is Rainbow Death Knight going to be good? Maybe. If Rainbow Death Knight is good, I think it has potential to be a payoff for the deck. It is burn. It's a way to get board back. But here's the bigger problem. It is 10 mana and 10 mana is pretty garbage especially in a rune deck that you can't go full into something. So you don't get a huge payoff other than this. Now, that being said, if Rainbow Death Knight is good, it's fine. But is it going to be meta defining? I don't think so. I think this for me, at least it's a pretty safe. Um, what the hell is it? I think for me, I'm blind. Hold on. Let me find it here. I think it's a C tier. Okay. I think it's a C tier. I think it's going to be niche. Now it has the possibility of going higher to B, but I think there are just better stuff for Death Knight that this card will not be a huge uh, meta defining card whatsoever. I think it'll be niche. I don't think it'll be broken. I don't think it's a reason to play Rainbow Death Knight. I think it's completely fine. Uh, just for the fun wackiness that it is. All right, 
not a demon hunter. Calviria Dark Raven, four mana, four, three rush. After a friendly rush minion attacks, give your minions plus one attack. So this card is being printed with a rush package for demon hunter. I just don't really see this being stronger than anything demon hunter has gotten recently. It is also a very boring card for demon hunter. I think you could have literally put this in almost any other class, if not just give this a neutral um, with no border, no class border. It could have been a neutral legendary, right? I'm sad by this. Now, is it a bad card? No, there are definitely worse cards than this for sure. And it can fit in a, it can fit into a aggro board centric demon hunter, right? It's not a bad card. I just, again, I don't think it's going to be meta defining. I don't think there's a reason to actually play this over any other Death Knight card. Death Knight card. I don't think there's a reason to play this over any other Demon Hunter card. I'm going to give it a C. I actually do think it is better than the spell, though, because I feel like this could actually provide more of a win condition than this can. And it doesn't have the deck building requirement. It's kind of a good card in a vacuum, right? Because if you have a board, it might be good enough. But I think uh, four mana for this is definitely unfortunate because there also needs to be a minion on board for you to attack into for this to actually you know, buff anything. So it's not where it's not horrible, but I feel like it's just really meh. All right, uh, going down swinging five mana spell for D. Oh my God. I was saying it correctly. Five mana spell for demon hunter. Give your hero plus two attack and immune this turn, then attack each enemy minion. So we went through this earlier, but this card is very versatile and versatility in Hearthstone is a very good thing. If you could use this to clear a board, you're very happy. If you could use this to basically become Reno Jackson with a lifesteal effect, you're very happy which they're getting printed, which one is getting printed for the set. This could be fit into an aggro demon hunter deck. It could be fit into a uh, combo deck, a control deck. It is very, very cool. The only un the only bad part about this is that it does end up using uh, your weapon charges. So it could, you know, remove that weapon, which could be a big deal, but it allows you to at least, you know, clear all the minions and then you could still attack face after, which I think is a very big deal. Again, I, th I can't say this enough. Versatility and just dealing damage is Demon Hunter's biggest advantage. And I feel like this is the type of card that will make the spell Demon Hunter deck even better. So I think... I think that this will be an A tier card. And I think it's going to be better than Cage Head. So I'm going to put it there. I have a feeling that this card will be very, very good. I'm very optimistic on it. It just seems like a very powerful effect. <clears throat> I think it's very, very good. You can still attack after playing it. Yeah, because it doesn't actually take your attack. It just attacks for you. It's uh, It's pretty great. It's pretty great. I love how people are like, no, it's it's worse than what you're playing. Guys, I want to make this very clear. This is my tier list. If you disagree with me, that's fine. That's half the fun of this. Relax. Thank you. All right, back to what I was doing. All right. Zog Fog Snout. So I've been a 6-6 six, six, Battle Cry 7, 2, 1, 1 Quillboard with Taunt, improved by your hero attack and armor gained this turn. I feel like this card is pretty boring. And unfortunately, being boring, I should, I should say fortunately, being boring is not a bad thing, right? I feel like this is almost the equivalent to the hero card that Druid got for Knights of the Frozen Throne, which was Malfearing the Pestilent, which was regarded as a pretty boring card, but ended up being very good because it was just easy to put into your deck. And I think if you're going to put the hero card package with... um the spirit and the groovy cat and you could just amplify your your hero power to be very very powerful this is going to be a very easy card to slot in it is a lot of stats it is one card to fit into that package it's not as universally versatile as malfurion but i feel like if you're just going to put this into the hero power deck you're going to be more than happy with it i actually think it's going to be pretty decent because i do think that package is going to be great so i'm actually going to put it in b uh, as long as I can find it, I'm putting that. I'm putting this guy in B. I'm putting this guy in B. I think he's actually going to be pretty good. Uh, I have to put this here because Blizzard is a bunch of idiots. Unless they added it. 
nope we're still slacking blizzard okay awesome all right uh so this is the other card unfortunately it's not on blizzard's site which is unfortunate rhythm and roots Four mana, choose one secretly, summon three five five ancients in two turns or eight eight giants in four turns. It's a nature spell, which is actually a pretty big deal because you could draw this actually considerably easy. But the problem is when has four mana do nothing ever been playable? That's the real thing. If you draw this later into the game, it's not good because it's going to take too long for you to actually do anything. So you need to draw this pretty early on. And the other problem is, is like, yeah, it's four mana, but there's way better cards for you to be playing, right? There's like Nourish, for example, which is one mana more, which I'd rather play, or the uh, the dude that gives you an extra mana crystal and draws you a nature spell for four mana, which I think is much better. I just feel like there are way better options for Druid than to do this. Also, the hero power package with, with um, the previous legendary is just way better in my opinion. I don't think this will see play unless you actually discover it from a card i don't know how this will actually fit into a deck maybe maybe if the metagame is slow enough this will actually have time to see play so if the metagame is slow enough sure but i think overall there are just better ideas and i'm going to put this in c tier now i do think it's probably the worst in c tier i don't think it's you need to disenchant it per se because if the meta is slow enough this might actually see play but overall i just don't see it i don't think it's disenchantable yet but we'll get there We'll get there if it's just aggro central though awful card awful card awful card all right <clears throat> mr mukla uh this is a six mana 10 10 rush battle cry fill your opponent's hand with bananas and is a beast i think this card is very good i think this is a very strong powerful effect that can fit into virtually every hunter deck there is very little downside to a card like this. You also get to mill your opponent's hand or you get to mill your opponent's next draw. You have develop a 10-10. The worst case scenario for this card is that there's multiple minions on your opponent's board and then they buff them with bananas. But even if they buff them with bananas, they're paying one mana for plus one plus one. And usually in 2023 Hearthstone, that is not really that good. Now, this card is... I think very easy to slot in it's also a beast i just I, when i look at this card i'm like damn a six minute 10 10 that easily trades into everything and you can burn a card that feels really really good it's hard to get punished with an effect like this and i feel like this is going to be one of the strongest hunter cards they've gotten in a very long time I, i'm really optimistic on this card i would give it an s but i think it's just an a i think it's like here somewhere around there i don't think it's an s I think it's going to be playable in every hunter deck. I don't know why you wouldn't put it in any hunter deck. I just don't see why you wouldn't want to put this in any hunter deck at all. I think it's just incredibly good. I'm very, very optimistic on it. I'm very, very optimistic on it. I think it's amazing. Really, really powerful effect. Again, if you guys disagree with me, I don't care. This is my tier list. You could fuck off. All right. Stranglethorn Heart, 10 mana, tradable spell for hunter. Resurrect all friendly beasts that cost five or more. If it wasn't for the tradable tag on this card, I think this would be a disenchantable card because it is so awkward to play. It's going to sit in your hand for the entire game. But because it has tradable, it makes this card so much better. And as long as there are playable beasts that cost five or more, there is potential for an effect like this. This card will be here for two years. At some point during those two years, because Blizzard really, really likes beasts, there will probably be something that makes this card playable. If you could generate multiple King Crushes, that's really cool because you could summon multiple King Crushes. There's the combo potential, but I feel like it's very unlikely. Uh, there are ways to reduce the mana cost of this, but I think because you have to make sure beasts die first before you can even cast the spell, it makes it just an extremely slow card. The entire Hunter package, besides basically Mukla, is supporting this archetype you actually even muckle is supporting that archetype because he is he's cost six mana right um i think once better beast comes out for hunter and just in the neutral pool i think this card will see play but if i had to do it for this expansion which i'm generally gonna do i'm gonna give this a c and i think it's better than the druid spell i do think it's probably better than the the, the demon hunter spell i think there's something on there somewhere around there I hope it's good though the effect on it is incredible i don't know if you guys have seen the animation for this card but <sighs> beautiful very very nice very very nice okay all right <clears throat> i'm 
man, I've been speaking a lot today. Infantize the Maxitude, two mana legendary spell for mage, discover a spell, finale, return this to your hand at the end of your turn. If you don't know what finale is, finale is if it spends the rest of your mana crystals, which means if this is the last card you play and it spends the rest of your mana crystals, you can discover a spell after um, your next, uh, sorry, you can discover a spell on your next turn. Would you pay two mana to discover a spell in mage? I think some of us, mo uh, so actually most of us would probably pay two mana to discover a spell. Uh, but the fact is, is that you generally want to do this last is kind of awkward because you would like to discover first and then rationalize your decisions to say like, oh, I want to do this now. If it, again, if this is a slower metagame, I think this card has so much potential because if it's slower, you don't mind discovering last because you can still set up your next turn. But if you compare this to other cards that were also two mana that discovered a spell, there are just better ones. Um, Ruined Orb is rotating, but that's just a better version of this card, in my opinion. There's Primordial Glyph, which I think was absolutely bonkers. It's not that it's bad. Discovering a spell in Mage is not the worst thing in the world, but comparatively, I don't know if it's going to be like insanely good or not, um, because you want to get that finale. You definitely want to get value from this card. And it, it, if the game is just too fast, you're never going to play it. So it doesn't affect the board either. Like it just feels kind of rough. I'm not optimistic on this card. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it, where the hell is he? This card. I'm going to put like C again. I feel like there's a lot of sea legendaries in here. I feel like it's better than the hunter legendary at the moment. So it's probably around here. I feel like it's around here. Somewhere around there. It might be, I know there's no way it's a B. I think it's too slow. Is that very good for early game? It's fine. Like it's fine, but like it doesn't impact the board, right? There's no impacting of the board like other cards do. Like primordial glyph, you got the two mana back. Ruined orb, you did two damage. So, I think it's just most of the time you're going to discover a spell. And if you get this, the, the ability to discover a second spell, that's great. But I don't know if that's actually like good enough. So I'm not optimistic on it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, DJ Mana Storm. 10 mana, 8-8 eight, eight, Battle Cry set the cost of spells in your hand to zero. After you cost one, the others cost one more. The problem with this card currently is the spells in the standard format. There are not a ton of spells that really synergize with this effect uh, because it's basically Caligos, but you need to have the spells in your hand. The benefit of Caligos is that you discovered a spell, that spell costs zero mana, and the effect would you know carry on to the next turn. Where this one's like, it depends on the spells in your hand, and you need to have spells that are absolutely worth playing with a 10 mana 8 8 because that's a very bad stat line for 10 mana. It doesn't impact the board other than the spell. So I'm not super optimistic on this card now, but just like the Hunter Legendary, the spell, as more big spells get introduced into the format, this card might get better because there's a better payoff. There's also a draw card for mage that draws three spells, but you could do the turn before and then play this. But like at the moment, I don't see this card being that impactful, which is very sad because it's pretty awesome. Like, it just looks like a pretty exciting card. But I, I, basically, the way to describe this is currently I would give it like here. But I think as bigger spells come in the, the game, it, it's going to go up and then maybe up even further. But again, it, it's all about mage getting to the point where they could pay 10 mana and be happy with the the, the payoff of it. So I'm going to put it like here, somewhere around here, right? It's pretty close to the hunter spell. It's unfortunate. I hope it gets better. But yeah. All right, Starlight Groove, three mana Paladin spell. Give your hero Divine Shield for the rest of the game. Playing a Holy spell refreshes it. Uh, this is Holy. I think this card's very strong. I think getting a Divine Shield on your hero is going to be a very annoying effect to deal with. It's going to feel really good when you play it. But this is a type of effect that if you're playing any mid range to slower Paladin deck, you're putting this in your deck 100% of the time. And getting through a Divine Shield is very frustrating on a minion sometimes. But if you don't have a ping and you have one big minion, this card is so frustrating to deal with. And Paladin has the tools for to uh and Paladin has the tools to constantly refresh the Divine Shields over and over again. I feel like this will be one of the best legendaries of the set. I feel like this has a ton of potential and it's here for the next two years. I think this is not meta defining, 
but I have a feeling that this is going to be a very good legendary. And if you're like, if you like Paladin, I feel like, um, I feel like you're going to be a big fan of it. I'm going to give it an A. I don't know about you guys chat. I would give it an A. Where is it? I think it's like here. I think it's very good. I think it's insane. It's so frustrating. And the fact that you can keep getting it back is so annoying. Aggro with the one one will just proc it. Yeah. Uh, and if you play a big minion, it dies to shadow or death. Keck W, bro. Keck W. <clears throat> it's very good. Very annoying card. Uh, Kangar Dancer. Ka oh my God. <clears throat> my, my throat is dying after speaking so long today. Kangor Dancing King, five mana, three, three, lifesteal, death rattle, swap this with a minion from your hand and give it lifesteal. I think this card is insane. I, when I first saw this card, I wasn't very optimistic on it, but the fact is, is that whatever minion you swap out, you give lifesteal, I think is ginormous. I think that is such a powerful thing to do. There is a way to tutor this card out with one of the, the minions that Paladin's also getting. This is a card that keeps on giving it's an absolute like you need to silence the effect pretty quickly otherwise they're just going to keep cheating out cards and if hearthstone has taught me anything over the years is that mana cheating is absolutely stupid and it could be ridiculous because you're adding life steal to that minion so i am a huge fan of this i think this card will be extremely powerful in almost every metagame it's in and i am pretty optimistic on this effect i am very optimistic on this effect i should say uh, and I'm going to give this, where is this? I'm going to give this also an A. I'm going to put it right next to the other Paladin spells. I think it's going to be pretty good. <clears throat> I'm pretty optimistic on it. Does it swap mean that it goes back in your hand instead of dying? Yes. Yes. It goes back into your hand and you can redo it. So you can keep cheating out minions over and over again with life steal. That's a pretty thing. Also, they're printing cards that synergize very nicely with this effect. I'm very optimistic on this effect. I think it's very good. All right, <clears throat> again, if you guys disagree with me, I don't care. This is my tier list, go make your own. Thank you so much. All right, and this is half the fun, by the way. Like we can look at this in hindsight and see how accurate I actually was. Love Everlasting, three mana pre-spell. Your first spell each turn costs two less, lasts until you don't play a spell on your turn. And it's a holy spell. Very good card. Uh, it is three mana do nothing, but because this is mana cheating every single turn, you basically don't even care that you're spending three mana to do nothing because you're just going to get that mana back like over two turns. Very good effect. It's like having a preparation that you don't actually have to draw. And because you don't have to draw it and it's there every single turn, as long as you have a spell, it's a consistent effect. And kind of like with quest lines, like once this effect is played and you can keep using it, God, it's going to be very frustrating. There's so many ways to use this. It makes cards that cost more better. So if you play this on turn three, and you need that whirlpool which cost eight and now cost six which is fantastic priest just absolutely loves this effect and it's going to be a very good effect i almost every single priest deck wants this except for maybe the shadow aggro priest there's just there's that other card that was released in um march of the lich king called what is it called chat savannah savannah i'll put it up on the screen that lets you generate discover a spell every single turn which is just very good with this so I can't imagine this card not seeing play in Priest. The real question is, is Priest gonna be playable? And I think this card will, I think Priest will be playable. So I'm gonna give it an S. I actually think this card is bonkers and it's there for the next two years. So I'm feeling really good about that card. I'm feeling like, uh, I'm feeling like it's gonna absolutely be the Turbo Nuts and I'm uh, pretty excited to play against it and with it, I can't wait. I feel like it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. It looks pretty good, uh, okay. All right. Heartbreaker Hedonis, four mana, four, eight, battle cry, deal four damage to this minion, overheal, deal five damage to a random enemy. The thing about this card, so I should first say, overheal is a new mechanic that they're introducing to Priest this year, which is if a minion gets healed over its maximum health, it will proc the effect. So this is a four mana, four, four, which, well, the turn you played is, the turn you played is a four mana, four, four which is not great. That means you need to heal this for five in order to get the overheal, which may take a long time. There are other cards in the set that do help this and Priest is obviously good at healing. So there will be a time where uh, healing this will be pretty easy. Maybe it's for like a combo. I think the real win condition for this card though is uh, if you get it with reviving it, but I don't know if Priest currently has that effect. I 
think they don't have a way to fully revive it, right? I can't think so. Chat, any any revive things you guys can think of? I don't think so. Is overheal repeatable? It is. Yeah. Uh, Priests don't have much healing cards. Not for four minutes. Can they resurrect? They can resurrect it, but we're not talking about wild here. I think this card is at the moment pretty garbage. I'm just going to be real. I don't think it's very good. Uh, I think the bigger problem with it is just it's so much of a setup and so many resources for you to actually get the overheal effect and you don't ever want to play a four mana four four so unless priest just gets a way to resurrect it i'm just not optimistic on it i think it's just extremely slow you probably just have better win conditions and like comparatively look at this card compared to this card right so i'm not too excited about that card i would probably give it a c though i don't think it's disenchantable i think like it's tough because I think currently it might actually be a D, but I think it's the lowest on C. Like, I think I'd rather play the Druid spell than that. I think that's the case. Play with Bran and Wild, yeah. All right. Bounce around featuring Garona. This is the three mana legendary spell for Rogue. Return all friendly minions to your hand. This cost one this turn. So it's important to note that Shadow Step is still in the core set for this card. This is a very powerful effect. If you have any minion on the board, you can go attack, bounce it back to your hand and play it. You can preparation before you play this card, which I think is going to be the real use case for this. And if you've been playing Hearthstone recently, you know the card Astellar, which can be very, very good with this effect. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the most hated cards of this entire year. It seems very good. And with the help of Shadow Step, this card only gets better. I just... I'm very, very surprised they they printed an effect like this. Now, maybe I'm being too uh, pessimistic about how powerful this will be because we know how good Shadow Step is. And it's not Shadow Step. It's a little bit different than Shadow Step. But it still has the potential to be absolutely broken because of this line right here. We know that mana cheating is very, very good. So I am feeling a, pretty good on this, especially because Rogue just has a lot of tools to use this. I'm gonna put an A. Um, it's somewhere around here. It's somewhere around here. So like, it's like, I don't know. It's somewhere around there, it's somewhere around there. I'd have to rearrange this after, but it's somewhere around there. I think it's really good. I think Rogue wants to play this card. And again, with better minions that come into, like this is another card that with more minions coming into play, uh, with stronger battle cries or whatever stronger effects, this card is honestly really, really good. So I'm really scared. Uh, but I don't think it's an S tier. I don't think it's going to be meta defining. I think it's just going to be a very good card. S tiers for meta defining cards. I don't think this is meta defining. I think this is just going to be a very, very good card. All right. MC Blingtron. Five minute, three, four battle cry. Both players equip one, two microphones. Your opponent increases all damage they take by one, and it's a mech. This is a pretty interesting effect because taking one damage extra for each damage that is done to your hero is very good. It basically means you're gonna die twice as fast, which is um <laughs> very scary when you're giving it to a class like Rogue that has a lot of ways of dealing damage. And like I said earlier with Asselar, this is a very good card to play it with. It's a great finisher. It's a good in the top end of an aggro deck because you know five to three, four just make your opponent take one extra damage is great if you already have a board. And most importantly, it replaces weapons, which is one of the most important aspects of this entire set. Every single class is getting their own weapon. So if you could replace it and give them a bad weapon, you're pretty stoked. I just, I can't imagine this card not seeing play at some point. I don't think it's as powerful as the spell, but it's, it's good. It's a good card. I think it's going to be B. I don't think it's going to be an A. I think it's going to be B. Where the hell is this card? I think it's better than uh, Mr. Zog though. I think it's good. I think it's good. Looks interesting, especially the fact that your opponent can't get rid of it. I mean, they could just play another weapon, but <laughs> they can just play another weapon, right? <laughs> I think it's good. It also just gives you an extra damage. It gives you two damage with the microphone just to smack him to your opponent's face, right? So I like it. All right. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name of this box thing correctly, but Inza 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 i think that's also inza okay whatever five minute five five battle cry for the rest of your game your overload cards cost one less 
I was speaking about this earlier, but the problem with cards like this is if you don't draw it early enough, it's generally not great because you have to A, find the card and then play it. And then at that point, is spending five mana better than just playing the cards for themselves? It's very tough to tell. Now, if you end up getting this early on in your game, and I'm talking turn five, you're pretty stoked because it sets you up for a much better win condition. But we've seen countless cards like this, right? Uh, one of the most popular was Frizz Kindle Roost from D Descent of Dragons. Descent of Dragons, uh, you know, obviously they printed a ton of dragons, but the card was just not really that great because if you didn't draw it on turn four, it's not great. We also had one for Castle Nathria, which just wasn't great. It just really depends on how early you can draw this and how consistently over multiple games you draw this on turn five. If the overload package really needs one mat, um, if the overload package really needs this mana cheat, it might be playable. And it might honestly just be worth putting it into the overload package if that card is playable. But I feel like um, this probably, I mean, to be fair, it's not just cards in your deck. It also counts for cards that you discover, which is probably pretty good. I think that's one of the things I was actually not judging it on is that discover cards also get reduced, which could be really good. I don't know. I'm not like, again, I feel like the effects like this are so bad because if you draw this later in the game, it just feels awful. I'm not optimistic on it. I really am not. It's tough. I've had, we've, I've been, I've been hurt by like a card like this too many times where I'm like, oh, that's going to be so good when I draw it. But then every single time it's like, whatever, I'm going to give it a C. I don't think it's like insane. Uh, I'm hoping I'm wrong because the effect looks so good. I'm going to put it like high up on C though. I think it's like probably the best version of C just tough. I just don't think it's going to be very good. Uh, if there's a consistent way of drawing it, though, the card will be insane. That's that's all I'll say. But uh, I think at the moment, you have to get it pretty early on for you to be a big fan of it. Also, overload cards will probably be printed throughout the, the rest of the two years that this card is in standard, which means this card gets better. All right. Jive Insect, five mana shaman spell, transform a minion into Ragnaros the Fire Lord, and it has overload two and it is fire. I think this card's awesome. All right, I think this card is really well designed. I think it's really cool. It's very powerful. Uh, for those of you who don't know Ragnaros, I don't know why it's not here, but it's an eight mana, eight, eight that can attack, but it does eight damage randomly to uh, an enemy minion or an to an enemy, to an enemy, not an enemy minion. Um, this card's good. If you have any minion on the board, you're pretty happy with just hitting face and turning into Ragnaros. If you need that ability to just transform an enemy minion into Ragnaros and kill it after, that's great. You could, uh, you could get multiple Ragnaroses with this. You could discover this spell. You could, I guess, reduce the mana cost of it. I just think this card is so cool. And basically I'm going to ask myself, would I pay five mana to have Ragnaros on turn five? And I think most of the time you're pretty happy with that. So. And worst case, right? Worst case, you just you just towed him on turn seven with this, and I think you're pretty stoked about this. I will probably craft this card um, in gold. Someone said devolve enters the chat. Even if it gets devolved, you're still getting a seven drop, and I think you're pretty stoked with that. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about this card. It'll be interesting to see how powerful Reg ends up being at five mana in 2023 Hearthstone, but. I am a rag enthusiast, which means I'm going to put this in A. I'm around here. I'm around here. I think it's going to be sick. I'm pretty optimistic on the card. I actually think there are a lot of good legendaries in this set, which is really nice to see. The overload's a pain. I mean, you have rag though. Like you already got your tempo, right? They have like your opponent's going to have to deal with that Ragnaros. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty optimistic on it. All right, here we go, boys. This is, this is where the real show begins. All right. Oh, let me get a good stretch in here before we talk about the best class of the game. <laughs> All right. Five minute, three, six, Rin, Orchestrator of Doom. Taunt, Death Rattle. Both players draw two cards, discard two cards, and destroy the top two cards of their deck. Chat, I think this is the hardest card to um, give an analysis on because this card has, we've never really had a card like this in Hearthstone. It is very hard to predict how great of a card this will be. The real use case of this is that you put this in uh, against a combo or a slower deck, even maybe potentially aggro, but generally you're gonna wanna do it against a slower or combo deck. 
and they're going to draw two cards they're going to discard two cards they're also going to destroy two more cards at the top of their deck it's a disruption tool and disruption tools are a more of a tech card than they are just put it in your deck so if you need this type of effect rain will be one of the best disruption cards hearthstone has ever seen but if you don't need any form of disruption i can't imagine this card will see play uh, unfortunately for rin uh, the effect is just too linear it's not very versatile most of the time if you're going against some kind of aggro deck this is not going to do shit and it might actually end up hurting you more so i unfortunately feel like for me unless the metagame really calls for it rin is just the c card and it's probably around here if i'm gonna be honest i it's unfortunate because i do think that um rin is really really cool but i i just think that i just think it's gonna be too slow and it's really unfortunate again i hope i'm wrong because i want this card to see play i will be crafting it in gold but i i think it needs a very specific matchup for you to actually want to play it um that, that's what i'm gonna put it but warlock is saved with a fantastic legendary called symphony of sins which is six mana legendary spell discover and play a movement shuffle the other six into your deck chat i actually don't know how this works do you get to see all of the movements or do you only get to see three of them does anyone know before i give a full analysis on this card do you get to see three or do you get to see all of them three okay so you get to discover for three of them let's go through them each first you have movement of mb which is remove the top six cards of your opponent's deck you have movement of pride which is draw your highest cost minion reduce its cost by six you have movement of wrath deal six damage to all characters you have movement of desire lifesteal deal six damage to the enemy hero you have movement of gluttony give a random minion in your hand deck and battlefield plus six plus six movement of greed draw six cards movement of sloth summon a six six demon with taunt and reborn and that is what the minion looks like i think this card's phenomenal i think this is the type of card that warlock has been waiting for for a very long time almost all of the use cases in this effect are sorry almost all of the movements in this spell will see play at some point during a game because they don't feel bad to play whatsoever they're all fine and it's very contextual based on the matchup you're going against this is a very versatile card and versatility is very good because that means in a vacuum this card will actually be one of the best cards in your deck chat i may be very biased some of you know that i am a huge warlock player so i i'm gonna give it an a it's somewhere around here for me uh but i can see people being like oh this is too slow but i think it's very good i think it's a very powerful effect and if you're gonna play rin and it, it kind of makes more sense you just have to make sure you play this card first i'm i'm pretty stoked s tier chat is meta defining i think the only card so far is the pre-spell that's meta defining because it's so fucking good that's my take all right god we move on to the worst class warrior god all right can i get an f in chat for warrior chat just can i get can i get an f in chat f in chat for uh warrior garrosh out here dying uh he's dead he died uh rock master voon four meta four three battle card copy a minion of each type in your hand listen they printed a similar card in Rastakhan's Rumble, and it barely saw a play. It barely saw it, which means this card in 2023 is probably not going to see play. I would recommend if you end up getting this card to disenchant it. I can't imagine a world unless they buff this card to just disenchant it. They need to buff this card. I don't know why it's not three mana. I don't know why it doesn't have rush. I don't know why it doesn't have taunt or something uh they, this card needs to be better in order for you to actually want to play the package that it's being put in for warrior it's rough bro and uh unfortunately for warrior this is gonna be my first d for uh big disenchant big disenchant <sighs> okay <sighs> god it's so bad i feel so bad at you jokes on you i'm gonna get rank one legend playing the skill book all right black rock and roll five mana warrior spell 
give all minions in your deck attack and health equal to their cost and it's a fire spell so this is the same problem as the shaman legendary earlier where you need to draw this pretty early on otherwise that spell becomes absolutely useless right if you don't draw this on turn five or potentially even earlier good luck uh, because the win condition that you made for your deck is absolutely garbage and even if you end up getting the card is the payoff gonna be worth it i don't know um, you also need to draw minions afterwards if you don't draw a minion afterward it's going to be miserable i just i don't know that being said i don't think you necessarily have to disenchant this card uh it is it's not like the worst card i've ever seen in my life i think the other legendary is much worse but i just don't see how warrior can play this and that's my and that's my bigger problem with this if you can discount it consistently or draw it consistently on turn five i think you could definitely do it but it, it's the worst card in c for me or you're just disenchanting it so i'm gonna put it there rough 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 hate to see it all right five neutral cards all right this is where it's gonna get a little spicy chat because i feel like a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with me on these but here we go photographer fizzle three mana three three battle cry take a snapshot of your current hand and shuffle it into your deck now the best part about this card is that it doesn't just take your your hand and just put all the cards in your deck it actually takes a snapshot of it and it's a singular card singular which is a very big deal because that means your deck isn't bloated with mo more cards well it is you, you do put another card into your deck but it can be very good uh to just get your hand again because most of the time you're gonna put good cards into your deck and good cards in your deck means that you would probably want them into your deck and that sounds like a pretty good situation to be in this card is definitely not going to be for every metagame it's not going to be needed in most of the, like it's not going to be needed probably at least 50 percent of the time uh but there are might be use cases where like maybe you just want extra value in your mid range or maybe you want to try to get a another copy of a legendary that you could just draw later on i think the best case for this card is just going to put it uh into a slower value oriented deck if you need extra cards and that's pretty much it uh in the next two years this card sound I, I in the next two years i could probably guarantee this card will see play at some point um but currently uh and how optimistic i actually am i think it's around i would say like a b or a c i think it's gonna be a b i think it's pretty good i think it's like three mana three three to get your whole hand back into your deck for one card that seems awesome that's a lot of value like you could almost look at it as like would you pay two mana to discover a card from your hand yeah you probably would so i think that's pretty good i'm pretty happy about that card looks pretty fun all right so we've actually seen this card in the game etc band manager four mana four four while building your deck assemble a band of three cards battle cry discover one i think this card is pretty great um we already seen this card we see how powerful it is it is basically like a sideboard in hearthstone where you can decide to put three cards that may not be needed in every single matchup and let's just say for instance you're going against a slower matchup you could put rin in your your etc pull the etc and then or pull the sorry you pull the rin and then you have a good card for the matchup right if you need a tech card it's basically like here's a card that you could put all your tech cards in so you don't draw them consistently and if you need it for that website or if you, if you need that for that deck or if you need it and if you need it for that matchup you're pretty stoked i actually think that et or uh etc is a really good legendary and i'm pretty sure it's like here i don't think it's meta defining uh meta defined i don't think it's meta defining but i think a tier is pretty great um i'm really happy with this card I'll, I'll look at the website after chat i'm doing i'm doing this right now we'll do it after i don't care right now um okay all right this is the one i'm probably gonna get the most hate for but here we go posec audio engineer or is it posec post i'm gonna go with posec whatever audio engineer four minute five four battle cry add two three three bots to your opponent's hand death battle shuffle them for yourself i think this is an s tier card i think this will be meta defining i think this card is absolutely ridiculous i can't believe they printed this card i think this card's stupid <laughs> i think this card worst case scenario worst case scenario is a four mana five four and you give your opponent two three three boom bots that is it's not even bad it's not even bad best case scenario this card is a four mana what is it eight ten 
Oh, that's disgusting. It's it's disgusting. I think this card will be played in literally every single aggro deck ever until it's rotated out. It's disgusting. There's no way that adding two three three bots to your opponent's hand is even relevant. Even relevant. I the bots don't do anything. They're just three three max. You're telling like it's so funny how triggering this chat is because chat if you legitimately think that your opponent is gonna play these cards, you're out of your mind. No one is playing a three mana three three back from their hand. No one, absolutely no one. Which means this card is so many stats for for absolutely nothing. It's four mana five four for an insane amount of stats. I think it's I th actually think it's broken, and I'm putting an S tier. I think it's insane. I actually think it's insane. I can't believe how good that card is. I actually think it's insane. I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, you put it on the high end for an aggro deck. Um, I think it's going to be one of the best aggro cards he's ever they've ever printed. I'm very optimistic on this card. How much mana would be the bots? They're three. They're three mana three threes. Chat. Ask yourself this question right now. Ask yourself this question. All of you in chat who are doubting me. How many times? In the past year, have you played a three mana three three do nothing? I guarantee you the answer is no, you haven't. Which means why would your opponent want to do that? It is so ridiculous. And you're getting a five four. And if your opponent reacts to the five four, you get more stats. <laughs> like this card can say, I, I don't understand why they made this card. I don't understand why they made this card. I think it's broken. I think it's broken. So I'm I'm pretty optimistic about this card. I think it's S tier. Um, I think it's gonna be arguably one of the best cards they've ever printed. I think people are gonna end up despising it. Uh, and I'm pretty stoked. How can you rate this S tier and Druid's C tier? It's the same card. Are you dumb? The Druid card, you don't get anything the turn you play it. This is a... Okay, guys, listen to me. You're playing against Aggro Shadow Priest right now, okay? Aggro Shadow Priest, which is a deck that's super fast paced, okay? You play this on turn four while you already have other minions on the board. What does your opponent want to do? They want to kill your board, which means they're not going to play the three mana three threes. They're going to try to kill your board, which means you get three threes afterwards. It's, it's actually insane. It's actually broken. I don't, under, I don't understand why they printed this card. I'm so optimistic on this card. I'm so optimistic. I think it's going to be insane. All right, anyways, on to the next one. Whew. Tony. Tony, King of Piracy. Five mana, four, six. Both players' decks are swapped. Finale, draw a card. And it's a pirate. This is a very hard card to evaluate because we've never really had an effect like this other than King Togwaggle. And with King Togwaggle... It's been, um, it's tough because it was really only played at Druid because Druid had the ability to get more mana. Now this card is pretty great because you could swap your opponent's deck and you could draw from your opponent's deck. You could just put this on like a high end of an aggro deck, right? Stop your opponent from drawing control cards and then you just kind of, you know, let them suffer until they can actually kill this card. It works with the Jailer, which I think is the most interesting. So if you burn your deck and then uh, you play Tony, t the Tony's now immune, which means unless your opponent can actually answer this um you just you're they're gonna die to fatigue i think even with all of that though i think this card is mainly gonna be a very niche effect i don't think it's gonna be like very meta defining i don't think you're gonna see this in a ton of decks this is a very specific win condition or a very specific disruption card and just like rin unless the meta really calls for it or there's a combo that you can do that's really broken it's gonna be like a cd card it's gonna be a cd card which is fine. I think that's what it is. Okay. And this is the last legendary. <clears throat> God, my throat is dying. This is the last legendary. I gotta stop talking after this, bro. I've been live for so long. Okay, this is the last legendary. Uh, the one amalgam band. Seven mana, six, six. Battle cry. Gain a random bonus effect for each minion type you played this game. And it's all. Before you even ask, if you play an amalgam that has all minion types, it only procs this thing once. That's it's always been the case. Now, 
what is a random bonus effect? It's like Wind Fury, Rush, Divine Shield. Um, I don't even know what else or other ones there are. There's Stealth, I think. Which means if you play a bunch of them, you could get a seven mana six six with Stealth, Divine Shield, and Wind Fury, which is pretty spicy. This is a very uh, easy card to evaluate because we've seen a card similar to this called Siamat, which was in Savers of Uldum, which actually did see play. The difference is, is that Siamat didn't have this effect. You just picked two uh, keywords and you were stoked. Where this is like, you actually have to play minions beforehand. Now, if you could play minions beforehand, you're probably okay with this. You probably put this in some kind of mid-range or aggro deck, maybe even potentially a control deck, but you need to have time in order for you to actually play some minions. How many minions do you actually have to play to, for this to be worth it? Maybe like four, three, four. So by turn seven, could you get this to actually be pretty decent? Yeah, you probably could. Most importantly about this effect chat is that it's an all as well, which means every single buff to mechs or uh, undead, whatever, actually works with this card, which makes it a little bit better than you guys probably think it is. I actually think the card's pretty good. Um, I don't think it's broken by means. I think it's like a B tier. Can it get charged? I believe it can't get charged. I feel like they didn't want to add that. Anyways, um, <clears throat> this is my tier list. Uh, I'm very confident in this. This is 100% accurate. I think all of you would probably agree with me. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, that's going to be it for me, chat. Oh, I got to stop talking. All right, I'm going to go through the cards real fast. My head hurts, chat. I think other cards is good. I think this card's broken. That's insane. Consecration with the stick. Seems good. Draw two rush minions. That costs one less. I'm just trying to think if there's like not a ton of cards. Not a card if you control no other minions. Draw a spell and a minion and a weapon. Draw a spell, a minion and a weapon. I mean, that's fine. That's really good. That seems insane, actually. Holy shit. Drink some water. I have been, bro. I have my water well. All right. We're going to roast you so hard with that five minute four. I, that's fine. That's fine. I'm so caught. Listen, I don't care what you got. I, I'm not going to go through the cards. I think I think the cards are pretty self-explanatory at this point. Um, I think I did a pretty good job already. I don't think they're going to make me change my opinion. I just checked the rest of the Warlock cards to make sure I haven't missed anything. I think this card actually might see play. It's pretty good. If there's there's big demons already, but I I am I'm so confident in this card. I can't believe you guys don't think this card is good. I actually am I'm so baffled that any of you think this card is bad. I think you're insane. I just think that's what it is. I think this card is really good. I think this card is stupid. I think it's ridiculous. I don't know why they made it. It's gonna be so awful to play against. It's going to be such a stupid ass aggro card to play. You're going to be like, damn, if I kill this card, they get six, six in stats. Fuck me. <sighs> That's going to be great. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching chat. I'm going to head off stream. I got to go pack and I got to edit this video. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys had fun today. I might be live tomorrow to play the tavern brawl. Uh, but if not, I will see you guys probably on Monday because I will be streaming. I will be moving this entire weekend. All right. Thanks for watching. The survey, I have to I have to format it. I have to format it. You'll see a community post probably today or tomorrow for it. Okay. Uh if you guys missed the video from yesterday, it is uh us playing against a Hearthstone designer and seeing if we could beat them. It's a really good video. I highly recommend watching it. If you haven't already, go check it out. Thanks, chat, for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day, guys. Thanks for chilling.